know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. everybody and welcome welcome back to Jewelry Maker. My name is Lindsay Vickers and I am with the lovely Claire oh, today. Thank you. We've had a giggle already this we morning. We have, yeah. <laughs> First time though this is isn't it? I Very know. excited. It, it is, it's really yeah. really exciting. We've got yeah. some fantastic pieces to bring to you uh, today. Um, I just asked Claire, I said, so, so how long have you you been here do, doing this? And she went about 10 years, yeah yeah yeah. And then with all the other girls she went, not always the most professional though whilst we're on air and I'm like that's the best way to be. I think though that yeah jewellery yeah. makers know that though. Yeah. yeah. yeah I they do know. try sometimes but then it just doesn't always. No. no Who wants to work. be professional? Exactly. You know we, we yeah no we don't want exactly. to. We don't want to have no. a little bit of fun. No. Um, so we've got a tremendous show lined up for you as always and um, in the first hour we've got a little bit of a, a, a name change. It's not been changed on the system and they've changed it it's not quite right um, but we've got some jump rings in the first hour um, yes. and some special uh, star buys shall we say and um, some wire I've got so many questions to ask you about the wire oh brilliant yeah Is that okay? absolutely yeah 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 I've got loads because I'm kind Can't of wait. fairly new to this um, obviously if you don't know me I used to work on gems had a gap of oh gosh a few years uh, did lots of stuff with the homeware section as well um, but had a gap of a few years so this is my third day uh, on jewelry maker and it's That's exciting yeah. isn't it yeah and everyone is so lovely here like genuinely I'm not yeah, saying everyone wasn't lovely there but everyone is so lovely yeah, here jewelry makers are really, yeah. really and there's, lovely there's loads of interaction as well everyone yes. lighting yeah. in yeah so yesterday was brilliant because we did the um, the make a long day yeah. Yeah, so we were all in different venues and then um, online as well. And it was it was one of the best days because it was just, it was you, you don't get to do that very much anymore. So just everyone came together and everyone was shared, you know, it was just, it was such good fun. It was really lovely, yeah, really, I, really lovely. I said, um, I said this last week when I went on air, is the fact that for me, when you get together in person, it's a celebration of the industry. Yes. You, yeah. You're with like-minded people. Yes, yeah. So you've got the same passion, similar passions, and then you learn from each other, and you you literally can't put a price on that, can no, you? No, no, definitely. Yeah. definitely. But you're it like was, it was wonderful. You're like a celebrity though in this uh, in this world. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't say so. No. no, I would say so. I bet I, I yeah. bet you're thinking yeah, actually, yeah, because people would go there to see you because. Obviously, you're seen on screen. You won't take well, that because, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. Yeah, but you it was not. it was wonderful. So I got to see I got to see. Um, yeah, I mean, Anne and Christine, who are so lovely, and I haven't seen them for years, and it was just it was. I don't know. Yeah, it's just quite an emotional thing as well, isn't really? it? It's lovely. Yeah, it's really lovely because you think about everybody's lives in the, over the last few years. Yeah. Been, it's been pretty full on, hasn't it? And so it's that it is that coming back together. Yeah. It's it was lovely. Yeah, it's really good. So yeah, brilliant is jewelry it, maker. Absolutely brilliant. For is doing it the it. first thing that you've done since like COVID and everything like that? Well, I that? I do teach workshops, so but that was the first time um, that I think everyone had been like that. I mean, I'm not sure that jewelry maker has done that before, where you know just to see so many faces and everyone making it was and everyone's pets as well it was just honestly it was fantastic yeah People there were really pets weren't the time there's like cats to, yeah it was so good it was brilliant it was wonderful, yeah. So, yeah. When you say pets, people could bring their pets. What do you mean, like oh, they would bring them on air uh, and everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, how wonderful! Yeah. Everyone's proud of it. Yeah, pets as well. yeah. It was great. Oh, oh, fabulous! Yeah. As is the show. So let me just give you a bit of a heads up as well. So then, um, you've made some fantastic pieces here as well. Oh, with so, the so the kits, yeah, kits today. So I've got uh, in the nine o'clock malachite. Uh, and three different um, three different kits with the malachite, so different shapes, sizes, and some really interesting things with the nine o'clock, which we'll go through. So, 
drill holes what, that you can get chain through, which jewelry makers know that is, you know, that is so unusual. Yeah. Um, and it was great to work with. So you can literally just thread the the gemstones onto the chain. So that was that was fabulous. Is it because they're normally they're not the right size? Yeah. So normally you, the the drill hole might be, um, you know, you might get your, your your thread through there, or you know, maybe sometimes a cord, but very unusual that, that you'd actually get be able to get a chain through. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. And that's in the the nine o'clock. Lots of lovely connectors as well, and sterling silver. Um, you've got a cabochon in there too, and then the my twelve o'clock. Are nice. these uh, so it's it's the they're base metal strips, so they call them bezel strips. Uh, but again, like all really, really good components that you can yes use them as bezel bezel strips, but just bangles on their own. Um, you can set stones in that. They, they are so so good. They so look at twelve o'clock. Yeah, they yeah. do that. I think what I like is the fact that you've gone for quite contemporary, and then you've gone for a mixture, then quite ornate with the flower and everything. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Really so many see. different, yeah, different options. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and we so like that. You want a bit of versatility, don't you? And yeah. um, we've got the pearls as well, um, the lavender pearls um, that are coming up now. I think they're in ten o'clock. Ten o'clock here. They're amazing, aren't they're they? Look at those. Stunning. Look at these. I love pearls and yeah. actually that's the reason why those and the black spinel are the reason why I put a black top on today ah, because right, okay. you know, do you yeah. ever do that before a show kind of work what you're going to wear I don't know I, you yeah, know, I, I'm not really. I don't know if I'm ever that organized <laughs> I, I aspire <laughs> I'm to be I am don't I think do I am. aspire to be but yeah, yeah. no yeah. Well, yeah. oh, have we got messages coming in? Uh, morning, gorgeous ladies and all at JM. The make along yesterday was fabulous. I was yeah. at home with hundreds of friends crafting. Oh, lovely Patsy. So oh, nice. that, yeah, it, that exactly. It was lovely, wasn't it? Just everyone being together. It was brilliant. Yeah. Um, morning all, my poodle Frodo. Oh, great name for a poodle. Um, I had his five minutes of fame on TV Aww. yesterday. I love that, Helen. Wonderful Frodo. Oh, oh that's, that's good, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. This is yeah. what I mean. It's that yeah. you cannot, you physically yeah. cannot put a price on yeah. just bringing industry together. Um, hi, you gorgeous girls and the team JM. Uh, yesterday was a lovely day and a beautiful way to spend my day off. Claire, your work is beautiful. Have fun. Oh, That's Miss Janet. Janet. Do you know, I, I didn't get to see Miss Janet and I, I, I really, really wanted to. I really, really wanted to because we met quite a long time ago and I really wanted to. So I'm, I'm glad that you had a wonderful day. I really am. Oh. Miss Janet is very, very, very supportive and very oh. enthusiastic. Yeah, lovely. Really lovely. As is Margot here. Yeah. So um, yesterday was such a testament to uh, how much JM and Associates mean to its customers. Crafters are fab people. Yes. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, they are. Well, it's just, you know what, I've said this, and I said this last night, I went for a meal with my friend Kaylee, who used to work here, and um, I do think on this planet, I think about 90 to 95% of people are amazing. There's a few percentage. There's a few that, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a few. But, yeah. but generally, yeah, you people know, are nice, yeah. aren't they? So yeah. when you meet yeah. people that have the same interest of you and you're buzzing in that energy, yeah. that you can't beat it. Yeah, you can't. But that's what's really lovely with say say Anne and Chris, uh, Christine that came yesterday. They met on a workshop, and and that was years oh. ago. And they're great friends now. Oh, it was lovely. it was lovely, yeah. And yeah. with social media, it can be uh, what they used to call pen pals, and you know, but that because you've got that connection so quickly it's not like you're having to write letters now it's instant you can talk on facetime yes, yeah, you, you yeah. can become a lot closer but be further away yes i always yeah. think the world's getting smaller it's bringing everyone together yeah. isn't it and that, yeah that's what yesterday was oh, about yeah, fabulous fab. keep those messages coming in yeah. um so is oh yes this first hour, see, this is what I mean. I'm all <laughs> over the place. This is, I said, just see, now I'm all over the place. Who's the responsible here. adult then today? I don't know. Actually, you can guess who's more responsible. You can guess right in, have a look. <laughs> um, you can send me in uh, funny directions, Claire. Um, right, okay, so we've got a viewer's choice hour. So if you head to the website, scroll down. So after the watch live, scroll down and you can see all of the items that are in the hour. As you know, or if you don't know, message in. Um, it's Tom Neary, everyone calls you Neary, don't they? Um, who's got in control of all the messages, so send your requests in. Um, did, I, did I full name you? I'm so sorry. Neary's here. You know his name now. So. Um, and then he'll, he'll get back, like he can put your requests on, on screen and then we can bring them live to you. So do bear with me because there's a lot of items here and I'm not as good as some of the others at picking them up and knowing where they all are. So. Oh, we've got some nice bits here mm. and a beading board. Look at all this, Tom. Wow. I think it, it, what's Ooh. nice about this is that, uh, the fact that it's not just 
the jewellery either. You know, there's a lot yes, of options. Yes, no, there are lots of different lot bits, of yes. Options yeah. in there yeah. for you. Of course, you've got the stands as well, which is lovely. Um, but you'll probably know more like about the beads. Oh, we'll have a good, yeah, everything. we'll have a good look. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got the Wall of Fame. So, um, the Wall of fame it, uh, fame, it gets drawn every Wednesday, I believe. And uh, these are the entries for today. So bear with me, because otherwise I'll be reading out one person's. Here we go, we'll start off with um, entry number 666 is Susan Frost. Hi all at JM, this is my peacock angelite necklace and bracelet. It is such a lovely bead. Um, do, I do hope you like it. Had to put the clasp at the front because um, it's too beautiful to be hidden at the back. All findings and beads from JM. Uh, good luck to all of you and have a good weekend. I That's love, gorgeous, yeah. isn't it stunning? <clears throat> I love how supportive you are of one another. I, I, I know what you mean about that clasp. In fact, I think that reminds me of something like um, a brand, I'm allowed to say brands on here, like something like Cartier would do. You yeah, know, definitely, with the and quite art deco, isn't it, yes. as well? Yeah, yeah definitely. Really stunning. I think you've made the right decision Beautiful. there, Susan. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Good so luck. luck. This next one, uh, 669, and this is Jude Ryan. Jude says, hello, JM. Here is the pearl coin bracelet I made during the make along. Oh, wonderful. I'm making earrings uh, to match next. What a fun experience. Love seeing all the other JMers. And that's from Jude. Beautiful. I'm glad you had a wonderful time, Jude. It's so gorgeous. That was made yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, so that brilliant. is that's good work. That's brilliant. New. That's good new. luck. Um, okay, Lisa, 667. <coughs> good morning. This is fantastic. Look at oh, this. Oh, wow. Good yeah. morning, all. Please find my entry to the Wall of Fame. I, 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 that is definitely warm, Wall of Fame worthy, isn't it? Wonderful. Um, it's a take on the lovely Alison's Rivoli Rivoli necklace. Um, was a labour of love, but really pleased with how it's turned out. All components from JM. Good luck, everyone. That's fantastic. Mm, that is, isn't it? That's so from Lisa. Lisa yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. Look Beautiful. at the detail. I almost want to. The the oh my gosh! I just can't believe how Fantastic, talented you are. Isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Genuinely incredible. Uh, next, we've got six six eight, and this is Joe Hall. Joe says, after seeing Mark's demo, I've done similar with some of my teeny tiny gemstones, interspersed with hematite. Everything's from JM. Please stop with the clearance. <laughs> the dogs are fed up with waiting for their walks. Oh. And that's from Joe. That's lovely, Joe. Really, really nice. That lovely detailing. Gorgeous. Yeah, poor doggies. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Not. I like the jewellery, Mom, but come on. I just yeah. want to go for a walk. <laughs> come on, give me some time. Um, so there you go. That is your uh, wall of fame uh, for today. So we're going to start on today's um, number eight. Let me pop that here. Ooh, so let, right. me get, let me get to grips with my numbers. Oh, yes. All oh, these are nice. So oh gosh, some, there's loads. There's loads, isn't there? Right, here we go. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four, five different designs here. Um, and then within, you've got two, four, six, eight, ten inside each. I mean, which ones do you go for? Oh, do you know, I, do you know, I like, I do like these ones because these are like, I've got my, uh, was my grandparents, you know, like willow pattern. Yes. Um, so that's our, that's our the plates and everything like that. It's just quite nostalgic, isn't it? Well, that's actually, like you know what that reminds me of? We went to Sorrento last year, um, and that reminds me, uh, everything, they have shops that everything they make is like blue and white. Yes, yeah. So classy. Yeah. Yeah. And that, for me, all of these work with, with you know, they instantly, they evoke a memory of being away, having the sun shining. Um, so for me, that all happy things. things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, mine, is, mine is the nostalgia, that's the, that. And look how you've got all the different patterns, but they all work together don't they so yeah. beautifully and all matched as well how much 29.90 that's a lot isn't it when you think per bead what you'd be paying so um they're porcelain um but then um they're all hand painted um 11 mil rounds as well in terms of your sizes of these if i keep um if i just pour some of them out as well what's really pretty on these particular ones is the fact that you've got detailing so you've got because they're hand painted you can see i know you can see it on the picture but you've got like a floral design on there as well and then if i place that down you can see the detailing around so they've got that attention to detail all the way around so many of you are coming in for these it, they are gorgeous i'm not surprised love these as well again you've got a bigger design on these like a little beach ball um fabulously done i mean they're Stunning, aren't they? They really are. These are lovely as well. Look at those yes. ones with that flower on. That's oh, yes. really nice. Should we? Should we? Should I pour them all out? Should <laughs> yeah. I have done that or not? Or have I made a boo? -boo? Too late now. I've done it now. I've gone for it. He's going to move on. He's going to move on to the next item. You can have a quick look at these, but then we're going to have to move on. 
<laughs> I'm like, let's show you everything. They're all so beautiful. Um, but so, yeah, yeah, congratulations. Oh, did you say they've sold out? Oh, there's two, two remaining. Right, we are frantically putting them back. Sorry about it's the noise. It's a good noise, isn't it? It is a good noise. Yeah. <clears throat> so next up is number nine. There we go. See, I'm learning. I'm learning what I can and I can't do. I'm going to put those back there as well. So number nine is up next, which is, oh, we're there. Where is number nine? Oh, I'm not getting. <laughs> Neary just said you can get all these out if you want. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> these are good. I'm not going to get all of these out. Don't worry. Oh, I've not seen these before. These are a good. These are really good. They're actually, um, I've never seen these. Are these new, Tom? These are these are a lot more substantial than our... They are. Because I'm just sort of used to, you know those ones yes. where you have that, that sometimes you end up ripping. Yes. These are brilliant. Yeah. They're a little bit more secure, aren't yes. they? Yes, yeah. Good for organisation. Yes. That's what I think is really, yeah. really good. Yeah. Is, and you wouldn't really think, right? I, I de you, know, you wouldn't instantly go, I really need those. But actually, if you're dividing and you're trying to be organised, you know, or you've got, say if you're in the middle of a project and then you've, you've got a few beads left or anything like that, then I'm you packing, can use them. I guess, them. It, and, you know, if you're um, selling as well, things like yes. that, you know, that, that looks really good, doesn't it? more it? professional. Absolutely, yeah. Which, yeah, a bit more I could definitely do with, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. like, mm, I'm going to get those. <laughs> um, you've got different sizes as grass, well. Yeah. So I will, I will show you them, but that's, um, I'm not going to get them all out, as, as Tom said. Um, so you've got three different sizes, perfect. I like the kind of, um, when we're talking about being a bit more professional, um, you can still obviously see inside them, but I kind of like that slight little yes. bit of over. Yeah, you yeah, know. me too. And it's just the weight of them as well, isn't it? That, yes. Yeah, these are great. They're, they're, they're that high grade. You know, if you're, mm. if you're going for that higher grade. Mm. Um, there are only 10 of these available. Um, lots of you are multi-ordering on these as well. Maker from Lanarkshire, you've gone for two. Uh, and from Renfrew, Ren I always struggle with saying that. Renfrewshire. Renfrewshire. You know when you just need to say something with confidence yes. and then, you know, yeah. then you've got it. Um, so uh, here we go. Patsy's written in. These bags are great. I bought them for my 925 oh, findings. Fun, yeah. yeah. The nice little smiley face, love heart emoji on the end as well there. Um, I, I just think if you're going to go for that kind of upper level, like you say, if you've got your 925, your proper sterling silver, your pieces that you've created that are you know, a little, little yeah, bit definitely. higher. And if you're selling, then they are perfect. You will look so professional with these as well. Um, only got a couple more of those available. Nine, nine, that's a good price. That's a great price. There's a hundred bags there for 9.99. And you know that not everybody is going to have these. So there's your point of difference as well. So as you said, if you're selling. I also like right. that they're reusable, aren't they? Yes. Like the other ones, I do reuse, um, but you only Actually, get certain, yeah. You know, uh, as, a, as a bit of a lifespan to them, isn't there? Whereas these are, I, I like the fact that, you know, you're not going to be sort of chucking them out. You, you, you know, you can use that several times, can't you? Because you've got that great. I agree with you. Those feel more top. disposable. Yeah. Whereas these, they don't. Yeah. Because you've got the clasp across the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a completely different different yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah, They're great. definitely. They're really good, aren't good. they? Yeah. Okay, so um, I think we might. So, there mm, we go. What, what What's next? What's next? number 46 which is the tra oh this this is number 46 okay is this what you were saying earlier so i feel like this is something that i probably use every day but we just never i i don't i can't remember the last time um i've seen them on the show that oh, really? <clears throat> yeah so i have them for i use them in workshops all the time because they're such a good um base to work on for you to measure um you know if you think about when, if you're making a, a necklace you obviously got, you know, it, it, it would look very, very different if it's just flat and in a straight line. Whereas yeah. here, you know, you're thinking about this is your center point and then you're working your way up. It's just a great, it's a really, really, really good tool. It's a tool. And then that you've got all of those compartments. I feel like, you, you know, it's a tool that you just use without even thinking about it. It's absolutely essential. A pr it's a priceless essential. Like, yeah. you yeah. know that if you were doing, uh, you were creating something, you'd pay anything for it because you know that you've got those measurements here that yeah. are priceless. Yeah. We kind of take it for granted a little bit. Um, it's only ever been on once um, this year, only ever on once. So if you don't have one of these in your collection, um, then I think, as you're saying, it's an essential tool that 
you, you'd pay quite a lot of money for just, because yeah of absolutely yeah how yeah, much, much you, you use it. it definitely yeah definitely and what's really good with them as well and i tend to do this is if you have different projects on the go is stacking them as well are you going lower oh fantastic see perfect Perfect. So you just sort of like multi buy and just stack them up. So you've still got you've got those grooves. So everything's going to sit in there. Yeah. So if you, maybe you're just you're still working on on one piece. You know, like some of the pieces on the, the wall of fame. That's not going to be like a one day no. project. No. You know, you, you can just stack them up. They sit really nicely oh, um, on top of each other, and then you just go back to it. So you could do multiple projects and then it's yeah, all yeah, stored. Yeah. See, I'm learning. So yeah. I, oh, I get what you're saying, Claire. Yeah. So you'll have one project, okay, and then you're changing your day. Or if you're teaching, if you're doing a class or anything like that. So every, yeah, every time. So yeah. most workshops, I would have one of those on the table as well. People's, you know, pliers and then one of these because everything's contained and it's not going to, you know, roll away. You've got those different compartments and everything on there is, is yours and you know where it is. And, you know, you think about findings, some of the findings we've got in the findings pack. They're really small, you know, you need to have them so they're easily accessible. And that's why these are little bits are really good. Absolutely ideal. And no wonder so many of you are. Actually, I think more people are multi-ordering on these and they are actually getting singular ones. Look, there is literally more people that would have two in their baskets and singular ones, which is kind of echoing exactly what you're saying in terms mm. of having multiple projects. It's a form of storage. And then, you, like you say, once you're done, they're easily stackable afterwards. Yeah, yeah, I do think that when you are teaching or if you're with a friend and you've got a workshop, you've got that organization within, haven't you? You know, you're I think if you are, stuff. I mean, I'm saying this because I'm not most of the time, but if you are organized when you're being creative, it's a very, very different experience, isn't it? You know, jewelry makers will know that it, it, it does make it a lot easier. If you know where everything is and it's organized and it's all laid out nicely, it's, it's very, very different. You're creative. So what tells me, I don't know, Claire, I, I met Claire like about an hour ago, but if you're creative, you're not organized. That's, that's yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I feel like yes. this is like a bit of a therapy session. Oh, sorry. But yes, I'm exactly that, Lindsay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because it's so true. Creative people aren't organised. I've had that said to me. I'm like, my, my house, my house isn't a mess. My stuff in my house is a mess. My husband's it's yeah. immaculate everywhere, yeah, but yeah, mine, yeah. Yeah. absolutely not. And they yeah. say, you're creative. It's my excuse. <laughs> That's so, okay then. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. So that again, sorry. Oh. Okay, we have corrected the title. So the early bird special are now what yes. they actually are. Yeah, open jump rings. So these lovely, yeah, these beauties here. They're gorgeous. They're, mm. they're, they're fabulous, but essentials yeah. as well. Yeah. And we've also got the wire. Uh, so we've got yeah. we've got this as well, haven't we? Which I can't think the last time I saw a wire like that. That you've got sterling silver, two reels of sterling silver in those gauges. And um, so we've got 100 chances available in this hour. And they're going to guarantee under £20. Right, under £20. Now for me, I, I'm going to quiz Claire because Claire was saying uh, earlier this morning and she was like, but you could use a wire for this and that and then you can use a wire for this and then you use the larger wire for this and then the smaller wire. So it, you, basically, all, it's endless possibilities, yeah, you would say. Yeah, that's an absolute essential as well, definitely. Mm -hmm. definitely, definitely. Within definitely. this hour. Yeah. We did a deal before. Okay. So we did a deal before. We had 150 and 141 sold. So there was nine remaining oh the the, the rest sold uh, beyond the day yeah, on the repeat yeah yeah so we've got 100 today so that's all we've got available so i don't know how you've done that tom yeah yes okay you're gonna love this it's going under 20 and you're going to have some change in your pocket just so you know, you'll love this. Can people put that in the baskets, uh, Nibby? Yep, yep, there, so you can put it in your basket. Um, so get e either one of those or both of those into your uh, basket so you can check those out. Because you can trust Nibby with his deals, can't you? Yes, yeah. he's very good with them, yeah. isn't he? All right, number five is up next. Ooh, a nice sterling silver chain. Am I correct? I've got the right item, haven't I? Now, exactly what you were just saying, Claire, as well is, Today's ma malachite can flood through 
a change? Yes, yeah. yeah. So I, I would be looking at the, the, this again. Uh, I mean, what's really good is that we, you know, we have got essentials, haven't we? So for all the really lovely um, sterling silver components that we've got coming up, you know, then this is what you, you know, this is what you need to put it on really if you want to make a necklace, isn't it? And you can always add the detailing afterwards, can't you? You, yeah, you know, you've got your your basics here. Yeah. Um, and for this silver weight as well, we're talking about. You know, you've got um, it's a forty. Is it eight? It's an eighteen inch. I was going to say, you know, when you look at, isn't it funny how you measure things? So for me, I'll measure a necklace in inches. Mm. I don't know whether how you yes, you yeah, do. Yeah. Um, but then I, I work in centimeters. Yes. But certain things, I'm like, oh, that's an eighteen inch. To, yeah. 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 I don't know if you yeah. do that. Um, but yeah, so we've got an 18 inch solid sterling silver chain. Are you going to do a mad deal on this one? It's going to go like, it's not clearance, it was yesterday. So you're going to love this. Absolutely brilliant, yeah. I can honestly say on gems, I don't think I ever, ever, ever sold a solid sterling silver necklace for this price point. I think it would have always stopped at you. Your nine ninety nine, your twelve ninety nine, and here, what, what, why are you going? Which so is low? still a great price, isn't it? It's I, an I, I always price. think, you know, when you go into, um, I don't say like, it's not even a, a, you go Marks and Spencers or Next or somewhere like that, and if you've got, um, so it's lovely jewellery, uh, but you know, like, a, it's not high end, high end. Yeah. You would never, you'd never get, you wouldn't get base metal chains, would you, for for that sort of price? And this is your, you know, it's sterling silver, and so if you just just think about, so the things that we've got coming up today that that's going to go with you know you've got connectors that you can um, take off uh, you know cut off little loops and put, make pendants on there you know just adding your jump rings that we've got one of the pearls that we've coming on but having that you know oh. that chain or oh, one of the pearls yeah just a simple yeah. pearl just, yeah, yeah. Or, or just dropped out oh yes yeah. that's lovely yeah. it's your basic isn't it it's your absolute essential that you know you'll always need at some point guaranteed um mary you've bought two of these maker from greater london sue in essex valerie angela pat maker julie zoe maker in cambridgeshire um you're on the line you're bidding for this i don't blame you and also you know what's really nice with this is the fact that you can just make a simple pendant mm. and then mix and match yeah definitely yeah easy simple yeah. that's an apps and it's a precious metal um, right, okay, so we've had a message come in about, are those new circle displays, the um, the, the silver wire is coming up today? Are They're those really nice, aren't oh. they? Are, what's that, 11, 11 o'clock? These are lovely. They are nice. Very good taste collector. I really like these. These are. So, sorry, forgive gorgeous. me. So um, we're talking about the displays here. Um, sorry, because we've got some displays over there as well. They're all coming up today. These are beautiful. Brand, brand new today. Because I was going to say, we've got the displays out there. They're gorgeous. They're so tactile as well, that, that velvet. I like the colour palette. Yeah. I really like, I think that for me, I think personally, having the colour palette that you've got on there, it's very rich, it's very now. And I think mm. if you went into your big, big high-end stores, like your, you know, can I say, I can say brands here, I'm not making comparisons, but like you like of your Monica Venedas, your really nice yes, high-end, yeah. big, big designer stores yeah. where they specialise in stunning jewellery, I think a colour palette like that would fit in really, mm. really well. I like the curvature in the gold mm. work as well, don't you? Know. These are great, yeah. Mm. Really, really lovely. And then we've got these stands. These are the ones that I was Ooh. looking as well. So these are also uh, it, within the show today. And as you can see, on where, where will you see it? the right hand side or the left hand side of the screen um all of the black spinel that we'll be showcasing too and oh, it is oh i just love black spinel it's gorgeous and again slightly different color palettes with those as well which is really nice and then you've got the matching color palette on those so those are coming up a little bit later on as well um okay what's up next what number are we going for next you think it's time for the star buy Right, okay, so your beautiful wire. I'm going to quiz Claire. She's gonna be exhausted by the end of this show, uh, but it's Star By coming up just now.
Um, it's really, really nice because the team, you know, when all of the star buys happen, um, you'll often hear them talk and they'll go, oh gosh, it's a really good deal. And the guys are just like, this is actually a really good deal, this one. And that's when you know, don't you? Because you've been doing yes, it so yeah, long yeah, when yeah, everyone's yeah. kind of talking yeah. off camera and going, this is a good deal. So you say you don't have this very often. No, no, we don't. We really don't. And what's very, very good is to get two gauges together. Oh really? Yeah, the size. Really yes, yes. Yeah. Because they work with one another, or you is can it the work. fact that you've got the options? Yeah, you've got the options. So you know, when we talked a little bit about, say, uh, maybe drill holes or something like that. So if you if you want to maybe do uh, some rosary linking, and you've got a strand that you really really love, and you don't want to use base metals, so you don't want to have no. a copper core, you want to use you know sterling silver. Um, until you cut that strand, it's unlikely, unless you can get to really see the drill hole, you don't really know whether what's going to fit through it. You might have a, a bit of an idea, but you're not really too sure. Uh, you've got two different gauges there. So you've got your uh, 0.4, yep, so slightly finer, one. and then, and then a 0.6, so slightly thicker. Um, so you've got your two options there. Um, so say, for example, you were going to rosary link, you know, one of those is going to fit through and work mm. really perfectly. And then you've got other sorts of, of, of wire work as well, which is uh, wire weaving, which we're going to do a little bit of in the, the nine o'clock. And again, both of those are brilliant gauges to do some wire weaving with as well. You can really experiment as well. Oh my gosh, so much you can do. You know, yeah. Alison. Yeah, yeah, Alison yeah, always yeah. says, Alison always says, if you can dream it and, and you know, imagine yeah. it as wire, you can make it. Yes. You know, so yeah. you've got to have that attitude with it. But sometimes you might want to do something, I don't know, really, really simple but you want to work with precious metal and that's yeah. where this is I think also exactly when, it. when you're working with precious metals, right, and you're working with <coughs> gemstones of a higher caliber, and I'm sure you'll, you'll agree when you're at home, that when you're working with those gemstones that, that, at that higher level, you're, you're spending your money, it's mm -hmm. hard earned money that goes into that. You want that precious metal mm. to work with it. You yeah, don't want yeah, to kind of, yeah. you're not doing it justice. And I think I said this the other day, you're not doing it enough justice. Yes, so when you've got yeah. your solid sterling silver, then you, you're, you've got the, they work together. Yes, you've got the two yeah. um, kind of pieces that come together and you're like, no, that's going to work. And you don't get it very often. No, so. no, you don't. You don't. And it's really deceiving. It's, can I, can oh, I just yes, be a please. real pain? Yeah, yeah. Because when you see it like this. The length of it. Is yeah, that what you're so, going to say? Yes. Yeah. And, and but the fact that it's it's sterling silver as well. You know, so you oh, will use that. every, every scrap of this. So it, lo it does look sort of quite, I don't know. It doesn't look small, much. Does it? No, yeah, but I know this what you is mean. when you yeah. actually take it out. And yeah. so don't forget as well with this, uh, when you've got uh, different gauges of wire, We've had we had tools on, didn't we, Tom, the other um, the other day uh, that you can work with. So like a wire twisting tool. So you've got here. It's a whole meter, take isn't this, it? You know, you have got a lot of wire. You there. have. You have. How many projects or how many rings? Well, or that is a, that's a, you know you're going to do if you if you were rosary linking, uh, you'd certainly you know you you get a you know good good look. I mean, it depends what you're working with. It's very always very very difficult to say, but certainly with sterling, sterling silver. You would use every scrap of that but you could do things like um, if you twisted that there's nothing to stop you uh, twisting it which obviously then you've got the double double thickness and then soldering that and making stacker rings oh, yeah. you know um, things like that uh, uh, bracelets as well fancy links you know so it's just it's really I think it's really important that you actually see, you know you get a meter does it goes yeah. a long 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 so you're getting way. two meters ultimately then yeah. I, I'm right because you've got um, the 0 0.4 and then you've got the 0 0.6 in terms of dia diameter yes yes yeah. um, within the wire so you're getting two in that price point as well and don't forget it is your precious metal go on yeah, yeah so tom, tom is tom is just saying about um so yesterday and, it, and, it, and you could really see that um just how many people love wire you know it's and wire work i think i agree with that in terms of i think it's very personal you can literally the world is your oyster as you said the yes. only limit is your imagination yeah so you can make something so bespoke and so detailed with wire yes very much so and, it, and it's sort of um it's, it's just a really good feeling i think that you take something that is i don't know it's pretty flat and uh, yeah. nondescript and you can yeah. form shapes you know and uh, wire writing is a really good one so I probably wouldn't go with wire writing with your 0.4 I mean it depends what you're gonna do with it but certainly on a small scale you could work with your 0.6 so you can personalize things do initials names you know anything like that but yeah precious precious metal um, 
it's lovely to put alongside your gemstones, isn't it? And to work with wire is yeah, And earrings. Brilliant. I think these would be nice, like yeah. with earrings, creating a bit of detail. Absolutely, We've got the pearls yeah. later. Yeah. You can have like eight and create like a nice little drop with them. Absolutely. And there's so much. I think that is the only limit is your imagination. And the fact that you're going with a premium material, yeah. then by getting this in your collection, you're going for the best of the best. Yeah. Silver is silver at the end of the day. And I think that's what um, Debbie said to me. You know, whether you're going to your likes of your Tiffany's and your big, big brands over there, you know, silver is silver. So the yes. same silver yeah. that they've got Absolutely. is the it's same what, yeah. silver that you've yeah. got. Yeah. And so I think for me, when she said that, it kind of resonated because it was like, well, actually, what? So you're paying a hundred pounds there and then you're paying this new price point now, 14.99 yeah. uh, here. Yeah. And then the world is your oyster. I mean, you don't really get a better opportunity. Um, in, in your, you know, I think that's amazing. Sorry, he's doing all of the clocks and I'm always a bit like, oh, what's he doing, what's he doing? Where's he going? Are you really? Are you really? Okay, Neary's just said, I want them all sold out, so I'm going to go even lower for you today. I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, Miss Janet's saying, so why is a fantastic medium and sterling is such a wonderful tool? Yeah, absolutely it is. And it's, and it's really, um, it's almost like, um, I don't know, working with it, I can understand it being intimidating, but it's so lovely and easy to work really? with as well. Is yeah, it? it almost like, you know, if, if, if your budget allows, you never want to go back, really. Oh, really? Yeah, because can it you can tell be a big really, difference? Yes. Yeah, and I think with findings as well, you can. I mean, there's, there's, there's you know, places for base metal, absolutely, but sterling silver is lovely. Yeah, because you're not going to put that, you're not putting it down, but you're just saying you've got that it's respect a for yes. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I totally yeah. get Look, yeah. he is going even lower, by the way. So if you want these, do put them into your basket. Multi order, it's a fantastic. It's brilliant. A, oh, there you go. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. Really, really good. So, so if you have a look at, if you think, so some of the projects oh, that yes. are there, so yeah. the, the necklace, if you see the, the, the little loops and, and so the, the, the links there that I've created, we'll be doing that in the nine o'clock. So you can see, so that is um, the, almost like that, I guess like a little like lace detail or Lovely. so that's with your 0 0.4. If you feel comfortable and uh, really confident with your Y weaving, you could do it in a 0 0.6 as well. So you can see, so I've used it there. The rosary linking, um, on this bracelet, so yeah. that's with your 0.4. So you can see, you use those gauges. Gosh, you have as all well. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness, yeah. look at this. Yeah. Oh, I love the talent on this channel. I just love it. So yes, of course. But can you see how adding that, that, that wire work, that, yes. that rosary linking, you've got you've got the lovely luster of the, the sterling silver, you've added in the precious metal, you've spaced out the, 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 the green of the malachite, you know, it just, it all works so well. I think so you've also well. echoed the design of that clover. Yes. You've kind of respected the design yeah. and gone, you know what, I'm going to follow that. Give, I said this uh, quite a lot, give nod to it yeah. throughout the design, but not overpowered yes. the centre. Yeah. Just and completely you've done complements that the, it, doesn't it? With the 0.4. That's yes. What you've yeah. Done. Yeah. But oh, you could green. do it with a 0 0.6. That would depend on um, on what you want to do. Oh, lovely. So Gloria is a really, really talented uh, jewelry maker. She does a lot with silver clay. She's saying, "Morning, girlies. Glad to see wire. I uh, I cannot keep 0 0.6 in my stash. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to seeing. Ah, oh, thanks, Gloria. Thank you. It's yeah. It's it's. They are such good gauges. Both of them. Such good gauges to work with. And the fact that you're writing in and you're saying, you know, I, I need, I, I need it in yeah. my collection. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, how do you stop it tarnishing, though, please? Oh, different ways. So there's the little, um, there's the little. Uh, I don't know if I've got any here. You get the little anti-tarnish strip. So uh, I do that, and then I tend to just give it. Have it if you've got. You know, we had the lovely. Um, was it Town Talk, Tom? Yeah, so I got the big cloth as, uh, as a make town talk and it's a lovely like impregnated cloth. I just cut that up and just, I give that. So just give it a regular polish. And I, I, mean, I, know, I quite like doing that on, oh, my, on my jewelry yes, as well. Like I, know I, what you I, mean. I like the process of, of how it changes over time as well. Yeah. I like it if it ages a bit, but then I also do like that, that yeah. giving that little buff up. So yeah, I use the combination. Yeah, thank you, Michael, ah, thank okay, you. Here we go. So yeah, so those little bits, so yeah. I think someone did someone message in about those bags and then yeah if you just pop that pop those in as well those anti-tarnish ones so you know the bags that we had on earlier they kind of um, um, yeah. nearly saying they can really help with that as well 
So maybe if you're, it depends, I guess it depends how much wire work you use. If, if maybe you, you don't do a lot and you were going get, to um, get this wire, maybe pop it in those bags with a little bit of that and then just keep it, you know, airtight, airtight like that. I mean, I tend to, when I get it, I use every, <laughs> every last bit. <laughs> I think and that's don't forget all your scraps then, so nothing gets wasted. So if you do um, soldering or granulation, you know, you get your torch on it. All of those, even if they're like little scrap bits of even the finest gauges, Get your heat on, it will ball up into tiny little balls yeah. and lovely detail there for your work. So that's the thing, you know, it's precious metal, it's not. It's not. Yeah. So Alison was on air the other day, um, last Sunday I think it was, yes, and she was saying she keeps all of her scraps yes. and people go, oh really, really? She went, uh, and then she sold it on for £100 afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and she went, it was, uh, don't get me wrong, it's a decent size bag yeah. for, but she was like, oh, I do that because yes. of that, so yeah. it's not for any other reason other yeah. than the fact that I can do that and then go, right, okay, let's so, get some yeah. new pieces back yeah. in. Yeah. So that's great. I mean, look how many people are coming through. Congratulations, because it is, it's your essential, but it's of your precious metal and that's a big deal and we don't, I'm right, and um, from what you've said, it's not brought to wear very often. No, I can't so. think of the last time we saw. I mean, I've seen a little bit more wire um, in the last couple of weeks, but I mean, we, you know, we haven't seen it for a long time, um, and that's been and you know, base metal wire, so it's brilliant to have this. Yeah, brilliant, and lots brilliant. of people multi-ordering as well. So you know, when you've done that, and like you've said, you're, you know, you you've done this way longer than I have, but it's a case of you're multi-ordering because you're going. Well, actually, I'm going to. I'll use you that. You know that you'll use it. You yes. know you'll use yeah. it. So yeah. they, there you yeah. go. So there's your precious solid sterling silver pop it into your basket um, and check that out as well so both of them the 0.4 and the 0.6 right it was over there wasn't it? i'm happy to look after that yeah, Tom. Shall yeah. I just pop that there I if it's not there at the end that. of the day yeah. wow well, we've never seen it have we there we go there we are okay fantastic so we've got number 47 we've got all of your spacer beads do I make the boo-boo and take them all out or Ooh, not? I think you might have to with some yeah. of these. Yeah. Gosh, you've got great There's things loads. today, Tom. There's have loads. Look at the different sizes as well. Shall I pop them out or just a few of each? What would oh, you Oh, you've got do? nice, yeah. So you've got that lovely. So you know when we talked before with the, the malachite and I was saying how that rosary linking just breaks up? Sometimes when yes. you get like a really, really, I don't know, um, malachite's got a real power to it, hasn't it? It's a, oh. a, a, you know, that intensity of green. Yes. Sometimes, and, and all the markings on it. I think sometimes when you get that, oh, it's nice know. to sort of break it up a little bit so that you see them as an individual yes. gemstone or bead rather than that. Sometimes the expanse of green can just be a lot, can't it? Yeah. Whereas if you, if you then intersperse with spacers or, or wire work, it means you can really, really focus on each individual gemstone and that's where I think spaces come in you know really really come into their own they're almost like a punctuation aren't they in between yeah, yeah. and and it's I think that like works very well. leading up yes. leading yeah. up you're leading up to obviously the focal point yeah. that is Malachite yeah. but these and what's really nice is and we said this last week is the fact that the different effects on all of these beads so you've got you've got a different luster so actually you're probably fine because you've got choice here you'll go okay i'm going to use this piece this works better and you can manipulate it and make it work really well oh this was used was this the 40 um the 14th birthday this is a mega bundle yeah so it's this gonna, is a good one this is it? a Look really good this, one yeah. so you've got so yes okay you've got them all on the screen there but you've got that kind of nice high polish luster in quite a few of the pieces so you've got more of a contemporary feel um, and then you've got some of the smaller. I mean, look at the size of those. They're I tiny. love those. I absolutely love them. These are um, these are some shapes I've not seen these before. No, they're like a little square shape, aren't they? But with a, so like a I dome on the well. side. That's yeah. even hard for you to zoom in. Oh yes. Oh well done. Let's see if I can get that on there. This is a lovely one. Oh, it's jumping away. Sorry, I'm going to take him over. Let's see if I can thread it on. That these are really, really nice. Would you double up on them? So would you have a larger bead and then a smaller? How would you? How would you do it? But that's the beauty. You, like if you look at that, that is going to look so nice, isn't it? You've got the, those great angles there. Yes, it's like a sharp luster. Yeah, you know, like the luster yeah. off a spinel, that kind yeah. of sharp, um, like a nice strong facet, and then you've got the. So there, you've got that kind of. Um, almost triangular luster but here it's almost like a, a, a rectangle as it spins round and like, yeah and nice, kind of see the, the, the way the light really lovely and then you've got the larger size of it of it there as well haven't you yes. that one 
I'll try and get some of those on. And then you've got these domes as well. Take that one off. You've got a real make You've got a big quantity. 400 pieces. There's 400. That is brilliant. 400. So actually what's impressive is you get a lot of each design, which is really, so yeah. actually this has got, a, you've got quite a bit of longevity here to these because you know, it depends obviously, depending on how much you use in your project, but that's incredible. Mm. Oh, I like that. It's a good one, that is. Yes, I like this one. And they're all solid sterling silver, produced and made for the 14th birthday, 39.90, 400. That is nice, I like those. $39.99. Is that about, yeah, about 10 pence a space, I think is worth it. Oh, Linda, I don't do math, sorry. Oh, oh I'd just I, say, I when, when you say, if you say, oh, is that, I'll say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I have totally no idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I have yeah. no idea. Alison was good the other day. She was like, oh, I'm doing this and I'm doing this because it was a 20% the Wayne's Was she birthday. really good at it? She was yeah, really good. Yeah, I can imagine I like, she would be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not, I'm not there. Yeah. Wow, okay, 400, and you've got the different designs. So you've got versatility here, you've got quantity here, and you've got um, that kind of difference, and you've got the quality in the fact that it's solid sterling mm. silver. Yeah. And he's putting another clock in. So you've got 30 seconds, and then we're going to move on from this one. So 400. 400, that's a lot. I mean, I can't even say how many uh, pieces of jewellery would you be able to produce with all of these because you could use so much in one piece or just have them as your staple. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if collection. maybe you do, I don't know, corded work, you might just want to have two in a piece, might yes, you? Just uh, yeah. you know, on the end of your cords. There's your deal. That's a lovely selection. Isn't it? Mm. Lots of variety there. Lovely, lovely. Lots of sizes. Right, okay. Um, right then. Oh, here we go. Shall I put those back? No pressure. <laughs> they stick to your fingers, don't they, when you pick some of them up? So, there we go. Right. Oh, no, I'm doing that one. Right. Okay. Uh, the, the chain sold out. The bags have sold out. Oh, uh, yeah, brilliant. The what, sorry? Oh, the beads, they've sold out. So, if you do scroll down, you can see a lot of the items have sold out within the hour. What's up next, though? Is it time? Is it time for the early bird? Right, okay, we have got your jump rings, which, as Claire said, we don't have on air all that often. Again, another essential for your collection, and it's your early bird special. <music> Oh, this is going to be a good one. Um, I'm sorry, Claire. We got too many of them out, didn't we? <laughs> Poor Claire, stuck. She's no, that's fine. And like I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy to road test these as well, if uh, <laughs> if you'd like me to. I don't oh, mind. Fantastic. Okay, next up, so we've got your jump rings. And these, again, are solid, uh, solid sterling silver, but you're getting different sizes now. And again, so before a show, I'll prepare a few. As you know, I'm, I'm really new to jewellery maker, so I'm learning quite quickly. Um, however, I'll have a look online at some of the star buys and the specials that we've got coming up. And for me, I've, there's so many videos I've learned online of people using these because they're, they're an essential for pretty much everything, aren't they? You, you, do you know, you'll use jump rings, I think, probably more than any other. Really? Yeah. Because, I mean, they are... Your connections, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they, they connect things. So, that, uh, and so, so going back to, they open and close you can add things onto them. So say like this now, I've just taken one of those spaces. So if you've okay. got, I don't know, maybe a, an earring finding, you know, can you see that lovely, almost like it looks like a, like a little molten rock, does, isn't it? it? So that on a, um, a shepherd hook or uh, another jump ring, and you've got a really lovely contemporary pendant, it's all precious metal. It pop that on that chain. You know, you look at what, what you know, the prices that you would pay there. Oh. We know that that is maybe only three components that's taken seconds to make because of the quality of how it's made. So if I open it there, so I've got my two chain notes. So can you see there that you go. you've got that lovely. There's your jump ring. But because it's really well made, when you close it up, 
you know, you're not going to you see that. It looks like it's a complete ring. But we can add anything into that, can't we? Could you, uh, for me, could you put a stud on it? Could you put turn that into a stud at the back or at the top or something? Yes. Yeah, so, so if you because you're working with sterling silver, and it depends what. So, if you're happy to solder, you could solder that closed, and then just put get a little bit of maybe the wire that you've got. <gasps> yes, of course. So you just cut a, a post like that. Claire, you'd use the wire as the. Po yeah, absolutely. So that w that would be oh just cut God. a maybe like a you know maybe just slightly less than a centimeter. You'd add the solder that on, and then just get a butterfly back, or you just make a you know an earring finding with that. But but yeah, jump rings. I mean, I've just focused on on one thing there because they go you know is really it, well together. Yes. Um, but the fact as well. So you're getting all of them, Tom. Is it? To, yeah. Yeah. A, a, a whole it's a bundle so you're getting all of the bundle the different sizes can i just say when i come off air i'm absolutely but buzzing because i say to my husband you don't realize but how creative everyone is on the channel but you've literally just picked this up created something she's about to create something else again with this this is in seconds and that's basically claire using her creative skills to pick up what's in front of her to create something now all you would do is get these home and then you would go right okay what have i got I, what can i work with and what yeah. can i produce and being an essential then you can't go wrong with these and you've got the different sizes which is perfect it is so that i think that's the largest and the, and the smallest i mean that, so and don't forget as well and i don't do chain mail but you know there is a whole type of jewelry and art form isn't there just using different you know uh, just using jump rings different um different sizes but on a, on a as a as a general jewelry maker so not you haven't specialized in in chain mail you know you will use unless you're just going to complete just make stretchy bracelets all the time where you don't need any findings really i would say most pieces of jewelry you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna Quiet. want a, a jump ring um you know to connect your, your, your beading thread or chain to things or to change the direction of, of you know the focal the piece to make bales I mean you just use them you use them all the time and again working with your sterling silver you know that that's that's really really it's like your staple do. it's your staple yeah. isn't it yeah right okay yeah. just so you know we've got the different sizes in this pack so it's not on the screen at the moment I'll bring it up but I believe your largest is eight yeah so four five six seven and eight mil in terms of the the sizes of the jump rings there's 25 pieces in total which then gives you five of each of the designs clear picture there just to show you how i like the way you said how well made they are though um claire um yes is the fact that 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 close when you've closed them off you have got that nice solid circle and being precious metals you've you you, you you can't go, and we've said silver is silver. So whether you were getting something that you could use a design like this, a simple contemporary earring that you created. Totally, yeah. You could pay I mean, a that's a nice for. one as well, isn't it? If you were looking at, at earrings, you know, just having yeah. that. But you can see the lovely luster on there and how, how, you know, fabulously made, you know, they are really nice. So many of you getting these. And it's gone down to one pound per piece. Are you not? Right, he's nowhere near the price point. So you, I think also what's nice as well is when you see everyone buying and everyone's like, we know where you're going, we know where you're going. As in they trust you, you don't think they do know. You don't think the jewellery makers know. There's so many, you said it's going to be a mad price. You're going to love this. And I think, oh, I love that. Looks really nice, doesn't it? And that's because that is, it's a bit like having a graduated strand because you've got the graduated yeah. sizes. Oh, I really like that. And you could put a small gemstone right on the bottom one as well. There, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So it's almost like building up to that central focal point in it. Yeah. And that's just using just the jump rings alone. Okay, he is going even lower. You're going to love this. Get these into your collection. Brill. I love this. It's wonderful, isn't it? And all jewellery makers know, you know, you will use and use and use these over and over again. And it's really important, you know, you'll have made something really lovely if you've got maybe a bit of a dodgy jump ring that doesn't close properly. Mm. It, you know, you need to be able to rely on that, that it does close. So either your beading thread doesn't come out of it, your wire doesn't get your silks, you know, whatever it is that you're working with it. You need to know that that, that you know, it's the closed confidence. up properly. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. And when you said it shut so well, it does give you that confidence. Yes. You, straight yeah. away, you're like, 
you know, you, you need solid tools to work with and you need Absolute. all your components yes. to, to yeah. be of high yeah. quality. Yeah. And that's exactly what you're saying you get here. Definitely. I mean, you can see there where it's grouped together, can't you? That How that's catching the light, the luster on, you know, it, brilliant with gemstones. But even if we didn't, you know, that's a, you know, seconds of work, but it's really, really nice. That's a nice design, isn't it? Can't go wrong with precious metals. No, though, can no, you? That's absolutely. That's why, you know, yeah. You, yeah. You, and you will know yourself at home and you cannot go wrong with it. So whether you're buying it, and I will say, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you're buying it from here, silver is silver. So if you're looking in the shops and seeing, uh, we're not gonna do a price comparison here, but you could look at a pair of earrings simply and be paying, what, 50 odd pounds for something so simple. Mm. And yet jewelry makers, because you've got that creativity, yeah. people pay a premium because it's there and made. But, but then also, you know. and you've got, you get the enjoyment of the, the making it as well. That, you know, that, that creative, the, having the project. You don't even know her. Brilliant. Brilliant. And there's nothing more frustrating than you know making a piece of it and you haven't got those. You know, I think so. Sometimes you might think, oh, these are the boring bits. But I think once you once you do make jewellery, you know that they are. You know, you get excited by jump rings. There's the potential, that, you know, to do so much with them. And if the, the, there's also the potential that if you don't have them, you can't actually finish any of your your yes. pieces anyway. An essential item. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. you'd be surprised with how much. And I think for me, when I said I did my research before I came on air, literally everyone was like, right, okay, I can produce this with a jump ring. I can produce this with a jump ring. I can produce this and I need my jump rings. And so yeah. it was like you, you couldn't do anything without it. Of course you can. But again, it's making your life so much easier as well, isn't it? So yeah. many of you yeah. are, are just like coming in now going, oh, um, it was named incorrectly. So if you're writing in, by the way, um, it said split rings. We're really, really sorry. Um, we came in and guess who noticed it this morning? Claire, she was on it. She was like, oh, I think something's uh, uh, on the system. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did. She was on it. I was it that annoying morning. person. No, yeah. no, no, not annoying. Um, so <laughs> congratulations. What were we gonna do, sorry? It, uh, it's an apology, an apology price. Are you get what are you doing? He's going again. He does his own thing, doesn't he? He does. That's Tom. Thing is, though, I I thought that was good when you were talking about twenty nine ninety nine because I'm thinking solid sterling silver, yeah, and it's creeping yeah. down even lower and lower. Hence the reason why so many of you are you're buying at twelve ninety nine, and everyone and he's going to go even lower. That is wonderful. Make the most of it. You're going to use them. I think mm. that's the thing. He's doing an apology. He's like, it said split rings. It didn't. They they deserve a, 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 a yes. They deserve it. Let's just do an apology deal. That's exactly what he's doing. Fantastic, isn't it? So, when you're thinking, and you know, you're getting say your malachite later on today, or we've got some beautiful birthstones, um, then these are those are ideal, then, aren't they? For, yeah, yeah, they would be. Yeah. So later they on would today, be. we've got just to give you a heads up. We've got this really pretty. Um, it's one meter in length of all so your birthstones. Such a nice strand, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, so we'll talk about it a little bit later. But you've got a whole meter of all of these. Then you could create so much with these. There's, there's loads you could do, and so you could use these. So it's a really nice design. Is uh, flowers. So if you work, so you're almost using your 0.4, like a needle and thread, and stitching the gemstones around that jump ring. So the, the jump ring becomes the center oh, of the flower. Yes. And then you, you, know, you could do birthstone flowers like that. So they would work, all of those components would work really well with that strand. There's so yeah. much opportunity, isn't there really, when you think about it? It doesn't stop. And, and I mm. think the fact that you can create even with things that we've got today, even things in, in your own collection. Um, when are the beautiful pearls coming? Um, 10? The, the deal of the day at 10 o'clock, the pearls are. They're coming oh, up Sally's got later. the wire as well. Enjoy that wire, Sally. Brilliant. I can't, yeah. Congratulations. Are you really? Is he normally like this? Sometimes, if it, yeah, if he's in that mood, which is most of the time, yeah, yeah. he just, just does whatever he wants, really, especially it's a Saturday, isn't it? He so, just, yeah, he just wants a sellout auction. 
He goes, I just basically, I want to sell out auction. I want everyone to get these home. I don't want to have to bring them back to air again. It's Saturday morning. Let's make the most of it. They had to, I think you had a, 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 well, you had the make yesterday as well. You had the yeah. clearance yesterday and he's like, right, okay, we're going to have a fantastic day today. So he is going again. Audrey has six. Yeah, but, but the thing is, I, I can completely relate to that because you will use all of those. You will, you know, if you're making, I, I mean, pretty much most pieces of jewellery require a jump ring. Um, and, it, you know, even if, say, I, I said about stretchy bracelets not needing them, but say you want to work, I don't know, the, the malachite rounds, and you're, you're not looking for a finding, or not to use it as a finding, but as a spacer, you know, pop them in between the... In between? Yeah. You know, you'd use them really nicely there. They're just, they're an essential. You can't get away um, from amazing. it. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Do you love it when the jewel makers get such a good deal? Yes. Yeah, because you know that you're going to see really incredible creations on the Wall of Fame as well. And I think because I know how lovely it is to work with them. Yes. You, you're knowing yeah. that everyone else is, is having that as well. I like the fact that earlier when you talked about the wire as well, and, and when you opened up the ring, you were like, it's just easy. And then they slot back together perfectly. So yeah. you've got that perfect circle. Yeah, yeah. So it's just making your life easier yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. And I think you're, you know, if you, if you, if you like making things, then you're happy to do a bit of problem solving as well, aren't you? But you don't want to be problem solving so much so that you can't actually, your creativity can't flow. So yeah. like you say, if you're working with great tools, great components, you, that, that bit sort of it, that goes in, like in the background, doesn't it? And your creativity can come to the fore, really. Mm. So you're and not you're in all, your zone yeah. then, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah. What do they call it when you're in that moment of, your flow, your flow, yes, you're in your yes, flow. Yes. And then something can distract you and you come out of your flow and you think, I want to go back there because yes. the head with, do you yeah. ever feel that? Yeah. And you're just you're in the totally zone, aren't you? just yeah. flowing and embracing it. Yeah. And again, you know what? I mean, this is fantastic for, a, 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 for an item, a jump ring that is essential. And as you're saying, Claire, you can use it for nearly everything mm. that you create yeah. and you're getting your precious metal. Yeah. Um, thanks, Tom. I've been using so many open jumps lately. Needed a stash replacement deal. Amazing. Perfect timing then, Alison. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Naughty Neary, <laughs> but nice. <laughs> Gloria. He oh. is. He's naughty, but nice. He is. Do you have anything? for round coloured ones. Is it th these? Is it, no, no, the four round. Which ones are we talking about? So they're on at 11, I think. But the stands are all on at 11, because you said the four round. Um, I think it might be those. Um, Pre-orders at nine. There you go, Sheila. Oh, there um, So good question to ask as well. And they're very they're nice, Sheila. They are, they're lovely. They're really nice. Aren't yeah. They? Really nice. Great. Um, can I just say, I'm not surprised with so many of you coming in. I, I, I genuinely, because I'm not on, on air that often, for me, when you were at that $29.99, I'm like, fine, he did the price drop, $14.99. And that's good. But when when you need them for pretty much everything, you want a good deal, though, don't you? You do want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're multi-ordering, you, you, they're you staple. Yes. They're staple. Yeah. So you know that you always, you don't want to run out either. There's that, that horrible thing. Do you ever find that you're halfway through something and then you've run out of it? Yeah, all the time. And really, it's the really. most frustrating thing ever. So what do you do? Do you just like manipulate? Gets, Will you get make... really cross. Depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes throw it across the... Because you, you very, very rarely we go back to it. If you can't finish it at that time. Mm. So it's, you know, it's a bit like, depends how, how my how anger management feeling? is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Right, okay. Um, is the hour up then? Is that, so is everything gone? Is that, okay, so you've got a bit of time over the break to be able to check everything out of your baskets. Congratulations, everybody who's bought in this hour. We have got a spectacular show lined up. We've got the stands, we've got uh, the pearls, um, we've got a fantastic, fantastic array of malachite and creations that Claire has made. So we'll see you in just a few. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. 
click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Saturday morning, isn't it? I know, I don't think I've done a Saturday morning for a long time. It's, uh, yeah, really? I was quite excited, yeah, this morning, yeah. Is I woke up before my alarm. Did you? Yeah, I love coming in when, when it's just us. It just feels like it's, I don't know, a bit, I don't know, naughtier. I've never, I've, the shifts that I've covered have only ever been on a Saturday or Oh, really? Sunday, oh, yeah. okay. Is it a different yeah. vibe then? In I think so, I yeah. think it is, yeah. I oh, think so, good. yeah. Saturday mornings. What is a Saturday morning to you? Because for me, a Saturday morning is just, you're allowed it, well, not today, obviously. 
Uh, uh, with children, because I've got a one-year-old and a six-year-old, there's no kind of chance oh, of gosh. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, again, I haven't got that time. Yeah. But it's that, I've still got, my Sundays, you can relax a little bit more, but Saturday, I think you still have to have that punch for the day. Yeah, it's sort of like, relax. it's like housey jobs, yes. isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Health jobs. The, yeah. the, the, so you mm. should definitely ditch the housey jobs and then, yeah. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Watch, watch jewelry maker. Yeah, yeah. Or like do both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just have it on, have yes. it on in the background and just you yeah. know be doing your healthy jobs if you want yeah. to, of course. Yeah. If not, just no, sit back and relax because yeah. we we'd rather be in yes. that uh, situation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Lindsay Vickers. I've only, this is my third jewellery maker uh, show and I've got the lovely Claire with me who I met an hour and a half a ah. ago and she's just great. She's made me chuckle so much already this morning. Um, and I've learned a lot from her and I said, is it all right how many questions I'm asking you? She's like, yeah, I said, I'm learning loads. So it's really good. Um, okay, so in this hour, we've got three kind of kits that uh, what you've made with them and honestly I've worked with Debbie I've worked with Alison and honestly I'm astounded by sorry the creativity and talent of all all of you oh jewelry, jewelry makers is lovely for that though because and everyone's a bit everyone's different and uh, you know it just it I, I I always feel really privileged to be in a because it's a really lovely creative it's a space and, yeah, where you can yeah, just be yeah. and be celebrated yeah amazing but, amazing people yeah, yeah. Um, and we've got we've got some of the kits. Also, just before we go on to some of the kits, though, I just wanted to showcase this for you. I don't know how many we have of these, um, but it's a full meter. Is it more than a meter? Is that is that a meter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a meter um, of birthstone gemstones. So each each kind of section is your January, your February, March, April, May, all the way up to December. Um, what's that at the end? Is it tan tanzanite at the end? I think that is tanzanite in the end. We'll Stunning, go through them um, in a little bit, in a little while. But you've got, I, I think there's so many opportunities when you're getting um, your birthstones. I had some ideas and you had some ideas as well, didn't you, mm. earlier? So, yeah. Um, yeah. But this is coming up within this hour. I think you'll really, really like this. Because for me, if you're gifting or you want to create something that you want to wear and go with the change of the month yourself, you can create the same item but it looks different because, of course, you've got the different birthstones on there. That's mesmerising, isn't it? Even if you did nothing with that strand and just yeah. looked at it, it's, yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. pleasing, isn't it? Absolutely. Different colours, different gemstones, different mm. beliefs behind the stones. There's so much, but it, it's really, really pretty. So this is coming up within this hour, but I, um, I noticed this. And I'm, I'm not going to talk about it too much but because the deal is going to be so good, but um, we've got a bargain deal on some opal. So if you like <gasps> opal, the strand of opal. Oh, look at that. Aren't they stunning? Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Um, this is coming up within this hour. It's going to be a little bargain deal towards the end of the hour for you to enjoy. Um, but yeah, something to look forward to as well. And we've got the stands um, that everyone's been asking about. Um, that was yeah. a bit of a last minute. Thing, wasn't it Neary they, the, the stands kind of went into the show last minute so if, if you want some beautiful oh, oh look at that it's a shop front yeah gosh that looks really nice doesn't it I love the colours that they've chosen here and yeah. I like the palette but then I also like would you say it's like a teal colour yes. I don't know what colour yeah. you'd say yeah. if I run across and um, these ones over here I think that deeper colour actually looks really nice and pulls out the other colours on there as well I think that's so nice um, so those are coming up in the next hour as well. Lovely. So we've got yeah. loads and loads to look forward to in today's show. Um, shall we start with the Malachite? Okay. So we've got, we're going to start with the Clover Connector. So, okay, Malachite, stunning step, gemstone. In fact, I think with Malachite, what you get is, um, of course, it's iconic. And I think mm. it, it is um, unapologetically what it is. You know, some stones that you see, you could go, oh, is it or isn't it? Whereas I think with Malachi, it's distinctive. That's what you've got. You've got that rich emerald colour. Then you've got the banding within. Can I just quickly talk about the banding? Because for me, like having come back, for, for uh, having been on gems for years, um, what I love is how a, a, a gemstone is a moment in time creation. It's like you had to have those elements there, present, ready to be able to create that creation. So I think there's, it's meant to be, there's so, so much behind it. But I think with Malachite, what's incredible is the fact that it doesn't just symbolize the actual ingredients, but it symbolizes the pressure. And it's, it's got an, like, 
it is the symbol of the pressure and the colours layering up. So you've got that lovely banding that goes across. And I think that's what is so distinctive, but so stunning and so personal when you're talking about this gemstone. Because you, you can see um, what we're looking at here. Um, where are we? That, this one here, yes. So you can see that beautiful, just distinctive lines coming through. Subtle, not too overpowering, but just enough. So you've got a bit of a, a nice green colour palette within there as well. Mm. So you can pull out different greens. And I think it's a stone that you can keep looking at. You know, you don't, you don't see it the same every time that you look at it. You see something new. So it kind of draws you in. It's quite an inviting stone, isn't it? Yes, and I think, like you say, it's that 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 pressure, and it's uh, it, it's just that it's power, isn't it? It's and it's like you say, it's it's not. It, it doesn't try and hide any of that. It's mm. just to me, it's a really, I don't know, solid, powerful stone. That colour, it just has a lot of impact. And like you say, the those striations and those diff those different greens, it's just. You can't ignore it, can no, you? Can't. You can't ignore it. It's unapologetically yes. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what's stunning about this stone. Um, we've got some pieces. Is it copper? Isn't it the layering of copper in terms of the build of the stone as well that gives it that different oh, colour? Yeah, I, I think it's to do with... Oh, I don't know all of it. It's very scientific, but there's an in and an a, uh, the word where the colour comes from externally or the colour comes from within. But I think it's the copper ore that actually gives it its colour, oh, wow. which is, um, it's really interesting. Um, adorned with the allure, oh, um, let's go. Adorned with the allure of mystery, um, malachite is a hypnotising, I like that actually, hypnotising mm. stone, like a mesmerising beauty. It puts you under the spell of the moment you lay your eyes on it. In the world of stones, malachite is the outlandish uh, uh, eccentric. Uh, the stone you see once but will remember. And it's true, isn't it? You know, you, you know a malachite. Mm. So significant is um, its appearance, possibly the earliest ore of copper, that's it, um, having been mined in the Sinai and eastern deserts of ancient Egypt from as early as 3000 BC. Malachite is a green copper carbonate hydroxide. Um, it was used as an eye paint, yes, um, I remember this, a pigment for wall painting and in glazes and the colouring of glass. It really is a stunning gemstone and if if you know anything about where it's been placed iconically, for me, the one thing is the Van Cleef and Arpels, um, the, the, that wonderful clover design that they mm. place. Ah, okay, mm. there we go. I knew you'd, you'd have the goods. I knew you'd have the goods. Um, uh, so the Van Cleef and Arpels, this is iconic. If you don't know um, already, um, it's the clover. They've got different, they've got the flora and the fauna collection. There's loads of different co uh, collections um, that they do, but this is the one, the four leaf clover. And then it's locked in with gold around the outside, giving the shape. Um, so these are, and, and then a lot of people. I don't, I don't know what happens, but I don't know. You can't pattern something like that nowadays, but a lot of people have copied that iconic design. So you'll see it in your Monica Venedas and um, is it Anushka or something as well? They they do it, but um, yes, this is a perfect, th this is the iconic design, so you've got different sizes, but it stands out, working beautifully with gold, but you've got it with silver here. Mm. And it works, doesn't it? Yes, it, it works. It really does. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a stunning gemstone, Malachite is, it really is. Um, so it's iconic, known around the globe, it's unapologetically who it is, and I think that's a nice symbolism, so you're wearing it and you can go, I am unapologetically me when I'm wearing this. Mm. Totally unique, bit bespoke. A uh, little bit of history um, on um, the Alhambra collection as well. So that's the name of the collection that Van Cleef and I, oh, there we go. So a value dear to uh, the Mason. Luck has been a per um, perennial guiding light for Van Cleef and Arpels, inspiring some of its my most iconic creations. Four leaf clover motifs first appeared in the Mason's archives as of the 1920s, um, embellishing select creations over the years alongside other symbols of good fortune, including wooden talismans, uh, charms, and oh, benevolent, benevolent um, fairies. Uh, Jack Arpels, nephew of the founding couple and avid collector, would often pick four leaf clovers in his backyard, offering them to his employees as good luck charms, and then therefore that collection was made absolutely iconic collection beautiful you can do so much with malachite as well can't you um here we've got obviously rounds but we've also got the cabochon and the ovals mm -hmm. um i really like it 
in in the oval actually yeah i think like you say it's um it's because it, you've got so much going on haven't you in each each of the stones you know you, you see something new every time so different shapes sizes you, you different surface areas you're seeing that the, the you know all those wonderful the bandings of green in in different ways I mean, you can see how, as it's going around now it's like wow look at that one then the next one then the yes. you know it just it, it does transfix you I think the, the ovals as well give a nice, so these are obviously the rounds, so we've got three different um, collections here, but um, the ovals give a nice platform, mm. and you say the surface area, yes, so it's, yeah. you're clearly getting, it, it's, it's the more obvious of the three in terms of seeing the differences, and they go in different directions, whereas with the rounds, the rounds kind of take you round the globe, so it's almost mm. like that global design, so the lines wrap around yes, the rounds, yeah. whereas with the ovals, so there, there is a nice kind of, differentiation between um, each of the, um, uh, what do we call it, the, the pieces that we're bringing yes, today Yes, well. yes, yes, same gemstone, but it's very, yeah, very different, I think. The yeah, way it's it cut yeah. gives yeah. it different beauty. Um, so we've got three collections here. Um, oh, it's kit. I keep forgetting the word kit, that's what it is. Oh, that was Oh, it's nice. a project, isn't it? Sorry, project. yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes yeah. project now. Oh, ah, pro project. Um, so we've got three projects <laughs> here for you. Um, the first project we're going to go with is this fantastic creation um, here that you've made. Um, so you're getting the clover. So this is where we're go going from the clover and that history is it's absolutely iconic that Van Cleef and Arkles have used that clover design. So here what we've done is you've got either a pendant, however you want to use it. Mm. So you could use it as a pendant, but also in the, a central motif in the center of this design. And you get, obviously, this strand as well, don't you? Yes, yeah, so you get the two together. See, I, I mean, I love I love the, um, uh, that, that sort of, that, that clover motif, because it, it, obviously there's all the sentiment, isn't there, the good luck and, and things like that behind it. But when you're working with it as well, because of the symmetry, it's just really, really, easy to put into jewellery yes. because <clears throat> you know straight away you've got balance with it yeah. you've got balance so you know it's going to work with really whatever you put put in with it and then with a connector like you say you've got those two closed links so you know that you can add it in and both sides or you've got the option you could um, use your cutters nip off one of the links and you've got a fabulous pendant so yeah. you know if you if you've got so the jump rings from before and you didn't want to you wanted a i don't know a, a pendant with that and then you're going to make a bracelet and some earrings with the rest of it put one of the jump rings on on the chain and you've got an amazing uh sterling silver and malachite pendant then haven't you very very quick really really quick makes i mean if you look at the detail along the outside it's stunning isn't it it's and you can really still amazing. see those you know the markings you on can. the mat yeah it's, it's Considering the size of it as yeah, well, yeah. Th like you really can. That, that's a really, really fair point to make. Um, is the fact that you can still see exactly what stunning gemstone mm. that this is. Fantastic design. Um, I like the fact that you said that you would you could take that off if you wanted mm. to. I never really thought of that. Yeah. I think this on a nice necklace as well. So you've got the symmetry in the centre. Um, I'm just seeing the prices here that he's doing. Um, the symmetry in the centre and then just a necklace, but then you can have obviously the malachite kind of drawing the eye mm. down the neckline. Yeah. But I like what you've done here with this bracelet. But that's, that's the beauty and jewellery makers would, you know, they'll, they'll put their own spin on it as, as well, you know, whether you, you have it as that connector um, or, or like you say, you do, you do a pendant or you might want to do, you might want to get the other kit and maybe do a tassel on the bottom of the, you know, so you're turning it the other way. So long line necklace, have that and then a tassel at the bottom, you know, using the yeah. other connector. So Loads that would be like do. the drawing the eye yes. down. Yeah. I yeah. really like what you've done with this because also what you have done is you've doubled it. Do you mind if I put no, it on? No, no, of course. Don't mind. Yeah, no. Um, are you, you, we're nowhere near the price, by the way. Nowhere near. So he, um, Aniris just said, I want to see everybody on the phone lines now. We're nowhere near the price tag. He goes, you're going to love this. So if you want it, get it into your basket um, and then you'll love the final price tag that he's going to do. Look at this. Look at what a statement this is. That's gorgeous, gorgeous. isn't it? Yeah, really, really lovely. I feel as soon as I put that on though, I feel like, you know how like jewelry makes you feel certain ways? Yeah. I feel like that, that it's quite an expensive look yes. when you're looking at Malachite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's that it's that that green, isn't it? Isn't green, it? Yeah. That 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 that's that's pretty spectacular, and I think you've done it so, so much justice. 
It's gone even lower. He's gone even lower. You've done it so much justice with the doubling up. I know, it's, I think because it's quite indulgent, isn't it? So that, but that shows you, so what you could do, you know, if, if maybe you, I don't know, you, maybe you wanted to make a necklace with it, but having the wire that we had earlier, having the rosary linking, so it's, it's sort of lengthening it out. You could do it as a, a necklace if you wanted to, but I do, I'd really like, um, I do like bracelets and that, I think that's a nice way of working with it. I'd never have done that. Wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have doubled it up. But I think it warrants that because mm. actually, even though that's your focal point, yeah. the focal point is all the way around the wrist as well. This is not your final low price point, just so you know. Just so you know. No clock. One price. You're going to do it. For all of that malachite. This is a good, this is good. I mean, if you if you look at you know when you get when you get that home, and I think you really study, and then that's the beauty of it, isn't it? So you haven't got anywhere near making anything that you, you're getting your project home, you're unpacking it, and you, you're really getting to see the, the you know the gemstone and the components up close. You know, you'll have hours of enjoyment just looking at each of those um, the malachites. I mean, just look at us now, the strand in itself. You know, twenty nine ninety nine. The strand in itself. Um, no wonder Maker in Lincolnshire. You've just bought four. Karen in five. You've just gone for four as well. I, I'm not surprised. I wonder if people might do earrings then with that because that they would be a nice earring as well. Yes, they'd they be would. a really lovely. Just a drop, simple drop. Yeah. But I always think. I know it sounds a, maybe I'm a little bit boring, but again, I'm new to this. But I would just do a simple drop. But yet. I bet you would go, no, 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 I could do so much but more. It no, but it depends, because sometimes you don't want to overwork things. Do you yeah. just have it as that, that simplicity? Um, I think that works, for you. That's, that's really, that works and, really well. But you also get, you get the instructions as yes, well. Yes, you do. So with, I think with each, each of these three uh, projects, and there's nothing to stop you, you could absolutely do that. So the instructions are, I've tried to do a bit of the, the wire weaving uh, on there. So, and we'll go through this in the, um, in the demo as well so but it would work with each each of the three you know because you've got the malachites in all of them so yes yeah, so you get the instructions in there too oh we uh, yeah so, sorry there we yeah. go um it's just making your life so much easier when you've got the instructions right we've got 20 of these remaining are you go are you going to be naughty it, is it going like right okay this is incredible we're going even lower we've got 25 seconds remaining so he is going to do an even better deal for you for the malachite alone stunning iconic gemstone used in so much jewelry by all of these huge huge brands you've got that that you've got that wonderful uh, I keep calling it a pendant but motif shall we say of that kind of four leaf clover style design and all of your malachite, Andy's going even lower just to help you out that little bit more. I like the fact, and I learned this the other day, you are, you're squeezing the, it for the little extra deal. Um, when I was with Alison the other day, what I liked is she said, Lindsay, all you can do is simply just take off a couple of beads on it, and never even thought about it. Take off a couple of beads, you've got necklace, take off a couple, you've got your pendant, mm -hmm. then you've got some for your bracelet. Oh, sweet, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, so you see this, but don't be deceived, and you'll know this more than I will, but don't be deceived to think, you know, that's yes, that's what you've got, but you can make this go so mm, far. It's what, whatever you put in between it, isn't yes. it? Yeah, yeah. But I didn't really think, because I thought, I saw that and I was like, right, okay, yeah, there's your necklace. But this is not a necklace alone. And mm. I think that for me is the fact that you can push this to the limit. So you can make, take two off, you've got earrings. Take four off and you've got, you know, double, mm. you can make your earrings even bigger in style. Then you've got um, maybe six off for your uh, bracelet. And then you can make a fantastic necklace. And then you've got the motif alone. Like the possibilities of it are literally endless. And yet you've got all of these stunning, beautiful malachite stones and the motif as well. That's lovely. It's really nice, isn't it? And I think, I think you know, you saying about the the strand, you could have one of these on something, on a head yeah. pin, because you've got that impact yeah. of the colour and the strength of that colour. Um, you could just, you know, d not do anything else, just literally on a head pin and, you know, you'd have impact, you know, impactful jewellery. I think you're right. I think you absolutely hit the nail on the head there. You don't need a lot to have the impact with this. Yes, yeah, because the power is in the colour, isn't it? Mm. And, the, and the markings of it, yeah. I love it. You could have another stone, but it wouldn't have that pizzazz and that wow mm. 
with another stone, but with this stone, because it is exactly that kind of lovely kind of emerald green, you've mm. got those kind of jadeite colours that run through it, you've got so much going on with this gemstone. Congratulations. Oh, Maker and Lucas just bought six. Six. That's incredible. Um, what are you making? Let us know. What are your ideas? Audrey, you've bought three. Teeny bought two. Marjorie, Maker in Staffordshire. That's brilliant. Tracy deal. Lane, congratulations. Una, so many of you there. Congratulations. That is one of the kits, projects. Yes, sorry, that was me. One of the projects. Matt dated. Thing is, because I'm fairly new to it, I'm go I've got to learn the new stuff, haven't I? Yeah. It never happened. No, never happened. We did not say, we did not say a three letter word, did no, we? No, no. We didn't. We didn't. Okay, what's the next piece, sorry? The next kit. Okay, so we've got the, okay, so there's a little bit more going on here. However, it's slightly different from the last um, auction that we've just done, because of course you've got like a, a more like finished motif in the, the last auction that we've just done. The next one, you get all the findings within. So you've got a little bit of scope here for creating the earrings that we were just talking about. So this, this I would say is, um, uh, it's almost like the twofold that you've got two amazing, you've got the findings which are uh, i don't know uh, absolutely are so so good and a good selection of them um that almost they, they i think i don't know there'd almost be like a um a standalone thing That's because you're getting thinking. so much in there yes. and the chain is really really good really good and then you've got this you know the larger size malachites uh, in the round with the drill hole that you work so well with that chain so i feel like you've almost got like these two uh, I don't know. I don't know which one for me stands out the, more because yeah. it's almost like they are so. Both of them are so brilliant. That that pack of the findings, um, in the, you know, precious metal, and then that lovely, lovely, lovely strand. I think what we're doing here is we're giving you the tools. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Right. Okay. We're giving you the tools to be able to then go out there and go. You've got everything. We're giving you everything that you can go. Right. I'm going, like you've just got here, you've got that chain there. I never would have thought of a chain. I just think of a chain as a chain, but you're using the chain decoratively here. Mm. So you're getting a lot of the chain here. You're, you've got the earrings, you've got the, the, the rings, you've got the, um, oh, forgive me, what are these called again? Figure so your toggle me. class, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the toggle yeah. class. Then of course, you've got the pin. So there's so much, so we're, we're literally, well, that's what I mean. We're giving you so much. It's like we could separate these and put these together and it's exactly what exactly they, they what are uh, so like i say the two the two bits and obviously you're not getting two bits in the findings pack but if you had it as a findings pack i feel like this is a it, it's a memorable Strong. findings pack do you know what i mean it's yes. like it, there's it's it works so well so the, a findings pack like this how much would the, something like this be about oh, we, and it's precious precious metal as well isn't it so yeah it's you know really 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 good and lovely wait when you see the she the shepherd hooks are you know they're really substantial they're really so nice. all of this is solid it's, sterling silver. It's not your standard findings pack, definitely. I think that that's really important. So let's let's just briefly just go over the findings pack. You've got 9.88 grams of solid sterling silver, okay? So it's 925 sterling silver. You've got a high gram weight. You've got that versatility and choice. So that there, and we're going, you know, we're going even lower on this. So you've got all of that versatility, everything is made for you. So actually, you can be as creative as you wish, but you've got so much choice. Mm. I think that's what mm. you're doing. I think you're paying for choice here. I think that let's get to the bottom of it is the fact that you're paying for options and you're paying for choice. That's what you're getting with this. And this is the findings alone. So what, what did you do? Because you created so many different designs. So, so I, th I think you, you've got it so it is about having that choice um and loads of different options but options that uh, i don't know work so well together because you can have you know a mate you can see a lovely strand and think oh, i'd love to do that i'd love to put that strand on directly on chain so i'd like to have just a really uh, simplistic necklace say like this just a gemstone nothing else uh, and but that happens so rarely that you'll get a gemstone that has got a drill hole yeah. and you can just pop it on. It's usually, you'd be working with a head pin and there's nothing wrong with it, it's lovely, but to be able to do that where you just put it directly on chain, I just think it's got a really different, 
it, to me, that looks expensive. It's, it's mm. all about that one that one stone. Simplicity. Yeah, and I think that I think that is. I so think, yeah. it's great to have the ideas, but then when you've got components that actually, then you can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so always good. Like it's done for you. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I, you don't want to, you, thing is though, because you are so creative, simplicity kind of, you don't see that because then you want it to a little bit more intricate. Yes, yeah. And, and can I, forgive me, let's go back to the point you said, you don't often see the drill holes that size. No, 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 that you, and that you can get the, the chain through like that. So it works, yeah, that is, to me, that was, I was that was really exciting when I when I worked that out. I was really yeah, very happy with that. You know he's going lower, don't you? You know at home he's going lower. lower. So not only are you getting all of the findings, precious metal, you've then got the lar you've got a larger mill round in your stunning malachite as well. So I mean they're not what are they eight, eight mil? Is it eight mil? Forgive me. Yes, seven to eight mil the strand seven to eight mil of all of these beautiful malachite stones and we're going lower you're getting that choice so if you are brand new say for example to jewelry maker and you're thinking okay I, I don't know what you know I've not bought before I've bought different things um, in the past but you're thinking oh, this is a kit this is a whole kit where you can have that choice of creation you've got that choice in creating bracelets necklaces um, earrings and yeah. a lot of it is done, not done for you, but the, some of that difficulty has been taken out yes, of it. Yes, because it all goes well together. And yeah. I think it's it's how much you're actually getting as well. So it's not it's not one chain, you're actually getting, you know, three ah. lengths of that of that chain that, that it works with. So again, if you've got the um, if you've got the 0.4 wire, you know, you can just add in, do a little rosary link at the end of the chain. Um, or you know, and add it into your jump rings and your findings if you want to. Nothing to stop you from gluing as well if you you know if you wanted to use uh, glue there. And the chain is really good. So if you can see, can you see on the station necklace? Can so I what I've that? actually I've done with mine is I've just I've used uh, like crimps on there just to hold it in. So you know this chain is you can see how lovely that chain is. It is yes. You know, and yes. you're getting a lot a lot there. I think that's the, the length of the chain. Ian. Are you really? Can I just put this on? Can I just can I just hold this? Because I just want to show you how stunning this is. So with the amount of malachite that you're getting, the fact that you've used what, two, four, six, seven on here, the whole collection, I'm not gonna do it up properly, properly. I've got the microphone there. But look how stunning this is. It's not a short necklace either, is it? It's a long no, not at all. necklace. No, no. You've got seven, oh, oh sorry, forgive me. Did I count that wrong? So I used two, the two four, the two little six, ones from the other eight, kit just nine. at the end. Yeah, sorry, yeah. nine. Nine, he's going even lower. He's going to a really, really d low deal for you today, actually, Ooh, on this. Oh, Tom, goodness me. I think I think you'd be looking at paying more for the earrings that are using what a few inches of the chain and two gemstones. That's an amount, that's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price. That's a fantastic yeah. price. Yeah, that really is. I think that let that like kind of resonate the fact that see these earrings here. Now, if I saw those earrings in a shop and I know makers aren't always there to go right we're not there to sell it's about creating something for ourselves can I just take these off here a second just so I can hold them just by my ear look at how beautiful those are that is using simply well actually you can you can probably explain more a little bit about what you've done here but you've got the components and only the components from this kit because you've got the shepherd's hook have you have you got you've got a what's this here you've got one so of that, the beads, you've got the little you? yeah you've got a couple of spacer beads in there. I think you've got four spacer beads in there four um, spacer beads yeah in the in the pack so you use one of those oh thanks Bernadette hope you're well say hi to Walter it's like Thank friends you. on here isn't it yeah you've it is yeah yeah it's lovely I mean just look lovely at this. people I mean I I just look at this and I don't know if you're thinking the same as me but I'm like. I'd pay, I'd pay a lot. I'd pay a lot for this alone and the fact that you can, that, that's only but if you lot. So if you think with that, that is, and I think I'd got, I had got, a, so this chain I got left over and a couple of the malachite as well. Now I think those, so th don't forget, it's that bracelet at the front as well with the little oh, tassel. Yes. So you're talking there, aren't you? Like that's full suites of quite 
gem heavy, yes. greedy jewelry, isn't it? You know, you could, I, I, like we were saying before with malachite, if you have one, you, you still get impact because there's so much going on in, in, in each of the malachites. Um, but I love that bracelet in that, you know, you, you can, that it's on the chain, which I know I'm like, I'm boring myself by, that I keep saying it, but, no, but as a jewelry is, maker, that is, because yeah. it, it's so unusual. It's so unusual to be able to do that. Um, I just think it's a really good, good look. Oh, I, I absolutely agree with you. Um, okay, so many of you have bought those, and I think I think you're going to really enjoy those. Mm, the, yes, and yeah. those are the larger sizes of yes, the malachite yeah. um, in terms of the rounds in that kit. We've got one more kit to bring you. So you've seen all of the rounds, but the beginning when we were talking about malachite as a stone in itself, um, the platform that you're getting here um, really showcases the beautiful kind of. Is the word oscillating? I don't know. Is that the right word? What's to oscillate where it goes round? Am I right? Um, let's go with it. If I'm wrong, please correct me. The kind of the the the, the, the circles of malachite um, on this design, and they're the ovals, so they're kind of flatter. So nice for a bracelet. As yes, well. yeah, it'd be great for a bracelet. And like you were saying before, you know, were saying about what's ca caption because you can't. We we know there's a drill hole in there, don't, but you yes. could you could set it in so you could make your own. Um, uh, bezel setting with that if you wanted to uh, if soldering is your thing and and maybe set them like that so you could do uh, you know cocktail rings as well oh yes loads of different things you, you can you know see you I can don't do talk about rings that much when I think about jewellery making don't you no that's so strange I always think necklaces earrings bracelets but I don't think enough about rings yeah yeah that's I love making rings I love yeah. That that could make a real be an amazing statement, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah, of a yeah, ring, yeah. just one in itself. If I just choose, I mean, this one, you kind of do find your favourites, I bet, don't you? But that ring there, oh, I mean, that stone there to make a nice ring, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely stunning. And so you've got um, you've got these spaces in between, and we haven't even covered the fact that we've got this as well. So you've got the um, so you've got the cabochon. And then you've also got the, the what's this called? Like a bezel? Thing yes, thing? yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the cup that it goes in, so that that bezel cup. And then you've got cup. the two um, two connectors on either side. Well, you've got four, haven't you? The four, yes, the four yeah, connectors. Yeah. Forgive me, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I see. Because you might double it up before. Oh goodness me, for the bracelet, of course. Yeah. So if you wanted to so, make a bracelet with it, yeah. Yes, of course. He's gone and done it again, and it's solid sterling silver. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you've taken off. So I've taken off the, the two there because then that like because I'd already done. I, you know, I got an idea in my head of how I wanted. You know, I wanted to do a, a, a more of a statement necklace with it because you've got that the big the big expanse of the malachite there, and then to contrast that with that same you know quite delicate wire work, um, and it just it just didn't sit. To me, it didn't sit right having it, so it was sort of sitting horizontally. There's no, so there's nothing to stop you, and you can do this if you've not made any, any. I don't know, you've not done any other um, work with silver before. If you've got a good pair of flush cutters, uh, and then you just go in and, and maybe a, a nail file, nail buffer, and just go in and back over it. So snip them off really, really close to the the. Uh, the bezel cup mm -hmm. and then just file it down and polish it back up and then you know you, you've then taken it haven't you from that connector yes. to a pendant yes you have that's gorgeous it really really is oh oh he's gonna he's going to go even lower for you and then we're going to start the demo see so that get this that is you. I think that's that is crazy that is even for just for one one or the other whether you went with with that I think is a brilliant price for well, you put that on a chain, you could be paying about £40, couldn't you? Definitely, 40, 50, yeah. On gems, and that's yeah. gems prices. Yes, yeah. The fact that, like what I said earlier, you get, you're get you also getting the choice. It's not just a case of going, you know, so if you went on gems, obviously, it's amazing. Um, buying power and everything. But you're, you're, you've got that item of joy in and that's it. Whereas here, you're actually paying for the choice and that enjoyment, as you said, of making The process of doing it, yeah, yeah exactly. very much so, very much so. So, right, we've got a demonstration from you. Here. Okay, so this is, so the demo will go alongside the, the written instruction. So I've taken the, um, you know, the, the 0.4 or the 0.6 wire, whichever uh, you choose to work with. Just as, like I say, so to maybe if you want to have a, a go at some wire work, um, it it works really well, I think, with the um, you know that vibrancy of the malachite. Tom, is that still available? The, the wire from earlier. I don't know. No, 
Okay. okay. So I'm going to show okay. you because it because it's that nice fine white. So this is what it's going to end up like. Um, so if we have a look, if I sort of show you this one, you can see there. So it's a fine, delicate wire, um, and I'll put it just on like a, um, a more structural wire there as well. And we can see I've got the, the malachite there. So you can see there, so we've got lots and lots of little okay. loops. So it's how we do that and to try and get them so that they're uh, neat and, and uniform as well. And so they're going to hang in the way that, that we want. So you can see, so I've got two connecting uh, jump rings into the, into the wire work loops. And then um, in, the, in the other ones where we've got the strand of um, the malachites, they come from like the centre loop. So yeah, brilliant. Thank I love you, the Michael. detailing there. So let's so what to do that. So I'm going to show you on really sort of garish, brightly coloured wire. So hopefully you can get the pattern, and we'll do it on. Um, I'm going to do it on a fork so that you can see on a larger scale as well, and then we'll have a look on the wire. So if you think about so the fork, it just because it, it's a, just an everyday object and it just makes it slightly like weaving can be a bit intimidating so it just takes that away it's on a larger scale uh, and it, you just get the pattern in your head so the each of the the prongs of the of the fork count for the base wires that we're going to work with so you can have you need to have um, one piece of like a structural base wire that you're going to keep which is with sort of this bit that here then you're going to have two scrap wires that can be anything at all. So oh. if we look at it as a, a, in our fork, so this one, the bottom bit of the fork, is the wire that we're going to keep. That would be this one. Then we've got scrap wire, scrap wire, and we're not going to use that one there, so we can forget about that. So remember, so wire that we're keeping, scrap, scrap. And then this purple wire is my 0.4 or my 0.6, and that's what's going to be. So the purple bit is going to be the, the sort of like the little frilly bit here. Okay, so I'm starting off. So I've got everything. I haven't cut any length at the moment, and we're going to just see how, how the pattern works. So I'm starting with my wire coming behind all of those base wires. So I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to bring forward and wrap. So I'm bringing around. So I'm going to go once, twice, push that together. And I'm going to go again there. So I've just started it off now. So now to get the loop part, so I'm going to go up and over. And then I'm going to go wrap all the way around that second base wire and then come at the back and bring around to the start. So then the next one, I'm then going to separate that out. So I'm going to do another three wraps oh, to separate it out. Then I'm going to come up and over. We want another loop here, so I'm going to go all the way around. Oh my goodness, yes. Bring round, back to the start. I want another loop, but I want this time, if we look, I want it to come up a little bit, so a higher loop, so this one here. So now we're going to go around this one. So I bring it round. We want a loop, so I'm going to come Got the bring that round. As well, yes, it? yeah, yeah. And it's all, it is all practice. We're forgetting that we've got that top one there, so we now need to start coming back down. So I'm going to come down here and we'll wrap and make a loop around that second one. And down. You say when you're working with precious metal wire as well, you, you just said you just you do notice quite a difference. Like yes, yeah, a... yes, nice and nice and it depends on the hardness of the wire, but usually yeah. uh, uh, JM wires are nice, uh, nice and soft. So you can see that pattern. So remember to get the loop, you're, you're wrapping all the way around. So if we swap now to this one, so what you've got, what you're going to start to do now, so remember we want, we want to keep this wire in, but we, we can get rid of these two. So rather than just pull them out straight away, so what we're going to do is, if I just move that one out of the way there, so I'm going to take this one, this top one out first. I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to start and twist these. So yeah, because they're all twisted the yes, other way, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so we want them the other way so that we can add in. A bit like, you know, we talked about jump rings and you're thinking about the direction. So I'm going to turn that round and grip and turn that round, grip and turn that round. Now, that might have sort of made everything, compressed everything, so you might have, might be a little bit fiddlier to get this one out. So if you find that you really, I don't know, your weaving is mean. quite tight, you might have to just snip very carefully uh, that structural wire to get it out. But you know, Alison there? said that, she said she does her wiring like so tight that it, everything she does <laughs> ends up like half the size. Do you know, of what absolutely. And sometimes <laughs> you can be, um, you know, I don't know, say maybe if you're a bit tense or something and, and you just, 
I don't know, or maybe you're in a bit of a grump or something like that. Your, your wire weaving can be really, really, really um, tight. So yeah. it's just sort of like, yeah, just remember to breathe and relax into it. So I'm now taking that other one out and I'm going to start to turn wow, these look out. At this. I, just, I absolutely love being here. It's, it's brilliant, because, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I'm watching you do this and it's like, I, I never, I couldn't even work out. I can see the final result, but I, could, I was like, what, how is that happening? But do you and know that the good thing together. with this is that what what makes this look really nice is that all of those loops are the same they're uniform yeah and they're uniform not not because of my skill or anything like that they're uniform because i've wrapped them around um, something yes. so you know it's, it's sort of like using the tools that you've got yeah. to get the neatest neatest results so i'm gonna snip that off there oh, we've got some tool and um, we've got some of the um the kit the, 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 the wire haven't we the um not the wire what am i saying the pliers the pliers yeah yeah, yeah. The, the word was there it was almost there <laughs> We've got some of the pliers that uh, Mark launched last week. So excellent, those, excellent, brilliant. And it's the long, it's the long length ones as well. Um, oh, lovely he, for for birthday. And I think he kind of promoted them quite like uh, uh, for men if you've got larger hands, but for females with larger hands. But when Elle was using them, she was like, I haven't got the biggest of hands, and I actually find these more find comfortable. Them comfortable. So, yeah, that's yeah. good then. So that's a bit later, is it? Yeah. That's great. So I'm gonna just um, bring this up. Joan's written, gorgeous makes her. I agree with you, Joan. Um, how did Thank you finish you. the chain on the earrings? Chain on the earrings, yes. So, um, again, going back to that uh, 0.4 wire. So all you're going to do, so I'll just finish this off, Joan, and then I'll talk you through the earring bit. So I've got an angle in here. And then you make, so obviously it's a nice component, but we need to uh, add it into oh, something. you're going to link it then. To yeah, some... <gasps> so we've got Gosh. a loop there. So you make sure that they're the same size and then a loop there and then you add in your malachite there so you can see that's the sort of the scaled up and then that's what it looks like if you did it on a, a one mil and a 0.4 but you can see wow. how that that then looks so yeah joan if you if you've got your uh for your earrings i've got i've got the finalized ones here if you um is it here is, it, is that what you said yes yeah. yeah so can you see on those at the top so you get you get um four i think four spaces in that in that kit so what i'd done was i'd gone through so with some of you get 0.4 cut Good however question. long you you want so you I'd cut off here and then go through i mean you can really see actually on that on that shot now can you see so how i've gone through the um can you see on the so on the top there where that is? So you, so I've taken my 0 0.4 and just not very much of it. So you go through the last link of the chain, sort of give it a little bit of a pinch, so it's almost like a hair you know hairpin. Then go through the spacer bead, and then that gives you so you've got then two lengths of 0 0.4, and you just do a wrap loop. Oh. through there, but that then like closes off and it and it locks that and it's connected the chain the chain there. And then add in your lovely, um, you know, the really, really nice substantial shepherd hooks that you Forgive get. Forgive me, kit. sorry, Claire. So you get the chain. Yeah. You thread it through. Yeah. So remember, at this point, you've got an end coming. Um, I don't think I've got any 0 0.4 now, but you've got. You haven't just got one one length of chain, have you? Because it's gone no. through. Say if this is my 0 0.4. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone, and this is my chain here. So I've gone through that last link of the chain. Yeah through the last link of the chain. I've then got two ends that I need to work right, with. Right, I see. So yeah. space a bead on here. Yes. That links the chain. And then you're gonna do a wrap loop at the top there. Right, yes. Yeah. To tighten it yes. up and finish it yes. off. Yes, yes. Yes, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there you go. I hope that was helpful, Jen. And then you'll get the um, shepherd's hook. Well, then you've got then link and then, I mean. Yes, yeah. See, I'm, it's, I'm mind blown here because I don't know even the basics. But then obviously you'll be new, some people will be new to jewelry makers, some people would have watched for 14 years. Um, isn't it always wonderful? Isn't it wonderful to see? Jewelry um, making's brilliant. Yeah, it's really so good. good, so really good. good. As are you and your oh, talent. Thanks very much. Thank it, you. Definitely showcasing this. Um, thank you for that. You're very welcome. It is time, I did mention it earlier, but we do have a star buy, and this is appealing to absolutely everyone because it's going through all of the months of the year, and we're going to showcase it next.
here we go. And we've got it. Sorry, oh, shall sorry. I, um, shall I pinch that? <sighs> sorry. Um, thank you. So we have got one full meter, and this is what I mean in saying it's appealing to everyone, is because it's all the months of the year. Does it? Okay. Oh, okay. So, right, so this, the, the idea of this um, was launched in 2021. I'm just relaying basically what Tom's telling me. Um, so the idea of this was launched in 2021. They sold 315 on launch. Is that correct? 315 on launch. And then for the birthday, they brought this back. So we've got last of stock now, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, last of stock now. Exceptionally popular. We bought quite a lot, so we've got a decent quantity. You know, and then uh, to spell it out to you, obviously, when we get better quantities, then we can bring the buying power helps and increases, and then it, you know, it all it, it's great for everyone all round. Um, but what's unique about this is the fact that this is this is appealing for everyone because they're all of the birthstones. Every single month, of course, has a birthstone connected to it or multiple birthstones. So what we've got here is all of the birthstones. Could you list them for me? Because I don't want to get any wrong. Um, obviously, I can see a lot of them. So you've got your garnet, you've got your amethyst. Um, is that moon? Is that? I just want to get them correct yeah we'll just get them just in a few moments but of course different birthstones so of course in december you've got different birthstones i think you've got tanzanite here as well so we've got them almost coming up on the screens yeah shout them out for me garnet amethyst aquamarine clear clear quartz is kind of yeah okay for the diamond um emeralds oh white moonstone yes rubies into peridot for august um, uh, blue sapphire, citrine, tanzanite, and pink tourmaline. I was just like, we're missing this one, we're missing this one. So you've got basically a gemstone that can connect with every, that loads of you are buying already, I'm not surprised at all. Um, so what's really lovely about these is they're all like faceted rondelles. Is that the right? The, the, um, yes, they're all yeah. Yeah, faceted, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So and the, all the same size. That is that's the, what yeah. excited it's, you. Yeah. Just, yeah. just brilliant to have that. Because, I, I, you know, you're thinking, this is a memorable strand. And, it and, memorable. and it's, But it's like, if, you didn't, if it didn't exist, you would have to, I don't know how long you'd have to watch for to, or, or, be, or see how many strands for, the, for it to come up that you, I don't know, to even get maybe five the same yes. size, same shape that, that would work together if you wanted to. So the fact that it's all on that one amazing strand that looks incredible if you just, I don't so know, had it, you know, as an over, you know, over the head necklace, something yes. like that. You know, it, it looks wonderful like that, but then thinking, um, you know, like bubble style. So you have loads and loads of head pins, yes. loads of movement. It, it just, just beautiful, I, beautiful jewelry. I like the fact that you say the, the movement as well. Because yes. for me, is because it's faceted, not on every single stone, because some will have more than others, but you get that luster. So then because it's faceted, when you've got that kind of movement in there, it's going to dance with the lights, so you get a different uh, effect. And that's, off, I mean, just look at these. I mean, I'm showing you on my necklace line here, but they are, are honestly, so for me, let's put this into perspective. If you like the fact that you could wear them all together, yeah. I like the fact that I would separate, I would make probably the same item of jewelry, but for every single month. Yes, yeah. So for me, it would be, would I change it every single month? So you could either, so, so simplify it, a bracelet for every single month. So you've got your garnet, then you've got your amethyst, mm -hmm. then you've got your moonstone, you've got your uh, citrine, your tanzanite. So you've got, Every single month, you can wear a piece of jewellery that represents that month and that birthday. Mm. If you're selling, you've got that perk. That's perfect for everyone. Yes, because everyone yeah. connects kind of goes yeah, to their yeah, birth month. Yeah. But you can then alternate. This is what's so exciting, is you can alternate. So you could then create, you could create the same item of jewellery, but use every single colour mm. on the same item. So you've then got all of the birth ones all in one piece of jewellery. Well. Yeah, really lovely. So, you know, and especially so as well that, I don't know, we do we do slider bracelets where, yeah. you know, you might have just one bar of, of, you know, of gemstones in there. And that could be, you know, it could be my birthday, your birth, you know, everyone's, <gasps> bir everyone's birthday together. But it fits, doesn't it? It's not like you've got to have, I don't know, uh, an eight mil round uh, for January, you know, yeah. whatever yours is, is then like, a, a you know, chips or nuggets. It, it flows, doesn't it? Yeah you've got that gemstone 
you've got the different colours, but it's all that, you know, it's those, it looks uniform. You've really excited me, right? Because um, my thoughts are, how nice would this be as a gift if you were to give this to someone, but you gave them their birth mo month of everyone in their family that's yeah, close lovely. to them? Yeah, lovely. So it's a really lovely sentimental piece of jewel. Yeah, really nice. That's, yeah. how nice is yeah. that? But you you just you know evoked that. I'm like, whether well, if I got this, I could get this for my sister because she was born in August, then mm. rubies, and then, you know, my husband or my daughters. Um, that's so, it's a really personalised piece of jewel. How lovely is that? It is really lovely. And then, do you know what's, and then the fact that, so you think it, but then you, you pick up some of the skills and then you do it and then you give it and then that, it's really lovely. Isn't it? Yeah. The thought, really and the, uh, uh, the thought behind that. And for me, you know, okay, you'll, you'll have like a Mother's Day, a Father's Day or someone's birthday coming up. And then you just think, well, actually that means so much more to that person than any, any, any mm. gift at all that's yeah. been bought. Yeah, yeah, because you put the time and the, and the thought in it, yeah. So that's working out, at, so we're at 120 pounds, which works out at 10 pounds a strand. And actually, right, yeah, they are, they are basically, this is why, um, and you said this is one of the most memorable strands that we can bring to air, um, because if you think about it, that in itself, you would get 10 pounds of all that tanzanite. That's like, that's brilliant. Mm. When you think about it, 10 pounds, tanzanite. 10 pounds, beautiful citrine. 10 pounds, your rubies. 10 pounds for your sapphires as well. That, that, you know this isn't the final low price point, but that actually, breaking that down, you think, that's quite good actually. That's really good. Really good. And that's one tiny, tiny bit of it, isn't it? They're beautifully faceted. Are you ready? Are you going to do a massive crash? He's in a good mood today, isn't he? Mary. Oh, look at those rubies. Are you ready? All right, you're going to love this. You're going to be popping this into your basket. It's that memorable, memorable piece. $49.99. Is that what it works out at? Four pounds each? That's brilliant. Mm. It really is because, and I think as well about it's it. nothing to do with your birthstones now. Just thinking about your different colour palettes, isn't it? So often when you make jewelry, you, you know, you might want to uh, introduce colour to, you know, anything. It might be a mood lifting or to yeah. brine your outfit, anything like that. How often do you actually get, you know, such vibrant colours like that? And 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 again, all of the all of the same size. You are on it. I mean, just look at this, right? Look at all of the different colours. So that pretty. celebration of colour. I mean, if you're going to make, honestly, honestly, if you're going to make one purchase, one purchase is the fact that you're going to have all of these different gemstones from all, like different countries around the world. How long it would take if you make one purchase, then you've got all of these. You've got basically 12 strands in one with gemstones from across it, saving you all of that time. And you're going to love what we're about to do. But you've got one minute, right? The price that, this is crazy. You've got a minute clock on this to get this in your collection. You'll love this. Say that again, sorry, Neil. We sold, yes. So in the launch, we sold 315 of these. 316, I think it was, do you say? Yeah, exactly. Actually, gemstones, all the prices of everything, you know, it has increased when you think since 2021. We all feel it, don't we? Mm. And the fact yep. that you get so many stones. And again, this is what I think you're getting here. You're getting choice. Mm. You're getting choice. We're nowhere near the price tag. You are going to love what we're about to do. Do get on the phone lines. Do pop these in your basket. Is, is that memorable piece that you will go, oh my goodness, I'm really, I mean, just look, 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 the colors, the gemstones, all of these, you're going to love this. All, I mean, look, it just keeps on going and going and going. Look at how many you're getting in one purchase. They're all so many, I mean, there's so many natural stones set within these. Oh, look at that. This is cheeky. That's, I don't know, it, it's so wrong. It's, it's so, so wrong. Oh, that's so. What do you think of this? Of that price? 
I think it. I think it's awful, <laughs> but brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant because. There's no way it should be that. No way. You think about all that, that um, uh, you know, work together, and, and you know, and th that they are. There's nothing when you when you are running along there. There's nothing that jumps out in a negative way, is yes, there? Like, yes. oh gosh, that one's a bit murky, or it, I, I'm not really sure what what stone that's not supposed to be, or, at all. or that's an unusual size or shape in there. It, you know, it, that is a wonderful, wonderful. It's such a pleasing strand. Can I just double, and a brilliant price? Can I just double check? You've got emeralds, rubies, and sapphires in this. Can I just, you've got the blue <laughs> sapphire. So the blue sapphire, let's, let's talk this through because when you start getting into the crooks of this, this is amazing. Natural blue sapphire from Madagascar. The rubies, natural ruby from India. The emerald, emeralds from Brazil. So you don't, but pretty much as natural as you can get uh, for an emerald from Brazil, oiled emerald. This is incredible. So let's just get this straight, right? If you do not know anything about jewellery at all, you know nothing, you've tuned in today and you're like, I actually really quite like this. Then to think that you're getting rubies, emeralds and sapphires in one, that's just, a, what is it, a quarter, a third? A third, let's do my math there. There's three of them into there. A quarter of what's on here is rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. That's the steal of a price. Absolutely, is it, Bernadette? Right, Bernadette, yeah. In one strand, and you're paying that. That's mega. It's that, so good, isn't it? Oh, it's so it's, good. And then, you know, it's faceted as well. So, you know, you're going to bring in lots of light and oh. sparkle and colour to, to, you know, whatever it is you, you make. I mean, the, the pink tourmaline, there you have it it's natural you've got peridot here so actually you've got nice choice so if you like your greens then you've got your emeralds of the greens i'm actually you know what's bonkers is i'm comparing colored gemstones on one strand i know, totally I know yeah. different from one to yeah. another yeah oh my goodness this is what i mean you're getting so much choice here you're getting the rubies but then you're also you're getting garnet so if there's one you prefer to the other you've got that i love these as well i absolutely love uh these is this moonstone Forgive me, sorry, because there's so many. Um, just spat out, <laughs> Janet, there's clear up time in your household, you need to get the right. Just spat out my coffee at that price point. No wonder so many of you are coming through. And I think- It's brilliant, absolutely, it's it, isn't insanely it? brilliant. Yeah, so good. I think the more and more you see it and the more kind of it resonates with you that you go, wait there, let's simplify this. Rubies, emeralds, sapphires, tanzanite, peridot, moonstone, um, amethyst, like some of the, the world's most iconic stones. And you know what, they're, they're not obscure stones either. They're like stones that you will see in shops that people will recognize, pay a lot of money for, and then you get them faceted and you get so many. It's not like you've got small quantity. We're not going, here's one strand, there's three, here, there's three, here, there's three. There's a lot, I haven't worked out how many. You know, we've got the pearls coming up soon as well, goodness. I know, I don't think I've told them. £1.66 a section. That's actually really, because if you had one strand, sorry I keep harping on about this, but if you had just one strand, just pure tanzanite, so let's do this, right, I'm going to pretend you've got this, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, there's your one strand of tanzanite, there's your end of the strand, there you go. How much, how much would you be looking at there? Even if you were like absolute lowest price, nine ninety nine, maybe, maybe if if Wayne was And you'd was think here, that that was an more. amazing deal as well, wouldn't you? For for faceted rounds like that with that incredible colour, brilliant. And yet it's one pound. Oh. <laughs> Morning, lovely ladies, as always. Claire, your jewellery. I agree with you. Samantha, oh, thanks, so much. Thank your you. Your jewellery is stunning. Do you have any silver wire on the show? Eight a.m. We've loaded it back in for you because yes, that's Samantha. Yeah, yeah. So you see, so I did. I unravelled that one. Yeah. So you've got a meter, a meter of both, uh, uh, zero point four in that one and zero point six in that one, Samantha. So yeah, we have. Unusually, we have. Um, yeah, yeah. As you said, a meter in both yes, of them as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Brilliant. Amazing, amazing. Now, um, I think because of timing, we're having to move on, but like that's really naughty, but wonderful as well for you. So all I'm going to say is just keep going for this one because, and multi-order, because that's incredible. 
One um, thing that we didn't have, one gemstone we didn't have on that strand is the opal. I love, love, love this. And you're going to love this, this is, deal. You love it, don't you? I, do you know, I, I don't care how much this is because so this is, both of my girls are, that's their... Um, is it their thing? Yeah, well, it's their, it's their birthstone and yes. I just, I, I love it. I, I love it. Oh, I like opals. This excite so with an opal, when I used to do like the Larique showcases on gems, I used to love it when you got an opal because you just get really excited. You're like, oh, you know what? Do you know what I mean when you see it in person? And then you go, so you'd have like this great big Larique, and you'd be going round and like this. But with an opal, you'd stop talking because you'd lose mm. yourself in it, just like Claire. Um, this is such yeah, a pretty yeah, strand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you are now with it, but it's just the fact that there's that you see so much. You oh, see that so is much. lovely. Sorry, I haven't even shown it you yet. We've got a bit excited. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm, look at this opal. So this is, so what we've done is, if you're new um, to gemstones and jewellery maker, um, when you turn the lights out, um, it can pull out some of the colours that you can see. So what we're trying to do is showcase that it, how beautiful this stone is in different lighting conditions. And this is what you're going to see when it's dark. How incredible is this? And yet this is what you can see in person and look at the colors that you get to see in person as well. And that's in the light. So you're starting at 29.99. That's all right, isn't it? That's very, very good, isn't it? Very, So we're very going good. to do better than half price. That's him tempting you going, just so you know, we've got, we're going to do a minute clock we're going better than half price tag. This is a neary deal. <laughs> he's telling everyone what to do. He said, look, if you do, this is what he's doing. Can I do an impression? If it, you remind me of Wayne. You remind me of Wayne doing that. So if just you just put the phone down in the last auction, I'm being neary right now, right? Get on the phone. He's actually got a phone that's got a cord and that's connected. He's now swinging it around. I wish I could. Oh, can we not just turn the camera around? He's now swinging it around and going, go back and speak to the person that you just last spoke to on the phone to get this in your collection. He was doing that by the way. He just keeps on doing it. The deals keep coming. It is lovely. He's oh, just said so this lovely, is probably Lindsay. Look at isn't it. gorgeous. I feel I haven't seen an uh, opal like this in I feel like I've seen some rounds and things, but I oh, love ooh. it when you've got that that texture to it. This is look at be. that. I mean just look at this. Look at this. Look at, oh. no way. <gasps> because I was thinking how nice that would be, you know, if you, if it, a, a good price to have that, you know, like you would twist it. Yes. Because when yeah. you're, when you're working like that with Opal and, it, and you've got that texture as well, which you have with these, and then all of those wonderful magical colors, this I'd, be, I'd be, yeah, doing a twist with that. <gasps> Look at it. <gasps> Gorgeous. Claire, you know what? I liked what you said. And it actually, I won't ever forget that now. As you said, you know what? I don't care how much it is. Mm. Obviously, things come down to paying for it and prices. But when you find something so beautiful, and if it's got meaning for you, and like you told me about your daughters, mm. then you you don't mind because it means more than what actually the payment. You know. Yeah, the, and I guess I, yeah. I trust jewelry maker as well. Yeah. As well, doesn't mean so. That is a brilliant, isn't it? That's, That's an absolutely brilliant, price. brilliant deal. I, I just, I, I think this, I it's think so with, beautiful, isn't it? And you don't, I think with an opal, and I will say this, it's like you've got different stones amalgamated into yes. one. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it is. I think yeah. that's the beauty of it is the fact that you see so many different colors. It's almost like you do have a, a, a multicolored gemstone. But in, that, yes, in, yeah, and and really, really pretty, um, pretty shades of it as well, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Look at those. Oh, some yeah, of them are electric, stunning. some of them are pastel. It's just, yes. it's a magical stone. What would you do with this? Because you said you did. So I, the price has just dropped on the website. That's why we've just had an influx of so many people coming in and multi-ordering. So I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. So you, okay, yeah. So we've only got 30 seconds remaining of this and then we've got to go to break because we've got the pearls and lots of you are writing in. So if you oh, are interested gorgeous, in this. Tom. Yeah, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I would. So, so you're doing something a bit like twisting it so I'd probably get a few of the strands, but then Ooh, when you're twisting yes. it like that, 
you're kind of enhancing it and yeah. de deepening the yeah. color a little bit more yeah. as it's well kind of flashes of red and green that's amazing isn't it you're creating a contrast i think by doing that as well aren't you yes. because you're creating yeah. you're, you're putting the pops of color next to each other you've only got four seconds remaining before you get <gasps> these so many of you are multi-ordering on these congratulations wow ultraviolet there look at yes. all of that Oh, that's yes, stunning. Is, that is that? stunning, Tom. You know what I would be doing, though? I'd be sorting them out into Yeah, that, that's the pleasure. Yeah, as well, yeah. isn't it? Lovely. Absolutely lovely, stunning. Lovely. Congratulations. So good to have your company this morning. I absolutely love being here at Jewelry Maker. We have got, what's this one called? A star buy or a special buy? Oh, it's a deal of the day got that totally wrong um we have got your stunning pearls actually a couple of these i've been told have already sold because they were up for pre-order stunning pearls we love them lavender pearls it is your deal of the day coming up next never miss a show by watching on the go with the jewelry maker app head over to your app store now and search jewelry maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Hey Jewelry Makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on June the 3rd and we're having a bit of a metal smithing day. So in the nine o'clock hour, we have got the most amazing anvil, which attaches to your bench or table. And it comes with eight interchangeable mandrels. So you can do absolutely tons with it. I have used mine to make this little lily pendant, which I'm in love with. Um, so don't miss out on that. Then in the 12 o'clock hour, we are looking at a project for using up all your scrap silver. So melting down your leftovers and reusing them. And I've been making mine into little beads that I've been putting on bangles and also some earrings and a matching pendant. And of course, safety is super important when you're doing that kind of work. So we're bringing you all the PPE you could need. There's safety glasses, there's heat proof mats, and there's a respirator for when you're doing all your polishing and filing and sanding. So that's gonna be super fun as well. And don't miss out on these giant pearls, which I can't take off now. So I will see you on June the 3rd. Take care. this Wednesday, Wednesday 5th, um, and I just wanted to let you know what's coming up. So at nine o'clock we have stunning sterling silver connectors with turquoise set in the center. They're absolutely stunning, perfect makes for this time of year. 
Uh, and then 12 o'clock, it's all about zodiacs. So there's a zodiac symbol ring for everyone. And there's a stone that you set within them. And I'm gonna walk you through how you go about doing that. Um, a really lovely quality and they've got um, silver and gold plated versions so that's that's going to be really exciting for you all to see. Um, I'm with Carol and Tom and the lovely team so really hope you can join me on Wednesday and I will see you there. Bye! Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker! Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. everyone and welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Whilst we just had a short break there, I just said I love Jewelry Maker. Oh, it's I know. It's so much It's fun. good, isn't it? Yeah, everyone's just lovely. And everyone always says they're lovely over there. But everyone genuinely is lovely here. Yeah. It's just really nice yeah. and chilled. And as are you, just writing in messages is just a really nice vibe. Cheers. Um, I used to work in the outlet when we were in this studio. And that was always good because you were talking the to interaction each other. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just it's a nice. screen, and that you know yeah. it goes further. Um, so yeah, re oh, it's so good to have your company. I'm Lindsay Vickers. If you've never met me before, and I'm with Claire McDonald. I said your name right. Yes, you have. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was panicking and thinking, <laughs> oh my goodness, um, who's been here a lot longer than myself on Jewelry Maker, and she's made some spectacular pieces. And we've got so much more to come. We've got the stands. We've got black spinel. And we've got your uh, yes. We've got base metal um, bezel strips coming up a bit later in twelve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's got loads. So much. There's yeah, some really yeah. nice pieces. So if you if you like some really interesting bracelets that maybe something like you I've never seen anything like what you've got cre created yes later. yeah it'd be great at 12 yeah, yeah it'd be really good all coming up but now is your deal of the day and you're going to absolutely love these um pearls are something that are just we always talk about nacre and for me the nacre of the pearl if you don't you might know this already so I won't go too much into it but of course you've got the different layers of the pearl and the nacre and it builds and builds and builds and they they create this lo lovely kind of translucency but luminosity um, within the stone and that's what I think makes them so stunning we know them we recognize them they are iconic they're iconic from you know um, celebrities they're iconic for uh, you know the royals wearing pearls I love pearls I don't know many people that don't love pearls um, but I absolutely love them iconic pearls are known you know to be that kind of white pearl aren't they that, that recognize mm -hmm. that instant but however, when you get into the gemstone world, like we are and we understand, we know that there's more variations, but of course the rarer they are, they can't then be mass made, can they? It, because the rarer a stone is, you can't always just put it out there because it, it, you don't get enough of it. Businesses, if they can't go, right, well, I can put them in that store, I can put them in that store. So then they become more adorned, they become more specialized. And that's where you've got these pearls here. Um, titled on our screens as a lavender pearl, we have got this stunning strand of natural lavender pearls and you know the value of pearls have changed over time um, but what's what we also will always know and will always hold is the fact that a pearl has a high value and the larger the pearl that you have that lovely symmetry that you have then that increases as well you and i both know that that's kind of pearl the basics isn't it mm. But to get a lavender, sorry, I'll pull this back just ever so slightly if you don't mind, just so we can kind of peer and have a look. You've got symmetrically all of these stunning pearls here 
but of this wonderful lavender. There's like a warmth to the pearl. You don't see this very often. When I was on gems, no word of a lie, you might get like a the odd golden pearl, but I don't know if I ever really, I'd say maybe once or twice, maybe. But in my period, and I think I was on gems, what, we're talking seven years, I never really saw lavender pearls. Mm. I just didn't. I certainly didn't see them of this size. Maybe if I saw them once or twice, but they were an absolute rarity. There's a big deal about pearls, and there's a, um, a slide that I'd like to show you, actually, because it's quite interesting, and it just says, to replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't impossible, but it is very expensive, right? I don't know where this is from, so um, because I don't know this full um, uh, PowerPoint, but strands of this grade are likely to retail for around ten thousand dollars USD, yeah, US dollars today. Next year, you could be looking at double that with the way the farms have been affected. Is this because of COVID and everything like that, or, or I feel like this was around? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there isn't many strands right now in the world as it is more valuable to sell these as singles at this size. We won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years and even then it wouldn't be financially viable. Now here at GEMS we have terrific buying power. We literally, we do because if you think of how we work and if you don't know our kind of the business model here is we don't have loads of stores we have one base that's where we keep a lot of the jewelry here so it's stored in one location and then we go out so as a business it's so different so different from i actually don't know anybody else who's like mm. this with the way that it works so of course then we have tremendous buying power and we also then have therefore have access and relationships that have been built over time to be able to source these stones Neri, what did you say, sorry? Exactly that. So echoing what we've just said is the fact that, yes, you see a strand here, but normally you, with designs like what we've just said, you might see a design like this, but there's a singular pearl in it. And they can still go for the prices that you're seeing on screen, set with diamonds, of course, pearls, it, it's they're up there aren't they you want it set with the most magnificent gemstones um in your precious metals but they can command values like this and that's for a singular pearl that to me looks at the pink one that looks really similar to this coloring mm. wouldn't you say yeah yeah w would you agree at home as well i think i think that looks really 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 similar in fact i'd probably go along the lines of it being like that pinkish lavender um so of course you're seeing the value of a singular pearl in a piece of uh, jewelry, a precious metal, you don't see the whole strand very often. In a moment, I'll, I'll um, count them all for you. Here's an example of what you can pay for pearls. So you've got that rarity and you've got that beauty. I know, yeah. What do you think when you see a, a price like that? Because you can make jewelry. I can't make yes, jewelry yet. Yeah. But what do so you I have a I do have a respect for it, but then sometimes I find I do find it quite difficult because I think uh, you think I know how I know how that's been made. Mm. You know, when you think well, silver is silver and yes, is silver, yes. uh, but then I also know that we we are in our jewelry maker bubble here. Yes, as well. Yeah, 100%. so that I take that into account as well. Definitely, I totally agree with that because. I, I think for me, I've gone from gems, having that time away, so then my, it's kind of, I'm not in the bubble of knowing all the prices and what's normal and everything. So then I've like normalized myself to the shop prices and go, well, you can't afford that, you can't afford that. Mm. I can't make jewelry either like you can. So for me, when you see a finished piece, I, you see the kind of simplicity sometimes in how easy mm. it is to create. Whereas for me, I'm like, I can't do it. So I, I'd have to pay someone to yes, do that. Yes, yeah. And then, then you get I get the bubble because then you get used to the lower price points because that buying power but absolutely and then so sometimes if we don't have the thing and then you look at other suppliers and you think oh my gosh yeah you know it, 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 so you sort of you, you do remind yourself and it is good to look at other other places as well just to actually really appreciate that bubble that we are in mm. and also the fact that you have something achievable for yourself like you can physically go you know you can get this in your collection you can you could technically you could see an item that you love 
that can be sold for what you're seeing on the screen here, those 22 and a half thousand pounds, that 1,000, I mean, just look here, um, you know, you can be, I mean, this is 20, 2021 wholesale price for naturally purple freshwater pearls. Look at the price here. $1,250. And, and that's wholesale price. Wholesale price. Don't forget that. That's wholesale. So you're not... So yes, that's if you're buying multiple strands, but then that's not your, your final price that they're going to sell it because people have got to make money on that as well. But for me, it's the fact that you can, you can achieve the look that you're seeing out there if i just flick across just can i just can i find one of the the pictures or yes so say i mean say you wanted to create this or something that looks really similar you could do that when you get this mm. this yeah. is i think what I mean, it's achievable for you this yeah. isn't it's not like oh that's far enough that's untouchable the fact that if you see this on your screen and it's twenty two thousand pounds very different you know don't get me wrong there it's a lot of the time you're paying for the brand and who's made it and everything like that. But this is a rose gold. You've got, is there any diamonds or anything set into that? There's, no, it's not, is it? You've got a spacer in between. It doesn't look like it, does it? No. But something like this is achievable for you to make. That's incredible, isn't it? And that's, that's just, you know, you could put spacers in between. You can knot your pearls. Like you can do whatever you want, but what I'm trying to say is it's so achievable for you to have and create a piece of jewelry that is rare, that is iconic, that is so valuable. And we've had valuations, haven't we? We've had people get the jewelry from us, the pearls that they've bought from us, valued. Mm. Oh. Okay, I don't know this. So, if I can I read this aloud? So, so we um, so we had to pull the production of a planned strand. Oh, wow, okay. So we had to pull the production of the planned strand. The price went too crazy and the factory had quadrupled the price even after we agreed that this collection, which has never happened. Oh, wow. Anything that has natural color in the purple tone is thousands and, and whole harvests are being snapped up for years. For lavender pearls, we can only offer dyed moving forward, which will be the standard in the West. Even planned orders are being cancelled because of the huge price increase since Hong Kong. Natural lavenders are through the roof. They are natural. They're natural today. These are natural. How cool is that? That is it's, it's quite sad as well, reading ah, that, isn't yeah. it? So you just can't, you know, it just shows you, doesn't it? It's such, yeah. So precious. And I think you just said about being in the bubble. Mm. I think you kind of, we do live in that. And yeah. it's a case of, if you went to a shop, um, if you went to a shop and saw singular pearls, and I would even say, do you, can you go to your local high street store and see a lavender pearl? Because mm. you might see yeah. white pearls, yeah, but, not, but are yeah. you likely to see a lavender pearl? You know, that's that's the big difference here. It's like that lavender, and it said pink on, on the screen of one of the pearls there, but I think you've got that lovely lavender pinky hue. It's a, deep, a little bit deeper than pink. Um, it's just stunning. But that, I mean, that's the wonderful thing with with the pearls, isn't it? If it you, yes, you've got the, but you've got the, all the other colors in there as well, mm. haven't you? That, that iridescence is, you know, so you have got some gold, some greens, it's, you know, you get reflection in pearls as well, mm. don't you? Yeah. That's what I love. Yeah. Like yeah. You, get, you, get, you literally see sometimes when you go close up in the studios as well, you can see like you're literally multiplied, which scares me somewhat, but um, <laughs> you can see that reflection because it's like mirror-like. You will get, by the way, when you get these, um, your certificate of authentic, uh, I think you have to pay like 25 pence or something or you'll get it. Um, but to have lavender on pearls, that's that, mm. that, that's a big, big, big deal. So if you if you did get these, I'd highly recommend doing that for the future, just in case you were making to sell or you wanted to get them. Have we got have we got those valuation? Yeah, yeah. Oh, these are them. Because there's a funny there's a. Oh, okay. So we've got some McCoy. So he's just chosen some random ones. So I bought. A coir pearls from JM for about one two nine, and sold the necklace on commission for eight fifty. That's oh. so good, isn't it? I love hearing these. It's real life, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. 
And you can imagine how proud everyone would be. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, morning, ladies. It's from Heather in Hertfordshire. Um, I bought a strand of your pearls, took the strand into a jeweler's, not made up, and he valued them at five... Um, sorry, forgive me. Um, 500 pounds. I paid nowhere near. Sorry, I couldn't tell if that was a comma, and that's genuinely what I was thinking. Um, 500 pounds. I paid nowhere near. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I like this one. That's so funny. That's her, um, Carol's face. That's the shock on her face. <laughs> um, morning, I put... Oh, we're there. We'll go to the next one. Morning, I purchased your multicolour Akoyas made um, earrings and had valued at £350 and they sold. So she made earrings with the two of them. So she bought a whole strand, made earrings with the two of them and sold them at £350. So that was our lovely Gloria, you know, that messaged in earlier okay. about the wire. Yeah, so that, that's Gloria. That I think that, when yeah. sometimes you read it, you, you don't connect the two and the yeah, fact that you're yeah. like no that's that's a real yeah. viewer who's yeah. done that yeah that's cool um i love this one just purely for um <laughs> uh, carol's face there um i bought a strand of keshi pearls from jm a few years ago sold one on stir on a sterling silver chain for 80 pounds the whole strand cost 29.99 that's one Brilliant. of the pearls yeah. one Shall I count them? Shall I count the pearls? I'll go in two so I can do it fairly quickly. Well, I'll do it here. Two, four, six. And these would be beautiful, wouldn't they? Standalone pendants oh. if you didn't want to use them all in, in one. They're stunning, each Absolutely individually. Absolutely stunning. And your sizes, um, your sizes are, um, can I just double check? Are they all, because sometimes you, you get, um, yes, yeah, so a nine to 11 mil, but you've got the smaller ones there, but all of these actually look like your largest sizing, mm. don't yes, they? Yeah. At the base, yeah. they, they graduate. Yeah, but the, the, I mean, they're graduating, but look at the size, like most of them are on that upper upper level mm. in terms of size. Look at these. And this is just simply a necklace. And the fact that you can do so much with these. Right, you can get hold of these. These are, art. they are. They're gonna be so popular, stunning, natural. And I think we need to bring that home Natural. When was the last time you even brought them? We, it, but it's, it, the, we hardly see them now, though, do we? We, you know, I feel like we used to see not not necessarily like natural lavender like this, but we used to see a lot more pearls than we ever do now. And it is you can really see that when people have been saying, oh, you know, not going to see them as not, and, and I do feel like that is now, you know, mm. it, they are. It's it, it's more considered, isn't it? It's a you know, we just don't see them like that how we used to. But this is, a, I think this is a standout strand, isn't it? It's a... Yeah. And I think what's really important is however you wanted to work it. So I'm holding it here just like a simple strand that, you know, like knotting and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. But if you took a couple of the pearls off, and this is what Alison taught me the other day, you take a pearl off there, a pearl off there, you can create an earring, you can create a drop. A bit like, you know, the... Um, uh, the drops that you made in the yes, last hour. Yes, yes, yeah, um, yeah. You could do that with yep. it. Oh, they'd be lovely. They would, they would. They, they would be, be really nice. Really so nice, just a yeah. pearl drop. Then you can create, of course, a necklace. You can create a bracelet with a couple, two or three of the pearls. So you can, you know what? The world is your oyster. Did I just make that pun? You did, I did, you did. did. I've never made that <laughs> pun before. Um, but the world is literally your oyster in terms of being able to use these how you want to so you can it's not just you're not simply stuck to creating a strand um, have we got some of the other examples on the, on that um there as well just some of the other necklaces um that people have created with these pearls i just i like to see just the choice really i mean just look look you've got a, a beautiful necklace any of these any of these down here just within a going across just so you've got a necklace here, but there's some earrings as well, isn't there? That's what I was trying to say. So you've got some earrings, so you've got choices of earrings of what, what choice you've got. Then I think that, yeah, I really like these as well. So you've got like a drop. Again, 
I'm not even talking about the price point, but it's so clear that you can see that, you know what? If it was, so 5,000 pounds, you're not gonna be paying that today, but 5,000 um, pounds. Claire, if, if, if this was 5,000 pounds and it was in a store, you'd go, oh, okay. Totally, but yeah, yeah, you would. You would? Yeah. Yeah. You would, wouldn't you? You'd go, oh, okay. That, I accept it, it's a pearl, it's rare. It, that's, that's exactly what you'd get. It's, it's just such a stunning gemstone. I love, I love, I love the feeling of a pearl. Mm. The way you touch it and it like kind of warms up in your hand as well. But I think with pearls, it's so, they're iconic. You can't go, you, you can't go wrong with the pearls. Is this one of the stands that don't, it, um, at one of the shows? One, there's an empty stand, wasn't there? Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Because you do think, oh, okay, these gemstones, they'll be around. I know, and so you can get a little bit blasé, can't you, when you hear sort of, sort of you know, the, the stories about it that feel so far removed from you. Yeah. But, you know, like, you know, not going to see them as much, but then you actually don't, do you? And then it's like, gosh, yeah, mm. we're told about that. And, and yeah, it's actually here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the, the, it's, it, you're living it right now. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful pearls. From nine to 11, 38 I counted, 38 pearls on, on, on this piece. Are you ready? Go on then, what are you gonna do? Right, you'll like this, I think you will. So what we're going to do is, you've got a 30 second clock, and we're going to match the price point of the 2021, so if you can remember it, wholesale price for naturally purple freshwater pearls. And I think we have to keep going on the fact that these are lavender, they're certificated, if that's the right. Is that the right word? Uh, certificated, I certificated. So. Yeah, it's the way you say the word, isn't it? <laughs> certificated um, to be lavender. You've got that, so without a doubt, and I think that's what I love about this company, is the fact that you know what you're getting, you're getting that certificate of exactly what they are, the fact that these are natural. They're not dyed, they are natural. There is your 2021 wholesale price for natural pearls. Um, Patsy in the West Midlands, has written in, the JM bubble is real. Uh, to quote guest designer Debbie Kay with JM prices, we can make jewellery that we couldn't afford to buy. Yes, yeah. That's so true. She was so right when she said that. That's exactly what it is, isn't mm -hmm. it? So when you say you look at that 22, I mean, I know everyone's different. Some people might have lots of 22,000 pounds. Oh yeah, you know. loads, loads, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's, you know, not in a million years, but, but I know I could make that. I know I could make that and then I could wear it. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, like, you've it's got really the skills. Good. It's really and I, good. And that's what's so exciting is you can see this and then go, fine, go, just do your research. Just look online. Have a look what's out there. Go for it. You know what? I think this is actually, putting this into perspective, this is exciting. Go online and have a look at the most expensive necklace or creation of pearls that you can possibly do, right? And I bet... With the amount of pearls here, you could create it. Yes, yeah, yeah. You put and you know, think about like Ooh. a different. Hat. So that one, I've got spaces in between. You know, you maybe you want a, a, a shorter line. And knotting, just the skill of knotting. You know, that the jewelry maker give that skill as well. Mm -hmm. You know, that the, the tuition is there to do it. The sort of the, almost like the hand holding, the showing how how to do that of knotting. And you know, the, people do that professionally. It's such a brilliant yeah. skill. You know, and, and a time, you know, timeless tradition. And jewelry maker, give that, give that, well. yeah. You can't really put a price on that, can you? You know, we're not at our final low price. You know that, don't you? You know, we're going to do a fabulous deal for you. Um, congratulations, everybody already who's purchased these beautiful, natural. And I think that we need to keep going on about that is the fact that, and we said the quote before, is the fact that they're just saying like. We don't think we're going to get these in the future. We really don't. Mm. So when you've got them in the future, across to the Western world, a lot of uh, the pearls will be dyed in the future. Get hold of that natural pearl whilst you can. Oh, split pay. I forget about that. Makes life a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah, so you could, it? yeah. I mean, if you're going to um, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're going to make a little bit for yourself and, and sell on. I mean, that gives you the, the, you know, the, the opportunity to do that, doesn't it? 
you could do maybe make some earrings and then sell those and then that's covered the cost of if you if you want to have you know a necklace or a, a bracelet for yourself I like that I've never really You've covered it that. for that haven't you then if, you, if you're happy to separate and split that that strand I mean if you sold it, it like some of those companies absolutely do. yeah but think you about know, it. Wow. But, but then maybe I don't know maybe it'd be a strand like this that might I don't know inspire you when when I drove to the hotel yesterday um you know I could start at wedding fairs things like that that's an amazing color for oh. you know and you just have one on maybe the chain that we did earlier a head pin that's an incredible bridesmaids I, piece, you know what? isn't it you've you've like made me all shivery um that is so perfect when you think about just that one piece of jewellery that you wear because often now oh, everyone's different with their dress but for me my dress was my focal point so I didn't want to go heavy on the jewellery mm -hmm. because my dress was so embroidered yeah yeah but you could get away with per well, I one pearls. of them yes yeah, yeah yeah stunning just a simple yeah. just the drops like the, the earrings and bridesmaids as well mm. like a wedding fit that I've not even thought about that really yeah. but pearls would be so but I think popular. I think that can be a thing with with jewelry makers you might think oh I don't know if I you know you might not have the confidence to do that but part of it is having isn't it having faith in the thing that that you're mm. you're putting forward to other people and, and then saying look I've made this it, you know but when you've got quality like that if it was a wedding fair you know you'd be able to talk to them about you know this is really rare now they yeah. would see that it was a really beautiful yes. thing as well yeah. Um, so it might be a strand like that that you know that then encourages you to maybe I don't know push yourself out your comfort zone and go and book and do a, yeah. a stand or a fair like that yeah that's you know. a good idea I've never really put that because obviously I've knew but just you're starting to build and think about the opportunities as well but like you say if you if you're doing that to sell or you're doing it for yourself or as a gift mm. you know if you yeah, know yeah. and you've got a family yeah. member and there's yeah. something quite special coming up yeah I, I'm just thinking I'm just thinking if, if it was a gift for a friend so if you're making something quite spectacular for somebody and it was their wedding as opposed to buying them a gift you could create something like this with just one of these pearls and and you know you spend you go a little bit more when you buy someone a gift for a wedding don't you it's a bigger deal so you yeah. would spend a little bit more so even if you just went you just created something and there was just one of these that gift of what you'd probably spend elsewhere spend it on this make something for that person and you'd have to spend you'd think about spending the money elsewhere you're not then because actually you've then got the rest of the pearls and some and you've given a gift mm. as well and it's I, i've done it a couple of times and it's, it's a really lovely thing if you make jewelry for for brides it's a really nice it's really? just a really special yeah because you know it's going to be a, a you know super special day for the them the best day of their lives yeah you know for me I will, i'll never forget you know my, my wedding day i actually quite get a bit melancholy over this quite depressing um, but the best day of my life is behind me. That's Aww. how I always think. Isn't that a sad thought, though? But it was so, it, like, you know, leading up to it, it was always ahead of me, and now it's behind me. But I know I'm okay with that, but because I've experienced it. Yeah. But, like, literally, for me, that was the best day of my life. Oh. Like, uh, yeah, how much? Uh, is that a bit sad? No, it's <laughs> not sad at all. It's but, not. Yeah. What are we going to do? I'm not even. I'm not even thinking about the price point because I think the price that already or like, whatever happens here, you've got value for money. Whatever happens here, you've got an iconic gemstone that is incredibly rare, that is natural. So you're getting everything, kind of like what you're saying. And I'm not being blasé about this, and I'm really not. It's a case of when you saw those opals earlier, you said it doesn't matter what I pay. Of course it matters. But the other side of it is if you see something so beautiful, mm. you have confidence in knowing what you can create, what you can make, whether you're going to sell it or keep it or gift it. Whatever you buy, you've got something that is spectacular here. Mm. And you've got a minute clock because you're going even lower. He's going to do a fantastic deal for you. How many did we have? I don't know. How many, sorry? Oh, okay, that's not a lot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. A lot have been pre-ordered and ordered already. Right, you've had your minute clock. We are going lower. You'll love these. You'll love what we can do here. And the sizes of these stones. That's really good because mm. if you split pay this as well, you get these home and it's a hundred pounds isn't it on split pay so you pay a hundred pound a month off and then you're getting beautiful pearls that we don't think that in the future we're going to be able to get again that's natural 
So like for like, we don't believe in the future we're going to get have access to these stunning, stunning stones. So many of you are coming through. Natural. That's the big thing here, isn't it? Because it's totally, totally natural. And just kind of echoing what we said before. I don't know if I can just bring the slide up again. I'm really not good with the computers here. What we, the thing, um, I don't know where it was on there. Here we go. Um, no, was it this one? Anything with the natural? Oh, lavender. Uh, here we go. Just echoing. If you've just tuned in, you're like, wow, I know I want this in my collection. Just to echo this point again, we had to pull the production of the planned strand. The price went too crazy and the factory had quadrupled the price, even after we agreed this collection, with, um, uh, which has never happened, never happened before. Um, anything that has natural colour in the purple tone is thousands and whole harvests are being snapped up for years because people can buy them in advance. If you've got that, we all know what money can do. If you've got that buying power, they can go, right, we want your um, harvest for two years and we want it only us. And that's what happens in industry. Um, there's loyalty, but also, you know, that's what money can do. For lavender pearls, we can only offer dyed moving forward, which will be the standard in the West. Even planned orders are being canceled because of the huge price increase since Hong Kong. Natural lavenders are through the roof. Here we have on screen, natural lavenders. Karen, Karen's gone for three. Jane has bought two. Janice has bought two. So the last strand of pearls that we had, lavender pearls of this size, closed at 499. We're going lower. You will love this. And they're all nine to 11 mil in size. I mean, the size of them is really, really impressive, isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't and like it? you say, it's, the, uh, it's not like there's just, I don't know, say three at the front that are of that larger size. No. They are. The, I think that's the difference is yeah. the fact that there's only really a couple of the smaller size. Yes, they graduate slightly, but the smaller size, I can't really see many, but then I can see far more of the larger mm. sizes. Don't forget the value of the pearl is also the size of the pearl. So the larger the pearl, the higher the value it goes. Uh, we've got multi-orders. We've got a lot of people coming through, um, but we are going even lower. Wow. Gosh, yeah. Even, even the ring, when you think about it, even the ring that we showed you, earrings, one singular pearl, there was a necklace with a pearl on the top, you know, one singular pearl, and you're paying such a premium. This is what this gemstone can command. Oh, it's just stunning. I think also seeing it on a strand, is, is great, but it's also a bit of a shame because you can't then, only by pictures can you see what you can do with them. Yes, yeah, because you can get sort of, cause, because a pearl necklace, isn't it? It's like a, a classic, you know, it's a classic piece yes. of jewellery, isn't it? Um, but that's what I really like about, with pearls, you've got that, it's the completely classic, but then you have got it, current trends about it as well, haven't you? Mm. So that. It's, it's really, really in at the moment. Oh. Um, but yeah, so, so, and the fact that they're, they're drilled for you, you can knot them, uh, you could use them in, in your wire work, you know, pop it on a head pin, um, you know, get some of the bales that we, you know, that we do, uh, loads and loads of, of different ways that you could work with them individually or, or all together. This is a bit of a sad, um PowerPoint here that we've got on the screen. Sharp decline in cultivation scale. The scale of pearl farming has declined dramatically. Um, in a bid to protect the ecological environment, China has reduced the area of pearl cultivation, uh, resulting in a decline in the yield of freshwater pearls from 197, sorry, 1,979 tons in 2014 to 400 tons in 2021, with even fewer quantities in 2023. So do you think in, like, that's 2021. Mm. So, um, um, you know, obviously we're three years beyond that now. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, isn't it, really? Mm. Right, okay. Are we moving on to the next auction? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know what we're going to do. I think the fact that you know how rare these stones are, the fact that they're natural makes them even 
like more highly regarded the fact that you know that you've got the size here you've got everything about these you've got the tick box natural lavender there's a color to the pearls you don't see natural lavender pearls and this size the amount there's 38 pearls on here technically you can create 38 individual rings you know if you're going to do earrings you can create say four, 14 no that's incorrect how many is that 15 16 17, 18, 19. Oh my gosh, that was really <laughs> dreadful, wasn't it? That was dreadful. I'm trying 19 earrings, basically. My maths was dreadful then, I'm so sorry. There's 38 on the strand that I counted. So 399, go on then. That's £10.50 a pearl. Wowzers. So it's all drilled for you that you could make a pendant with pretty much in one seconds, couldn't you? That's amazing. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, so Neri's telling me the lowest price tag that he's ever found for a natural, is how much? A natural round of lavender at Jewelry Maker is this price point that you're seeing on the screen. That's the, the lowest price tag for natural round freshwater lavender pearls. And that that's why so many of you are with us. For natural, like that's the lowest price point. Are you honoring that price point then? 349. Are you? <laughs> right, you're going to enjoy this. If you're watching and you're thinking, my goodness me, that is too good to be true. It's happening here on Joy Maker this morning. This is amazing. Is this one of the rare, okay. Neri saying, I actually would argue and say that this is one of the rarest strands of pearls that he's ever, ever brought to screen. It's the size as well, it's everything. I think the fact that you're getting, we're not bringing you small pearls here. And I think the fact that they're so um, equal in terms of um, aesthetics. Yeah, definitely. So when you're yeah. looking at them, because it, it, you know, it does make such a beautiful necklace all in one because they are fabulously matched, aren't they? Mm. It's almost, it, you'd think they've all come from the same, but you know, yes. they would have had to have Actually, been matched, yeah. wouldn't they? You know, because you, cause it looks so effortless. It, it, you you How, forget that, don't yeah. you? But you know, it, how many, how many pearls do you think you'd have to find in order to create this? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the thing that we're really kind of forgetting is how many pearls have to be created for you to be able to get this one, your strand of natural lavender pearls. Yes, because with you'd such have uniformity, yeah, yeah. So you've got the uniformity, you've got the size and you've got the colour. Yeah. So you've got that strong, strong trio of everything in one and we just don't get them. We just simply don't see them nowadays in terms of this size, this color. Mm. There's been a huge decline in the cultivation of pearls. The prices of pearls have been high. They are always high out there. You know, you can be paying, well, you saw it, you know, 20,000, thousands of pounds for singular pearls. And what we've got here is a strand of 38. I've counted 38. Forgive me, but sometimes can you get a strand and it's maybe one or two over or, or less and stuff like that? So, is, it, is am I right? Because sometimes we've asked about counting. Generally, yeah, they're all the yes, same, but yeah, you might get yeah. yeah. it's in that vicinity. But you know, I counted obviously thirty-eight on these. Have you found another deal? Go on, March twenty twenty-two. Exactly the same, oh really? Oh goodness me, right, okay, March 22, okay, March 22, 2022, they did a lavender pearl necklace, exactly the same size as what we've got here, right? So he's searching back through the archives to, to prove how few of these we bring to screen. Um, and the price tag that they sold out at is 399. We're at 349. The price tag of natural lavender pearls is increasing and we are not at our final low price point. 
How do you feel about this deal, Claire? <laughs> but that again, that's our, that's our funny bubble, isn't yeah. it? Because everything has gone up. So how can, how can these be already less than that? Yeah. Like, but the thing is, like, we, we can increase because we can incre increase the price point, but then everyone's used to paying the lower price tag, but in every other area of the world, we're paying higher but because they should, we haven't got a they choice. They should be because everything we've looked at says that they're much, you know, they're rarer now, aren't they, yeah. than they were then. then the, uh, that, the decline that, yeah. in cultivation is reducing. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to bring natural lavender. I tell you what, if we kept hold of these, held on to them for five years, mm. five years alone, see then what JM Gems and the whole company can bring to you. And then you went, actually, years ago, I paid three, four, nine for these, and they could be higher prices and they could, they could be like dyed. That's amazing. Yeah, adds value, doesn't it? The fact that these are classified as lavender specifically, <gasps> yes. Oh, gosh. Wow, Tom. <gasps> Aren't they gorgeous? They are. I like the way it kind of, and this is just this strand, is the fact that you do have the drape into the larger size. I've always mm, liked that. Mm. It's like the eye line going down. Yeah. Sally has written in, oh my, I am in shock at this price. What's going on? I love this look. Thanks, Sally. It's beautiful, isn't it, Sally? Really, really gorgeous. Yeah. I'm going to put it back on again yeah, if you don't mind. really, really just, gorgeous. It's sitting here and then every single time it sits there, I'm like, oh, I want to be able to, mm. I want to, be able to wear it. And I think, that. you know, like, like you said before, when you wear a piece of jewellery like that, you do carry yourself Ooh. in a different way, don't you? It's, mm. yeah, it has a real, makes you stand up taller and... Yeah, prouder. In years to come, gosh, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. In years to come, all we ask is you, you, A, you get them valued, create your pieces, get these valued, take, literally take this strand to a jewellers and get it valued and then tell us about it. And I genuinely believe that in years to come, you'll be going, I had that lavender strand back in 2024 and have a look at what you're seeing in five years time on the screens that's what's amazing isn't it because we could be bringing you dyed pearls and still selling them at the same price but do you know what i mean but then the fact that they're classified you will get that certificate of authenticity with these so actually make sure you take your certificate of authenticity with you as well as proof that these are natural lavender pearls you've got your split pay that makes life easier as well. What did you just say, Neri? Is that working it out at? Is that really how much it is? That works out at seven pounds ninety. Sorry, seven pounds eighty. Seven pounds eighty-nine a pearl. So if you went, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, you know, like a, a say top shot or new look or like younger that that type of. of if you and, and like a glass pearl, you would that you'd be paying more, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. Just look at that. Stunning, yeah. That's such a lovely colour, isn't it? I was it? just thinking about that. How nice the colour is. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. stunning. I mean, just look, and that you know, you could have like a few a few pearls in a in a necklace, just a simple pearl. Mm. Obviously, so the strand kind of graduates. So you've got some of the larger pearls. So even if you just had one, that. I mean, we were talking about weddings earlier, but you can just have that singular pearl just on a chain. You can have your drops. I loved the malachite um, that you had earlier. If you're mm. watching from earlier, Claire made some lovely, just, um, uh, it was like a chain and then you just had the malachite sitting in like the loop at the bottom of the chain. You could put one of these here and you've just got the pearl dropping nice, from the yeah, end. Yeah. Like, it's all done for you because it's been drilled. Yeah. You've, you've got your set up, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. No, you haven't. We've only, we've got twenty available. Oh goodness, Sally, you're going to be in a little shock now. So <laughs> all I'm going to say, are you really are you serious? Right? Okay, we are going to go even lower. This is just crazy. Right, okay, even lower for you today here on Jewelry Maker. This is your chance to get hold of the deal of the day. He wants to see you with us on on the screen with us. Sorry, it's down here and I should be putting it up there. Um, Tom wants to see you with us. 
We've only got 20 remaining. So basically it means that we are going lower. You're going to love this. If you've multi-ordered, if you have, then um, do make sure that you can just add another one. If you, if you can, you can stretch to that with your split pay and it makes life easier, then go for that next one. We are doing a final, final drop, but we've only got them available for 41. Well, it's gonna drop after the 39 seconds. Hence the reason why Pamela, Anne and Maureen have just got involved. Vanessa's coming through. Maker in Swansea, Teresa. Um, Claire, you've bought yours, Maker in the Isle of Wight. You're gonna love these, you really will. You've got your 30 day money back guarantee. That's the thing as well. Once you've got these home, you've got 30 days to make your mind up, see them, touch them, feel them, hold them by the light, experience the pearls in your hands. And then that is the time when you go, these are mine. These are what I want to create. These are what I want to make with, or these are what I want to keep. You will love this. He is going to tell you off. £50 on split pay. Is that right? Yes, it is right. Yeah, £50 on split pay. That's crazy. That is a little bit naughty. £6.55 a pearl. So you know you're talking about sort of prices in shops. So I don't think you'd get, would you? You wouldn't get one a pair of earrings. So you don't keep it really simple. You don't really you don't put any other gemstone or just that for £50. So that's two two of the pearls. Can you have a look online and type in to one of the world's biggest search networks um, at home and type in a natural lavender pearl, natural lavender pearl earrings. Just type it in online, natural lavender pearl earrings and see what you can pay for natural lavender pearl earrings. And that's just a quick search online and find out. They've got, you've got, and, and actually be aware of the sizes as well. Okay, so these are eight mil, so these are smaller because ours are nine to 11. That's one to nine for one pet. Mm. That's just two of the pearls that you're seeing on screen. This is incredible. And those are just simple pearls on studs. And that's just a random, you know, online, another pair. Lavender freshwater pearls. So we're talking the same pearls as what we're talking about, natural and lavender. They're in, um, in your hooked earrings, white gold. Uh, 285 285 for two that that's more of course it is mm. that's more than the whole strand <gasps> oh my goodness no wonder so many of you are multi-ordering uh, Vicky from Northamptonshire uh, Patricia Tracy Michael Pamela Claire Maureen Maker in the Isle of Wight Lorna Teresa Jeanette Norma um, so many of you are getting hold of these these are incredible 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 opportunity for you to get that's an in sensational sensational deal for you yes, to get yeah. these home and beautiful isn't it as well absolutely stunning wonderful deal and then oh, it's, a, it's absolutely stunning could you imagine going into a store though could you imagine going into a jewelry store and like I, I, I just could see someone showcasing me something like this and you'd go price on application. Yes. It would be, yeah, or, or yeah. it wouldn't be, uh, you know, it's that kind of unachievable price point. Mm. Karen's gone for three. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Mary, Caroline from Hampshire, Davinia, uh, uh, Davinia, Leslie in Devon, you're securing it. No wonder so many of you are grabbing hold of these because of, the, uh, honestly, natural certified lavender nine to 11 mil pearls you can own in your collection. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You don't need to say a lot about pearls. No, because they do it, don't they? They say, yeah, they say it, yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Simply set, necklace, earrings, just perfect, just absolutely stunning. Congratulations, everyone. We've got, so you know the display stands that we've, we've got all around us? We're going to be bringing you these. We've had That's loads exciting. of I'd forgotten that. I'd forgotten I'm about those. I know, yeah, we were just in the moment <laughs> of the pearls. Yeah, yeah. They, they warrant it. You're going to love those. You absolutely are. 
we've got the display stands that you can see all of these beautiful items on. They're coming up after the break. We've got your stunning black spot. Oh, I love those black spot. Have you seen the cuts on those? Amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Got aren't so many lovely? lovely things today. We really have. We're so lucky. It's Saturday. It's Jewelry Maker. Going to go to a quick, quick break, but you can get hold of all of this just after these. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step by step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Hey Jewelry Makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on June the 3rd and we're having a bit of a metal smithing day. So in the nine o'clock hour, we have got the most amazing anvil, which attaches to your bench or table. And it comes with eight interchangeable mandrels. So you can do absolutely tons with it. I have used mine to make this little lily pendant, which I'm in love with. Um, so don't miss out on that. Then in the 12 o'clock hour, we are looking at a project for using up all your scrap silver. So melting down your leftovers and reusing them. And I've been making mine into little beads that I've been putting on bangles and also some earrings and a matching pendant. And of course, safety is super important when you're doing that kind of work. So we're bringing you all the PPE you could need. There's safety glasses, there's heat proof mats, and there's a respirator for when you're doing all your polishing and filing and sanding. So that's gonna be super fun as well. And don't miss out on these giant pearls, which I can't take off now. So I will see you on June the 3rd. Take care. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Wednesday, Wednesday 5th. Um, I just wanted to let you know what's coming up. So at nine o'clock we have stunning sterling silver connectors with turquoise set in the center. They're absolutely stunning, perfect makes for this time of year. Uh, and then 12 o'clock, it's all about zodiacs. So there's a zodiac symbol ring 
for everyone. And there's a stone that you set within them and I'm gonna walk you through how you go about doing that. Um, a really lovely quality and they've got um, silver and gold plated versions. So that's, that's gonna be really exciting for you all to see. Um, I'm with Carol and Tom and the lovely team. So really hope you can join me on Wednesday and I will see you there. Bye. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you ever seen display stands like this before? Have you ever seen them? I love them. I love them. Mm. Like, literally, I love them. And I'm new to Jewelry Maker and I'm like, yep, I'd have this here and I'd have that there. Uh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, they are. What, what, I, I mean, there's so much here. We got, there's, there's loads to bring to you. Um, right, have you bought them online for pre-order, did you say, Neary? Okay. So welcome, welcome back to Jewelry Maker. If you're just tuning in, we've just bought you some amazing, amazing uh, pearls. Um, congratulations to everyone who's got those. And then we've got some stunning stands that you can put these on. Um, this is really exciting. So what we've got is a variety of different stands, all with a really nice um, color palette that work with one another or separate and also they're all working for different types of jewelry. So we've tried to like give you a variation of how you can use these, but it's not just for, I don't think, and I do, you'll agree and disagree, um, I don't think it's just for finished jewelry either. You know how like we've got our strands here? Mm. So if you're making jewelry, but you want storage as well, you can wrap your strands so you can see your stones here. Yeah, nice, However, yeah. yes, they are so beautiful to the point where you can have them for your finished items. Mm. Um, also, I'm a little bit bored of seeing the classic uh, stands as well. I mean, we've got them all around and it's lovely, but when you see this, you're like, actually, this is the stand coming into the 21st century. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. I would say for the color wise and the, the material, like I just think the velvet is, I loved it when we started getting the velvet busts and things like that. And yeah. it's just that tactile, it just to me is, is like luxurious. And, and I love that with these as well they're so lovely i love the colors because for me these are the fa fashionable colors of mm, the time mm. but they've not gone okay let's keep them all blue or they've keep them all this kind of sage jady color um and then by putting the pink in it just gives it a really nice classy balance and i can imagine in your big stores like your um well you know what i mean if you go to these um you know, wh wh wherever you you go to, I'm thinking like Bista Village. You know, when you've yeah, got the outlet yeah, stores and your, there, yeah, and you've got all the boutique, designer shops, yeah, your boutique, yeah. um, and your sh stores like that. Th this for me, underneath the glass, would look amazing as a display because the colours also complement the the colours of the precious metals, the colours of the stones. So there's so much more to these, and then just going. Here's your black bust. Here's your white bust. Mm. That can be very, it can be very stark, can't it? Yeah. Sometimes you want that contrast, but I really like this. I love the different. I love that that brushed gold. Yeah. And the different sizes of the of the disc that it's sitting on. It's just you know that lovely presentation, isn't it? Bit of elevation. Yeah. You, you know yeah. you can elevate. So you've got um, what I like because yes, we've put um, your creations on here. But say if you were to, if you're selling, if you were to have say say this item here this bracelet, but then you could have the bracelet here, then you could have the bracelet there, but in a different precious metal. Mm -hmm. And then you could have, so you can see how, how, so you can have the same bracelet going across. And like I say, the colors complement, so you can see the various colors. So it helps you with going, well, I could put that with this and I could wear mm. that with this outfit. And yeah, so yeah. it kind of evokes that idea of where you're going to finally place that mm. item and what you're going to wear with it. Yeah. By yeah. seeing the way the colors work. Yeah, I do love it. Absolutely love it. They're like floating, aren't they? Yes, yeah. Yeah, they are. Whoever designed these, I, I, I'm going to, I, I really, really like their style. I, I love the curves as well, because the curves marry up with the, the with these, um, what would you do, the pads? Yeah, like the discs on the top, yeah, don't the they? Yeah. They look really good. It looks, they're really stylish, really stylish. Karen's already gone for three. She's like, I'm there. Actually, I don't know if you've got, um, no, we don't. If you go for more than one, 
these would look quite good because then you can create a long line. I don't mm. know if you're selling and because of that line. curve as well. So you could sit them, you know, sit them together, couldn't oh, you? There's yeah, loads of different ways to to work with them. Yes, these are really yes. nice. Uh, so many of you have these in your basket. I'm not surprised. Have you? How often do you do these on jewelry maker? How often do you do stands? I, I don't think I've ever seen one like this. We do do some of the other, you know, like the different busts and things, but I've not seen one like this. I've not seen one like this at all, or anything really similar, to be honest. No. Quite contemporary. I think that's the thing yeah. is, don't get me wrong, you, you have busts for different colours to suit different gemstones, there's classics and traditional, but I think this is, this is that element of breaking tradition and going, let's just move forward with this, let's make this equally as stylish as the creations that we're making. Oh, oh, brilliant. Oh, thank you. Yeah, look. Thank you. So we could, couldn't we? So you sort can... of like play about with how you're gonna... You could we can yeah. work with them. Oh, that's nice because you can you can layer them up so, yeah, so however. Oh yeah, that looks nice as well, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Or the other way. Oh yes. Yeah. I like yes. Whichever could way. Could you, you want. um I'm oh, having it like that as well. So maybe you could uh sort of have it so it's sitting. Because then you could probably pin into them as well, couldn't you? Yes, that's a nice maybe some idea. of your earrings. These are really lovely. I think the more you, I, I think you can experiment, can't you? Yeah, to what yeah, suits you. yeah. They're lovely colours, they are. They really, really are. That's a nice price. Oh, that's Brilliant. Really nice. Just thinking as well, you could um, pin to the wall as well, couldn't you? Because you've got lots of, if you can see there, we've got that, that stand mm -hmm. where it is. So earrings as well, or, or pinning up that's like that. That's stylish. So if you think about your stalls, so like you know we were saying before, it's giving you the inspiration. You think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a stall. You could have pre-pinned everything beforehand, and then you just got a nice you know little hook on the side, yeah. and then it's a really nice background, isn't it? Yeah, like a lily, lily pad. pad. Yeah, lovely. I was thinking, you know, like the wall like here, how you can manipulate it and you can get your hooks. Could you hook that onto there? Yeah. I don't know, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking yeah, because there's there. different ones, aren't there? Should yeah. I that one there? Oh, yeah, there you go. Did that work? So I'm going to hold it there, but so it's quite a proud hook, so I'll probably go with a smaller one. Yeah, tighter one. Yeah. Maybe with a hook bending around a little yeah. bit more. When it, that looks nice, you know, it? does it? look quite good, though, doesn't it? If you yeah. were then, you know, like you say, you've got your pins in it, and then you just create a like, popping earrings or anything. Yeah. It's versatile. I think that's the thing here. Um, there you go. What, what's he doing? Is he going again? Doing his own thing. They're really popular. Look how many people are coming in. Yeah, but That's so good, isn't it? So good. But I think they're easy on the eye. And I think if something is easy on the eye, you know, both of us have just gone in and gone, these are nice. Mm. You know, we're all sitting nodding in the studio saying that we equally all appreciate that how nice these are. The fact that you don't have them here very often, they're appealing, they're classy. Yeah. They're stylish. You can imagine them out there just bringing just modern day colors like fancy colors into you know your creations and just it gives it a different look doesn't it it actually i think the colors like how can we do like a comparison i can imagine like and there's nothing wrong with these but there's a black there's a black one over here again this is nice and actually i think this warrants i'm not putting this down i just want to show you something different is the fact that you know, being you can't go wrong with that. It's classic, but so you've got that. Say like the different, this lovely blue mm, color, but mm. you can. It just warrants something a bit different, doesn't it? Having the color, because I know the ones we're bringing out, we've got the pinks and stuff, but that's quite like a harsh color in comparison. It's nice contrast as well. I think it yeah. get that to have that brushed gold as well. Like yeah. I do like, I like the high oh, yeah. polish, but I do. I think that looks that works very well, and that I think is very that's very current at the moment, yes. isn't it? It's nice everywhere, word. taps and, and everything yeah. that is, that brushed gold is. My bathroom. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got all brushed gold in my bathroom as well. So I'm Love really, it. I'm taking it back. I'm cleaning up the studio after myself. Love it. And my you can see at the back. You don't do that at home. It's just, it's really, really well made. That's really nice. Isn't it? Yeah, and I think multiples definitely, like we said, would work really well. Definitely. I like the curves as well. The curves mm. work really nicely. Mm. The curves, the balance, the height. Just it, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? Sounds Easy on the eye. eye. Yeah. yeah. They look great. 
JM Studio, they are blooming lovely. The teal and the pink are my business cut. There you go, Deborah. Perfect. There you go. Never Meant really to be. connected that, yeah. Never really connected that, because you, you, you know, obviously, but when you say that, teal and pink, I think, like you say, current is the perfect word here, because they're, they're, they're current colours, and they work with your collections, and you mm. just can't go wrong with these. There's so many of you coming in for these. I, I'm not surprised if you've got any creations, if you want to show them. But if you don't sell, I think these are nice for you in your studio to sit. You know, like if you're working at a table, and you said this earlier about being organised, and I said, if you're creative, you're not organised. Yeah, yeah. So the potential is here, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because sometimes there's so much going on in your mind that then, like, it, it's quite difficult to be creative and to be organised. Um, but in, if you're working in a nice area and it's like a peaceful area and it looks good, it makes work easier. Yeah, yeah. Because you're in a bit of like Very this, much so. the zone, that yeah. harmony. So if you've got a couple of these dotted about, and okay, if you want to multi-order or you want to get one of these, one of these, one of these, um, if your area physically looks good, that's going to kind of ignite that kind of creativity in yourself when you're making your yeah, because you're future. completely influenced, aren't you? You know, yeah. it's, it's about sort of external things. So yeah, that what that your working environment is really important. I was just marvelling actually at, in the in the break at Charlie's, you know, in the, in the ad for. I was thinking, that is so organised. I've got I, this. That's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to get into my workshop and it's going to look like Charlie's because <laughs> it was so organised. Yeah, definitely. So it does have an effect on you. It, it really, really it does. does. It absolutely does. Isn't it something like, I, I don't know the Gen Z thing, I always get a little bit confused, but it's something like the Gen Z, they only buy things. There's something like 80% of the reason why they buy something is purely on the look of it and not. So it's Which one is look, Gen Z? I don't know which one, this is what I mean. I don't know, or millennials I'm looking or at something. Michael to know. know. <laughs> does anyone in the studio know? Anything that came after ni 1997 is Gen Z. What's a millennial then? And Because it's not just 2000, I know it's not. 97, that makes me old then. That I, My child isn't even a Gen, Gen Z. Z. Oh my God. So what's a millennial? <laughs> it's an education today. No, it's not. No, it's generation. There's an X and a Z. Yeah, Guys, the we, X. Need, we need an, we, we need like a screen on the screen to remember it because people talk about it and I'm like, I've got no clue. So I don't no. know if you like me. No. Um, right, we're going to have to move on to the next um, auction. So stunning. If you missed out yeah, on those really nice. and you're just tuning yeah. in, they are gorgeous without a doubt. We've all said, like, we've all walked into the studio and gone, I'm like, wow, yeah, 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 we like those. Like those, definitely. Um, which one? Oh, this one. So this one, this one here, Neary said, this is like a changing stand for a mouse. <laughs> and I said, can I say that on air, please? Because it's quite funny. But you'll know what I mean. This is lovely. Again, gorgeous colours, aren't they? But that's what I mean is, if even if you weren't multi-ordering the individual pieces, it's quite nice to... Um, they all match, full, yes, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine your stand like that? That would be nice when it all together. If you're starting out, this is a good place to start, isn't it? You know, to create your business colours, and you know, on the table you mm. could have all of these, and then you've got variety of what you want to um, to put on it. So, um, so you've got four here, so all interconnected. Um, and then on the top, you've got these like little round circles that allow you to drape items from the top. So there's no, you can pin, of course you can. So actually what's quite nice, if I just come round the side here, if you wish to, if we go on to this item, you could pin the earrings, the matching earrings to the front, and then you've got the drape, and then you could have like the, the bracelet or something. So if you were doing, creating something that was matching, you can pin on top of this, because mm. there's like a sponge in between, and then you've got this lovely velvet feel. Um, love the color. I love this, because you don't get the blue in this one. So the blue in the other one is a deeper, kind of tealy. Mm. Now this is a, a lovely, a different blue as well. So, but they all work together, don't they? Yeah, they definitely do. And again, that lovely, with the lovely um, the feet and that brushed gold. They look good, don't they? 
Yeah, it's that Victorian vibe of like the opening and the, the shutting. And again, if you were like limited for space on the table kind of thing, you can open it up kind of as wide as you can, obviously for, you know, safety, because you need the, um, oh, what's the word of it going like this? If anyone can write that word for me, that would be great. The fact that they're, they're, it kind of crosses over, but you need them open enough to, because you've got the feet for the balance, but you need them closed enough just to create that. Like spin. a concertina. Yes. Go, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No need to write in the world now. Yeah. She's but you could have, if yeah. you had two, you could have one here, you could have that stand in the middle and then another one coming oh, yeah. coming there. But yeah, and, and important, isn't it, when you're trying to make it as, as welcoming as, as uh, you know, and as open as you can, that you've got both sides as well, yeah. 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 I'd love this in my workshop. If I was sitting there and I've got a nice table, yeah. then yeah. I, I think as well what's nice, and we often forget this, and I, I think about this with everything, is when, because I, we plan our stands at like events and stuff like that, and when we're working, but I think we forget the, the use of height. Mm. You know, everything's so flat. To not have it, yes. Yeah. So actually having yeah. height with your necklaces, you, it's it's kind of priceless really the fact that you've got it like draping down you've got all your necklaces sorted mm. you're not wrapping your necklaces around so actually you're utilizing the whole necklace yes you can have a bust and also it's space saving because your busts would take up far more room than one individual panel here mm. yeah yeah if you definitely. think about the size of a bust yeah like here the depth of it yeah if you think that's going to so you've got one of these you're showing one necklace off can't even show it on the set. Here we go. There we go. You're showing one necklace off the space that that takes up, but then you've got then four, four. So you can put four items on. So it kind of is quite a space saver, but also beautiful mm. and showcasing more. So there we go. I'm tidying up. Like I just said, my <laughs> husband say, "Why do you do it there? Because you don't do it at home, Lynn." I don't know. I'm a nightmare. I'm creative. That's, what, that's <laughs> it. That's what I'm going to say from now on. I'm creative. Oh, this is lovely. It really is lovely. No wonder so many of you bought this. Alison in Greater London. It's gorgeous. You, you'll literally, you'll love it. Karen, you purchased two. Um, you can put your pearls on there as well, Karen. Uh, it's quite a nice one. dressing table as well, isn't yeah. it? By this one. You know, so even if you don't, you know, make. It, yeah, you're not a maker at all. You don't sell. You're not looking for that. It's just really pretty. Um, but my younger daughter Lola would love that. Yeah, 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 she would. It, like you say, there's that Art Deco kind of feel yes, about yeah, it. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. You know, if you, if you were doing your makeup and you wanted to dress, and this is again the height thing, designers when they're designing rooms and houses, a lot of us only work to a certain level. But they they you know when you watch these programs, you're like, oh my gosh, that looks good. It's because mm. they use height more. Mm. Um, oh. Yeah, you can't. No, because I've got a lovely hinge there, Ruth. You can't. Um, you, great, yeah, great idea for photography. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It's got. It's got quite. De it's, it's quite spongy. That is. So yes, I think you could with your pins. Yeah. Could the shepherd's hook hang on the outside? Oh, yeah, that's oh that's a good question. Um, what do you mean over the top? I think it would be too wide. We'll find yeah. out. We'll find out for you. I like the idea about you saying about the photography. Are yeah. we going again? Oh, great. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, mm, I don't I know. Think it's a bit wide. It might do. It might compress it a bit. Yeah. I don't know. You'd have to have a go. Mm. So that's some actual ones. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you have the confidence. Oh, these are lovely earrings. They're nice with the colours, is that? They are really pretty. Yeah, mm, I would probably go. I wouldn't, because oh, I think you'd miss, you'd do it, the, the shepherd hook would be misshapen. I'd go probably pins. I, I think, yeah. They're gorgeous. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. These they're are so, honestly, earrings. they're so popular. I love how many multi-orders have gone on this one, but I think like you say, you've got each side. Mm. I, I think what you just said, if you've got a nice dressing table and then you've got these on the side of like your mirror or something like that, you know, just to give you that little bit of height. Because sometimes you forget, don't you? Like you, you forget what jewelry you've got. If, yes. it's, if it's sort of sitting out there, because you could, especially if it's on your dressing table as well. So you, you know, you're looking at it for use as well as not just, you know, mm. aesthetics. You know, you've have got the other side too. So that's a, quite a few pieces of jewelry you could hang off 
either side, isn't it? Almost like six per panel. Have you seen the phone lines? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They are lovely, lovely, lovely. And like I say, it's um, that, that kind of space saving element mm. is the fact that if you, so for me, like, oh, oh obviously you can see it. So th th this is how they come and then they obviously Constantino out. That's the word, it's just perfect. But, um, and say that again, sorry. We started off with 100, we've got less than 20. I, like if you say like you've not had anything like this before on the channel, mm. like this is this is great. Um, more of this, please. More of this, please, yeah. to the buyers. Yeah, I definitely agree with this. Um, but again, you're using height. Then you've got your like your dressing table, but they're quite a good space saver because a bust you'd have one. So actually, that's quite good. If you were on your dressing table, and so you're used to hanging quite a few around one bust, what a, a necklace is you're actually kind of differentiating each one so you can put more and you can put more than one necklace on there yeah definitely on these little these little bobbles but do you know what i'm looking i'm just looking at this one here and thinking this is so if you do sell pearls these colors are work i think really really well with with the pearls sage it's quite classy yeah yeah but then i think also like the pinks and the blues because though you, you do sort of um tend to get that don't you in in the surface of your pearls it just it marries up very well with it and it goes like that. Lovely. There's only six of these available. They are lovely. They're, they're, they're just, I think you've gone for these lovely muted colours. The designers have gone so, like they've done really well here. Muted colours, fashionable colours, mm. trendy colours. Um, and then with, as you say, that kind of brushed gold effect, it's not a high polish, it's not as harsh. Mm. And you, a lot of you were saying, well, one person's written in, but you can imagine you've got colours with your business or colours that complement your gemstones. We've all said different colours can complement different stones. Mm. You've got variety here, you've got, cho you've got choice, you've got variety, you've got style. Um, you have got it all here and practicality. So you can't really get much better than that with a stand. No, definitely. Space saving as well. Um, just really 21st century colours, modern, contemporary. And I wouldn't, I don't think this would look out of place and I'm sure you'd agree with me if it was in, say, like a designer store. Definitely, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't surprise me if designer stores were probably yeah, buying it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go, you know, if they're designing, yeah. the designs look really similar to these. I think the buying team have done a fantastic job with these. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, really contemporary, stunning. Um, congratulations. Have we got one more? We got. Um, we got one more. One more. We got two, three, three more. If I hold these here. Um, if oh, you, this one here. Shall I bring the, this? This uh, is a nice oh, one. Oh yes. This um, is a definite dressing table one as well, isn't it? If any are sold out or anything, um, and yeah. you're just tuning in, <laughs> just scroll down and if any come back in, put them in your wish list. So, um, this is different actually because of the, this, the, the fact yeah, that it is a yeah. bust. Um, so it is a bust, but it's a, a contemporary bust. And then you've got lovely, um, the ring bit in there, haven't you? So there's actually a lot going on in this bit, but. So it's, it's like a jewellery box, but outside. Yes, an open, yeah. It's like a naked jewellery box. <laughs> That's what we've got. It's a naked, Why we need to change the graphics. It's your naked jewellery box. Because you're showing everything off, but all the sides are off, but you can see it, use it. And it's, yeah. No, because when, uh, um, don't laugh, but I, I, when I present, it's all about like machines and stuff like that. And they put obviously the guarding around the machines, but when we see the machine and all the guarding's off, we call it a naked, naked machine. Yeah. So yeah. because you actually get to see inside the machine, which you don't normally get to see. And that's the same here. Um, but like you said, perfect for your, you know, um, what did you say, like your dressing table? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get to see all of the jewelry. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Co totally, co totally covered with this velvet. Um, so ev everything, mm. all the way around. So the velvet is internally as well. So if I, um, we've got our pearls here, let me hold them. But can you see here? So the velvet goes all the way into these boxes. So if you've got any stones like your pearls that you want to really look after, um, then it's really, really soft. There's no scratching gonna happen here. It's a really nice material. Then you've got your space for your rings or your earrings. Um, and then they can slot in there. So you've got, you can, I think this is a good all in one, isn't it? As in for everything. Yes, yeah. And maybe you could hang your earrings, um, you could work your earrings into this part as well. You know how um, someone had messaged in about the, the earring bit. So you can maybe do your studs and um, rings at this front part. I mean, you could still, there's little bits over here as well that you could hang up, aren't there? Actually, yeah, there's quite a few on there. Maybe you could hang your 
Hang them on there. Do you want me to give you? Just pop them. Because they're quite handy ones oh, there, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, that's I hadn't good. even noticed those bits. Yeah. There we go. So if you wanted to pop those onto there. You've got think yeah. those earrings, I have to say. I'm thinking that they might be um, uh, designer Ellie's ear. I don't know, but I love them, whoever they they are. Whoever did those, I think, for maybe birthday projects. They're beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah, they're really nice. Could you make those, or would the stones be too big? You know the birthstone yeah, that yeah, we did yeah. earlier yes, today? Yeah, you could, yeah. So you could yeah. do like the full year of birthstones. Yeah, nice. I don't know how many, but you could do something like nice, that. Nice, yeah. You? They're great colours. The first ever item of jewellery I ever, ever did. So I walked into this building. I was telling Alison a similar story the other day. And I walked into the building and within 10 minutes, I walked in, I saw Steve Bennett, the founder of the company, in front of me. And I was like, because I'd read up about the company, I was like, hi, Steve, <laughs> like this. It was so funny. And so I just spoke to him and he was just, and we chatted and he said right right come on upstairs i'll take you to um see the guy who was ben at the time put me on air within 10 minutes <gasps> on rocks and co live on american tv and they gave me this um multicolor sapphire and it was i was a bit shocked i didn't know what to say my audition was terrible i still got the job but um but it was the fact that i, I was just like but you've got every colour in the world here. Like you've got yeah. everything yeah. you need. You can yeah. wear anything. Absolutely. And I'll never, you know, in those moments that you never Stay forget. with you. Yeah. Stay with yeah. you. And that reminds me of the fact that when you've got yeah. so much colour. Love those. Anyway, I went off a tangent there. <laughs> Sorry about that. No pressure that they put on me there, did they? <laughs> that is, Ten yeah. minutes in the building and I was Ooh. on air. Here's your price point. So popular, these. They're so popular. So here we've got this gorgeous. And now I'll just show you around as well. So you've got it is basically a bust that's open then inside here you've got all of your kind of sorry and i'm holding on to it because of the pearls here but everything here is this beautiful pink velvet color um so you can put everything inside so it's like an open jewelry box for your dressing table or a stand if you're selling again if you missed the previous auctions the colors work really really nicely with everything else Say that again, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's all... Ah, so we just had the question about it, um, the bust actually, can it come out or not? Can't be removed, that is, the, you know, it's all kind of built into one. It's very, very secure, isn't it? Because you've got that nice, that weighted, that curve. So yeah, I guess it needs to be, doesn't it? I think it's more practical than a bust actually, than what we showed before, because a bust is normally on a stand, but with, this is a bust, so this is quite clever, because it's a bust, on a stand mm. with two main pockets of storage and then you've got the storage at the front for rings so you've actually got the whole like you can put your whole collection in there and it's one piece whereas a bus and it's all together isn't it and yeah. compact yeah are you going lower oh great oh really even better we've just gone even lower for you so this for me is fantastic i'm not saying anything bad about it but what I am saying is this is you're limited aren't you with a bust like this whereas th with this you're still getting the bust but you're getting that practicality at the bottom with the different forms of um, storage so you're actually getting storage and the bust mm. here you can see it's just a bust so there's pros to both however what I will say is this is more practical mm. yes yeah and yeah. beautiful yeah. because you've got and and it's all diff different sorts of you know so your rings earrings maybe you want to put your bracelets in here um it's a, it's a bit of everything isn't it for for full suites lovely color as well you can't go wrong here mm. so so many of you are ordering these like we're not even talking about the auction because we're talking about how practical these are but these are selling out really really quickly so if you want these in your collection you've got them practical beautiful Practical in so many ways in terms of storage, but also practical in terms of looking after the gemstones that you've got, looking after your um, wonderful pieces of jewellery and creations that you're making all in one design, all interconnected. So that, you know, space saving as well. So you don't have to go, right, I've got, I've got, I need to put my bracelets here. It's all very compact as well. And if you're getting all of them, like you said before, it's the height as well, isn't it? Having yes. that varying the height. So you've got the little, you know, the screens, yeah, so they're all, all different. So yeah, that's it fab. All yeah. working together. Nice. Um, which one are we going to go for? Which one? Pink or green? Pink or green? 
Should we go pink because we matched the pink from the last auction and then we'll go on to the green or what do you want? Should we do that? Should we go pink? So here's the next one. I really like these. Again, the height. This is the height thing. Um, yeah, so these are great in terms of, so you can put necklaces. Um, you talk a lot about like stretchy bracelets mm. as well, don't you? These yeah. are ideal for that. Yeah, they are, yeah. Um, the, the first thing I pointed out with this is the fact that if you're a maker and you're selling, or if you're not, or if you're making, so the point I'm trying to say is, if you're making and selling, you've got a great display stand. But if you're not selling and you're just making, you've got this also as a storage unit because you've got all of your stones, but they're being showcased. And I think that's really quite nice. Yeah, they're not in bags, are they, tucked no. away? And yes, yeah. No. yeah. So for like final creations or strands, mm. you've got something that you can store all of your strands on here and actually, it looks blooming good at the same mm. time. I think that's really good. It's quite substantial in its size as well. Um, not in a negative fashion, but what I mean is, again, by utilizing height, you're getting, so if these are all the same level, it's fine, but you wouldn't see all of your jewelry, but by utilizing that little bit of height, which normally on a dressing table, you don't really think about, it's like your, your, the floor print of mm. your item is what uses up the space on the dressing table, but because they're utilizing height here, you've got a lot more choice of going, right, I can put that bracelet on there, I can put that, and you've got three of these kind of tubes where you can wrap the designs around. No, I don't think so. No. Sound, sounds a bit dodgy, that does. No. Can I do, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to say what Nira was like, do the ends come off? Do the ends come off? And I'm like, no. Uh, well, that's a really it good sounds idea. Sounds like, like smuggling booze but into I didn't places. Want to. That's why I was like, no. <laughs> Could you imagine they're not meant to, and we're there on air pulling the ends off and trying to. Um, um, these are brilliant. They're honestly, they're, they're just so savvy. Contemporary, fashionable, the colours work. You've got that velvet as well going all the way around. They're just easy, you know. For me, like you take this off, you can put, you, you can slide it off the side. That's what you naturally mm. do. But then also what's really good, if it's a display, is yes, you can slide it off. But say like we've got three on here now, three pieces. So you've got, say you could have 10 strands. You don't have to just slide the strands off. The practicality of it is they're not always on there. So you can take this off and you can unravel it. So someone wanted to have a look at it in the store, you can, you know, you can, it's practical. Mm. You can take it off and then take, you know what I mean? Take it yeah, off and show yeah. someone. And, 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 but, and the reverse, that it's not, sometimes it can be very easy to, you know, things are just gone, aren't they? If they're just taken yeah. off like that. Whereas this is sort of, like you say, it's elevated. It's still welcoming and inviting, but it is protected a little yes. bit, which I think is, is good. A little bit of security yeah, in there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, and then you've got three. So it's like quantity here as well, because I think it wouldn't look as beautiful if it was just one, but you could get away with just one, but having three, I think just works really nicely. Yeah, that's a bit step, of a, yeah, yeah. A, a nice kind of harmony here. If you're just tuning in, honestly, you're tuning in at a fantastic time. Claire's like, we've never brought, like, I've never seen any stands like this ever. No, no, these have been beautiful, beautiful colourways, yeah. Mm. And so it, it's it's a great kind of thing that you've kind of tuned into that we don't see very often that's quite practical if you're selling, but also if you, like, have these personally in your collect, like, just on your dressing table. Um, are you really? This is the launch. Do you think? <laughs> Honestly, it's, there's so many of you. I mean, we're not even doing price comparisons or anything like this here. But for me, I don't think I don't think in terms of looking at these, I think they're really pretty. I think they're beautiful. I think they're contemporary. I like the fact that you said it's it's the brushed gold that mm, makes it look yeah. even more modern. Yeah. Um, but they're not in your face either. You know, if you went, oh, I've got this pink stand, it might be quite, oh, goodness, you know, but actually, I love pink. Pink is yeah. my favourite colour, but there are different pinks, aren't there? Exactly there are very, that. very different pinks, yeah. Whereas this one is that kind yeah. of like subtle pink, classy pink. Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, brilliant. That's great. That's really good. 
if you are like setting up a shop or anything like that you know this is ideal i don't just see it as a shop though i don't i don't go to this and i wouldn't go right that's because it, I, I need to sell something. For me, that's a practical storage that mm. looks good. Mm. So I could see my strands and be really happy that I'm like, and you can work with the colors. Okay, yeah, we've got black spinel, we've got it in the show, but you've put different stones on here, however you want. It's so versatile and so easy to then put them on and then remove them um, and just work with you, but they look good. And I think aesthetically, you can't really go I just, wrong. I just think as well that it, it marries up together yeah that that is it just looks really 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 good good together yeah they look expensive yeah i think it's those colors and that gold isn't it mm. you can't really go wrong like they look you know like you paid a small fortune for them and yet you can display all of your beautiful creations on them it's a great storage but also showcase for you as well um right so many of you are there, a lot of you multi-ordering. Um, now this one, if you, if you missed out by the way, and there's only available online, um, you know the first auction that we did, you know the pads, like the lily pads. Mm, if one. you miss those, yeah, if I bring those, bring there we go. There. So if you miss the, the lily pads, I don't know if there's any available, I, do, I genuinely don't know, but the colors match from the first, from the original auction. So if you bought this, really good to get this as well. Um, because the colours match. And here you have, what colour are they putting this at? Teal, I thought so. A velvet teal, yeah. Um, so you've got, again, the same as what we've just seen, um, but velvet in colour. Um, and then they hook onto, it's so simple. They're, really, it's actually quite, quite simple. And you just put them on. They're all the same length, by the way. It's just the height is what makes them, obviously, um, be showcased in a different way. And there you go. And if maybe you've got longer strands, then you can put mm. them on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, lots of you going for these as well. So if you wanted to marry up with the first auction, the colour palette That's works. It's looking lovely, isn't it, all of that together? Literally, if you're selling, we've sorted everything out for you yeah. in, in, in one day. Yes, yeah. And then normally you'd probably go, oh, we'll get that one day, yeah. we'll get that one another day. But actually, this works really, really well together, doesn't it, Brittany? And again, if you missed out on me talking about this, and I know I'll talk about, you know, we're on air. And so we'll repeat things because people tune in at different times, but it's a good use of height. That's what I mm. think in your dressing on your dressing table. It's a good use of height. You're mm. never stuck for height. You know, you can go, and same with the Constantina design. You're utilizing height, but not space. On your dressing table because sometimes it can't you could be you know and it's not just your dressing table it's storage when you're making items it's showcasing all of the different stones that you've bought in your collection it's not just you know storage in it you know i mean this is great as well but it's not storage in a box hidden away it's actually no let's show out on everything. show yeah yeah you're lovely really really nice creation like designs He's gone down. Very, very gone. good. Mm. I think the thing is, as well, if you're creating, if you're creating something, you want it to sit on something beautiful as well, don't and you? And often, often you can forget that bit because you can be so caught up in the, you know, the lovely creative part, and then you think, oh, well, you've got to present it still, haven't you? You know, mm. show it off, definitely. If you want to add any of the previous items into, you know, if you've just missed out on some of those and you're just tuning in, like, oh my gosh, what have they got? Uh, they all work together. They mm. all do work. So just have a look online. Yeah. These are the other ones as well. So if you're creating, so you've got the Constantina design as well. So if you've got ne necklaces, if you've got um, bracelets or, or your strands on here, perfect. Yeah, These rings are ideal. as well. Yeah. Earrings. And then on pins for your earrings. Yes, yeah really really pretty right so many of you have bought those congratulations right right you'll do one you're gonna do a mad deal on right if you love black spinel there's basically um these came in last minute and so we had the black spinel but because you've had to, we've had so much interest on all of these then that's kind of eaten into the black spinel time so we are going to bring you some black spinel um but we he's going to do some amazing like 
incredible deals and the cuts on some of these black spinel pieces are incredible and that's going to be a star buy up next <laughs> You're going to have to help me, Claire, because there's quite Gosh, a few put them. Yeah, oh. lovely cuts, aren't they? Lovely shapes. I you love that one. I did, did not. Yeah. I've never seen that. What cut's that? I don't, I've not seen it's it It's a lovely cube, isn't it? And the saucers, I love the bicones. Oh, you've got great ones here. But we're not, I haven't got time to be able to bring loads because we've got your... Um, masterpiece coming up oh right moment. okay yes yes yeah. so um okay black spinel stunning gemstone and um the thing is about this gemstone is the fact that it's in my personal opinion you'd compare it to a, the only other gemstone you'd compare it to is a black diamond and yet i think you've got more beauty because of the the hardness of this gemstone and it kind of marry a, a, the location of where this gemstone is sourced is it often close to a ruby and a sapphire um, because they've got similar, like if you think about the Mohs scale, they're close on the Mohs scale. So, that you, and a lot of the locations they're mining out. So basically, if you can imagine where they grow your rubies and your sapphires, this gemstone is born there in the same location, right? So you think, so we're talking about Burmese and then you're looking and going, well, actually, if you have a look at the Burmese sapphire and the Burmese ruby, they're becoming, like that basically you can't really get hold of a lot of that gemstone nowadays yes what's already been mined but they're struggling to find any more i don't think it's depleted but they are i think they're at that uh, they're low they're low so of course where this is kind of sourced from is the same location so it kind of tells us well if those are, are, are str we're struggling to get hold of those stones then of course we're going to eventually struggle to get hold of your black spinel however what i for me, black spinel is the luster. Is the luster. Oh my gosh, look. Gosh, that is sparkling, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't it? The sparkle on these. So forgetting all of the stories on this gemstone, for me, it's a case of do you see the beauty in it? And you see it within seconds. The luster. So the white, you know, the white light reflection is your luster. You know that, but if you're new to jewelry maker, that's what luster is. And that white light reflection that you get, the luster that you achieve from black spinel, to me personally, is finer than the luster that you achieve from a black diamond. Agree or disagree, that's my personal opinion. How stunning is this? And this is some of the finest quality because it's Burmese. That was kind of the point I'm trying to make is the fact that where this is kind of like born from locations of other gemstone in the gemstones in the vicinity are almost depleted to the fact that actually this location is going to be in this going in the same direction oh my gosh really is that where you're going to start he's, he's in one of those moods today he is in one of those moods today. He said, we're going to do a fantastic deal on this. The, he, he basically said, your makers are going to love what we're about to do. So if you love black spinel, um, you'll love the fact as well is the way that this has been faceted. What's it? What's it? Um, oh, it's a faceted rondelle. What's this one called? Um, uh, where is it? One of those? What's those? A bico. So this reminds me, it kind of looks a little bit like a bico. Yes, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? And, yeah. and I like the bicones because you've got that kind of shape, you've got that width, and then it's quite a kind of like a sharp, not a sharp, mm. but like a harsher angle of a facet going back. And that's what I feel like you're getting with these as well. So much, isn't there? Look at that. It's just uh, like red carpet, just makes yes. you think glamour and monochrome. Sophisticated. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. That. Yeah. And the fact that you get, you know what's amazing? Like, just think about this. You're looking at a black gemstone, but 50% of the time you see white. Yes, yeah. Because you're, so yeah, you're literally yeah. looking at something that's giving you black and white, black and white, yeah. black and white, which is iconic in itself. But you're not looking at that and going, I'm getting red, so I'm getting green. So you're literally looking at a black stone, mm. but then you get white half the time as you move. How incredible when you think about it is that with your black spinel because of the luster, because of the light reflecting from it. You don't get blues, you don't get reds, you're getting black and white, sheer monochrome.
Oh, they are lovely. I like the fact that you've gone for this, the, you know, this particular one because of how much luster you're getting. Because mm. the angles, isn't it, and the, the shapes, definitely. Have you seen what he's just done on mm. that? I know. Oh, is there? <laughs> There's a D, like, isn't there a D-Day? Um, I, I was watching some planes the other day and they practiced, they were practicing or something for a celebration of, of uh, um, so I don't know. There's an air show going on at Ragley Hall, so we've got like some planes flying over, so we're like. <laughs> Are you not done on this? Oh, you're going to love this jewelry maker. Like genuinely, all right, can I just hold this up as well? I wore black today because of this very reason, because when you're wearing, so something like black, but just having black spinel over the top of it, you'll know this anyway, but if you are new, look how fabulous this stone looks. We are not stopping at this price point, just so you know, he's going even lower. A full strand of stunning, natural Burmese black spinel. He is going under, he is going where you think he's going. Yeah, he is. That's quite a long strand as well, 38 centimeters. And you know, I mean, I, lo I love it with pearls, anything like that, black spin out. But I really like that, how you just got it, you could just do a restrung, couldn't you? Nice, yeah. you know, whether you're going to go with, I don't know, gold, rose gold, silver, whatever you, whatever you fancy, nice clasp. And I just have that as a lovely. I think you, it's necklace. funny, because I, I put that straight on. You said you like that, the simplicity, but mm. I also think, now you've said pearls, this is the beads in between the yeah, pearls. Yeah, perfect, yeah. And you could, this is, Oh, just a, and I, I always think oh that's a silly idea but um, you could have more beads and then it graduates in one way or the other so in yep. between the pearl you've then got your pearl then you've got one and then the next one's pearl then two beads two of then, them yeah and yeah, then yeah. it kind of yeah 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 nice quite yeah cool, it would it, or something yeah. I don't know I think it would, no it know. sounds good lovely yeah yeah oh wow okay um Jacqueline in Essex hi ladies I bought the collection as they are Hey lovely ladies, I bought the collection as they are my favourite, arrived yesterday, stunning. Uh, now I am skint. <laughs> uh, ready to put with a pearl. Ah, there you go. Here and you are. said that. Yeah, yeah. Great minds, Jacqueline, great minds. Just finished making four extra long necklaces using black spinel chips and clear quartz chips. Nice. Everyone loves them. There oh, you go. Lovely, that's Barry. Barry. Yeah. Barry, that, that, uh, that's Gorgeous, just yeah. proof. It really is. Thank you for writing in. 9.99, that's an absolute bargain. Um, coming up after the break is your um, beautiful collection. I've yes. not seen anything like Yeah, this, this wonderful, really, really wonderf wonderful, wonderful, um, it's called bezel strip, but we're gonna do lots of other things with it as well. So yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? There's so much. And we've got different colors for you. There's so yes, much, it's, yeah. it's gonna be really good. And I don't know if we're gonna have time. You know the plier kit that Mark launched last weekend, if you missed out on it, it's available on pre-order and they're the longer length pliers. So um, I'll talk about it, but there's so many benefits to having the longer length pliers. If you are a jewelry maker and you're working over long periods of time on long, um, you know kits you know it's not just an hour here an hour there like mm. over there's there's loads of benefits mark designed these you're going to love them they're coming up after the break did you know that instructions come included with every designer project dive right into your jewelry maker project with confidence and clarity whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time just download them from your jewelry maker account on our website Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop. And you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hey Jewelry Makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on June the 3rd and we're having a bit of a metal smithing day. So in the nine o'clock hour, we have got the most amazing anvil, which attaches to your bench or table. And it comes with eight interchangeable mandrels. So you can do absolutely tons with it. I have used mine to make this little lily pendant, which I'm in love with. Um, so don't miss out on that. Then in the 12 o'clock hour, we are looking at a project for using up all your scrap silver. So melting down your leftovers and reusing them. And I've been making mine into little beads that I've been putting on bangles and also some earrings and a matching pendant. And of course, safety is super important when you're doing that kind of work. So we're bringing you all the PPE you could need. There's safety glasses, there's heat proof mats, and there's a respirator for when you're doing all your polishing and filing and sanding. So that's gonna be super fun as well. And don't miss out on these giant pearls, which I can't take off now. So I will see you on June the 3rd. Take care. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Wednesday, Wednesday 5th. Um, and I just wanted to let you know what's coming up. So at nine o'clock we have stunning sterling silver connectors with turquoise set in the center. They're absolutely stunning, perfect makes for this time of year. Uh, and then 12 o'clock, it's all about zodiacs. So there's a zodiac symbol ring for everyone. And there's a stone that you set within them and I'm gonna walk you through how you go about doing that. Um, a really lovely quality and they've got um, silver and gold plated versions. So that's, that's gonna be really exciting for you all to see. Um, I'm with Carol and Tom and the lovely team. So really hope you can join me on Wednesday and I will see you there. Bye. Hello everybody and welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It is our last, our, our final hour with you, Hello. but it, it's going to be fantastic because what, what, you're, what you're about to see of Claire's creations. I've never seen any, and you know, I'm new to jewelry maker, but I've never seen anything like these. They're really kind of bespoke, really niche, um, and really different because we've got the choice of the, the different metals, which is quite yes, exciting. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we're going to start off with, though, um, the last of stock of these, the toolbox. Right, okay. I've got loads I want to tell you about this, and we're a little bit limited on time, so I'll, I'll briefly go over this. Mark ordered these, he designed these, so he was in charge of what they were going to do and bring to jewelry makers. So he's designed ev everything behind these because he wanted to bring a few pieces for men. So he wanted to bring larger tools because for larger hands. And then he went, wait there, but I didn't mean it just for men. He just said, they're the longer handled ones. So if you do have larger hands, males, females, it doesn't matter, um, have a whole toolkit. 
right? So that's really, really important. The benefits here and the main benefit he found is what happens is when you're holding a tool, for example, and you're holding it in the palm of your hand, you get pressure points. You will know this more than I will. I'm just relaying what was said on the launch. It was made for birthday, but it didn't make birthday. So they launched it for the first time last weekend. So what you're seeing here is when you're, you're using the tool, you've got pressure points that are here in the palm of your hand. And he found sometimes if he was working on something for a long period of time, then, um, then he, he found that that pressure point could hurt a little bit. And so what he wanted is, I wanted to design a tool where it goes beyond that pressure point. So actually it's soft. He's mm. actually designed the soft foam as well. So you can see the different materials. He went, I wanted to go for soft foam um, on this. So it goes beyond the hand. And Elle was saying, she said, whether well, I haven't got big hands and yet these are ideal mm. for me. So this was kind of the essence of what they've brought. But it was for birthday, but it, they didn't land basically. So then he brought these. Now that I'm just gonna go through the choices because I wrote down everything that he said because I thought it was quite important. Um, what he said was, so you're getting a flat nose, a chain, a round, a bent nose, so it's perfect for chain mail. Yeah, and you're getting your cutters. Spring loaded in the palm of the hand, so you've got loads of control specifically made for jewelry maker with the longer handle so it's bespoke to jewelry maker these were designed and created purely for jewelry maker the textured foam um, was his choice as well um, that was it and the fact that it goes past the little finger so there's no pressure point in the palm um, and yeah that that's basically in essence an ergonomic tool a tool that you use for everything that's the thing and we were saying this earlier yes you can get all of these but it's down to the tools that mm -hmm. you're using that make your life so much easier so when you're investing in say your tools you know that you want tools that are going to last that are going to be comfortable because if you have got projects that you're utilizing and making over a longer period of time these are ideal um, and so that was kind of in essence the reason behind bringing these to air and last week was the launch and we've got last of stock now that's, so we've literally got just the last few on final chances. What are your thoughts they on They do these? feel really, yeah, really, really nice. I think he's done a great job there because they do feel lovely. Do and you feel nice. like you've still got the control? Yes, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's nicer. I like a different different uh, types of, I guess, any sort of jewelry making jobs, isn't it? Sometimes you want something that is really, really light in your hands. Sometimes you do, like, you want to feel a bit more... Substantial yes. when you're yeah. making yeah. to have absolutely. that control. Absolutely. But I like with this that you have got those, almost like the three versions of... Because often in toolkits, you might not get something that... You know, we had jump rings earlier, and so you've got two, uh, at least two lots of pliers where you've got that flat surface area inside so you can open. Because mm. so many times you'll see people... Oh, yes, open and they'll just do it because it, that's what they've got they've got one pair of, of chain nose one pair of round nose but mm. the minute you start to you know press down with any force onto your wires or jump rings or with anything round. you're gonna put a little you know a little uh, dent in you know in yes. it there so it's really good that you've got these so you've, you've got, got the three options the flat. oh you've got yeah. the three yes yeah. of course with that surface area options. in there so it's whatever you know feels good for you but they do feel they feel really nice and I think it's that foam as well. Yes, because it is a different feeling mm. to what you're, you've got yes, here. There's yeah. like a little bit of a texture in the foam as well. Yeah. So it's not too, too soft where you think, oh gosh, that's going to wear and tear. Um, it's more like you've got, you've just got that little it's bit of It's a bit texture. of a grip in there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You've got that grip. Um, now, Father's Day coming up, it's ideal. But like Mark said, he went, the idea behind all of this was I, I want some makers for men because it kind of brings more men into doing this. But then I think he kind of, the first thing he went on air and said was, this is not just for men. It really, really isn't. This is for females too. This is for comfort. That's the reason behind the design. There's no pressure point in your hand when you're creating that you're going to like hurt your hand or anything like that. So mm. it, yeah, that's good. Right, okay, so. £10 a plier, that's fair, isn't it? It's quite good. That's really good. And you're getting the bag as well um, to roll it all up. So it does roll up. So, you know, for practical reasons, that's ideal. Look at it, like the fact that you're, whole, you're kind of experimenting. Yeah, because you want to feel, don't you? Like, I mean, I use, you know, 
every day I would pretty much pick up my pliers so it's it's you know you want to feel what they're like and these mm. do feel really nice they do feel really nice. I do really I, I'm repeating myself now but that foam is actually really nice because it is not sometimes what can happen is that slidey surface oh I see you know it but can just slip. sort of like slip a little bit but that's that is yeah I like that I don't know because it's a car it's like a harder foam isn't it so like you can't really it's not soft soft it's squeeze. More just, yeah like a just a bit of a, a, a grip to it so like a rougher rougher surface is wrong because it's not you can't actually feel it while it's in yeah. there but it's not slipping down yeah you're not it's yeah. a little bit of like oh there we go yeah. Patsy's saying she's yeah, got yeah. them and they're good there do you know you what I mean Patsy though it's not like a it's not a texture or you know it's not it doesn't you don't soft, feel you don't, it you yes. don't call it a foam but it's like a goldilocks thing it's just right isn't it yeah it's not oh, a, yeah, i like that the same. yeah uh, lots of you were getting these if you missed the launch last week um with mark um then these are his creation that he's brought to air and we've literally got last of stock for you they are a longer handle on the tool so for example and i know i've said it before is when you're holding the tool as you've just said you know your pressure points are here and over time when you're using it you can get that kind of indentation in, you know in your in your wrist and and it, they're ergonomic they're practical but you've got that longer tall handle with these as well so and you're getting five five all in one um here we, <laughs> i love these you tell him gloria you tell him need these my partner keeps pinching mine that's what they were saying actually on air. People like at the halves, they just take them and you're like, where is it? Where is my, where are my tools? I need these. But not just, and we can't single out that these are just for men. Uh, need these, my partner. Oh, there's, there you go. Sorry, that was the same message that came up on there as well. Um, five, so you get five tools, but it's the extra long handle. So if, you know, if you have issues with any dexterity or anything like that, you want that pressure because sometimes you feel like you're putting more pressure on it. Because if you think about the ang um how can I explain? If you're putting pressure on there, there's more force there, mm, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. I know they're spring loaded. Yeah. So you'll probably find that you're putting less pressure on your hand by using the longer tool. Mm. Uh, lots of you are multi-ordering on these as well. So Plus we're gonna leave those them, there because yeah. we are <laughs> running out of time, but they are literally last of stock, Father's Day, great purchase. Very um, good, Mark. They're yeah. very, very good. There we go. Very impressive. From the pro. Saying nice, that. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Okay, next up we've got something fantastic for you. Um, a lot of kind of filigree, would you say it's not the right word, but there's a lot of detailing these. I have never seen anything like these before, anything at They're all. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. Really, really great. They yeah. really yeah. are. Yeah. You're going to love these. Should we do the mat? Uh, okay, so, um, right, so just as before we, from the last auction, they are still available, uh, but we have got Claire's absolutely fantastic, wondrous, remarkable masterclass up next. <laughs> Here we go. No pressure. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Um, right. Okay. So, tell me about these, Claire. Like, what were your first thoughts when you actually got these? So, I love, I love, love, love these. I, I always love um, different components that you can get that have. So they, when they, they're, they're actually called, I think, uh, something like decorative bezel strips. So, a bezel strip, you're thinking going round, like the necklace. So, the, the pendant going round a stone or something going around something and yes it absolutely does that um but then you can take it and this is i just think if you've got a good component or a good finding something you know a project like this so many different things you can do with it and it's about how you shape it you manipulate it what, what else you you put it with um you know just having it on its own as a, a plain bangle so the, if i sort of like work my way down from the end um so uh, you can see the gold one uh, it's just a straight, you know, straightforward bracelet. It's, I've curved it in, so curved it around, and also curved it sort of, so it's slightly, um, uh, is it convex? I think so, slightly curve on, on, so it's not the flat anymore. So you're getting um, lots of lovely, you know, curves in that with a little bit of macrame. You know, no other gemstones there. Could be quite a, a masculine make if you wanted to have it like that. But 
you've got other than adding a little bit of chord that's what it will do for you the next one along so you're adding i've just i've added some gemstones there some head pins uh, and a little bit of extender chain and you can see you've got great you know you've got that lovely detail usually to get something you know that amount of um uh metal together i don't know you might have to pierce out all of that or uh your wire work you know to get a big expanse of of, of metal like that so that's adding gemstones to it so the next one uh if you if you do like weight. your wire work yes yeah so you can see with that one so i've used it as um uh, alongside some uh other sort of plated metal um and added it in with some wire weaving so it, that becomes just it's the decorative focus of it so that takes slightly longer um but it works really really well with your you know your plated wires Gosh, that you've got wow. and again the different colorway uh adding your gemstones in there lots of movement stitching in because when you look at it you've got all those different areas that you can anchor wire to uh, add your jump rings to um, gemstones and it just it just you know it, it works as well doesn't it just it absolutely works so what you can also see as well there is you've got they come with the ends often when you're making um, you know wire work pieces things like that it's the ends that you have to wor you know worry about whereas these I it comes with saying. those those ends as well yes. so you, you know you can just little bit of glue and you've got a connect connector point or then you go with your you know much fancier more ornate wire work um, and you know that's a wire work flower and you just stitch it stitch it to that and you know almost like a, a corsage this is amazing they're brilliant aren't they absolutely they're brilliant so good i love the fact that something that i would say and imagine like in stitching you're physically like stitching your gemstones to this because of the the, the design on what you've got here like, yes yeah i think that's I, I i just wouldn't have even thought of it but then if you look at if you look closely at that the, you know the cabochon that's in the um yes on the necklace so yes. so that remember it's still the flat but then with a cabochon you're trying to you're setting the stone aren't you so this is where you would um so it looks from the front so like it, it looks like it that's you know it's all been set that's the same flat piece oh, but wow. you're just turning turning out the yes, different elements the different e decorative elements um in that strip so i mean i've used that that's that's a quite a big cab and I've used I've used an entire strip for it, you know. So it might be that I don't know. You have two smaller cabs and you want to do earrings, and you can cut the strip in half and, and you do it like that. And then you add in your own wire work to to create the bail. So if you look at if I've got this one here, so it's different colorway, and we can go through how we do this. This I think so. I looked at these online before, and someone else had done something very similar yeah, in yeah. terms of setting setting the stone. Can, yeah, and honestly, like. It's amazing. So if you've got larger stones, don't be afraid to do this and experiment with these as yeah, well. Yeah, very think, much so. Yeah. You know, if you get Absolutely. this, then you've, you might already have the stone at home and go, oh, I don't know what to do with it. Then this is a great option. So it's a bit like um, when we've done gal you know, gallery wire in the past. And it's, so it's how then, when it comes to you, and we'll, we'll have a go at, at, at doing this as well. And we'll talk through some of the simpler pieces. Um, you know, it's just how you look at the design and then we're going to manipulate it with our pliers to I get can't, it. So you're actually using the internals? So yes, yes, that's ooh, what we're going to do, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. really cool. Oh, I'll let you explain all yeah. of that. But I didn't really, you don't see that on that. Um, but, oh, that's impressive. Well, because it's a lovely flat, uh, like, bangle bracelet, isn't it? Yes. You just had it, you know. It reminds me of, um, I went to um, Marrakesh with my friend, and it reminds me of all the interiors and the lights mm. and, it, you know, that sort of, that, the that cutout. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, honestly, I would never. Have, you've literally utilised the pattern in a practical fashion mm. to be able to put the whole piece of jewellery together. Yeah, for it to set a stone in it. Yeah, yeah. And it works really well, doesn't it? Really neat. So really, well. Really, really neat. Yeah, because it's it's almost like it was born to do that. But yeah. I would never, ever, ever in a million years think about manipulating that piece of metal. So it's obviously strong enough mm. to be able to hold that in place. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, I'll let you explain all of that, obviously, but um, these are really, like, that. Uh, that's versatile. So let's see what you're getting. So in this, so you're getting um, a set of four designs. So, we're, we're, sorry, forgive me, are we um, set of, which which colour are we starting with? Or? So silver ones, The silver yeah. ones, that's what I can, ah, yeah. here we go, yeah, I can see it's silver. So you're getting 
four designs here, so the four strips, and then the ends that uh, Claire was just talking about. So the ends there. So she's saying like it is quite tricky, obviously, to give that finish. So at least you've got that got that finish at the They're bottom. They're just super neat, aren't they? Uh, having that having that end cap in those, it just makes it really, really, you know, it's a neat finish. It's one less job for you to think about, but you've also got the connector ready to give you a different yeah, finish. Yeah. You can experiment then. Because yeah. actually what Claire's done, interestingly, is on every single one, um, actually, you've been really clever with this because on every single one what we've shown you, look, so from the end cap there, she's created one design here. So you used a chain, right? I don't know any of the technical terms or all of them. Again, gone from a, a, a singular chain then you've created this with your wire so you've used wire work as as the the finish then also you've gone for a singular chain there but slightly different to this one and then of course you've used your um just um, so sliding so solomon's slider. bar aren't there yeah so so versatile they're brilliant aren't they absolutely brilliant but you've got that lovely decorative strip so i would say yes it's that bezel strip and that's probably the more complicated well we'll have a look at that but you just if you just form it if you just form we'll have a look at that and it makes a really really nice you know bracelet very yeah. very quickly okay under 30. that's a nice price solid sterling silver and then what you've also got is the end caps that make that work beautifully in terms of they just work you've got the kit it's going to make your life a lot easier the whole length of this was 10 centimeters but what Claire's done is manipulated it in such a way so it's going to fit over the top yeah. of your wrist. So these are actually, so these ones are, there. so it's silver plated on, yes. to, on top of, um, so it's a, it's brass, so it's really nice and it's it's easily to, you can easily manipulate it, um, uh, and, but it will hold, because it's that brass core, it will hold its shape as well. Yes. So you've got really the best of both worlds there because as a whole, um, you know, it, it's, it's pretty solid, but because you've got that cut out and that filigree, you've still got that delicacy, but you can you can manipulate those just like I have for that. You know, you can see there, so I've taken out, I haven't taken, removed them, I've just manipulated them so we can shape them like that. So yeah, so you've got that 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 brass core and then that silver plating over the top. But in, so basically you're saying you've got enough movement in it if you're wearing it as a bracelet, for example, yeah. then it's comfortable and will suit your wrist. So you, yeah, you know, nice, you yeah. can imagine wearing it and holding it so it's enough, but not to the point where sometimes, you know, if it isn't, isn't the right fit, then it can be quite uncomfortable. Yes. Like it can stand too proud. Yes, yes it can. So actually but you that's can shape quite it. nice. You shape yeah. it to suit your size. Yeah. Um, or whatever size that you require. And then you're getting the four different designs within this. So the four pieces, you've got four different designs. Don't really know how to explain them, but you've got quite like an art deco design in there as well. You've got that lovely kind of more ornate design, mm. uh, a cross design. Uh, I think that one's quite art deco-y. And then like, uh, is it like, I wouldn't say it's floral. It kind of gives a floral. Quite like a stylized flower, isn't yeah. it, that one, yeah. Yeah, or like a flag design at yeah. the bottom. So you've got four of those with the uh, um, end caps as well to kind of be the center of whatever design it is like that versatility with these i mm. think that's what this gives you it gives you versatility you know you can create and it, i tell you what my thing here is and it's exactly what you've done yes you're showcasing the bracelets so you can make four different bracelets but the other side to this is the fact that you can create if you've got a cabochon you can create something quite spectacular and yes, set the setting around it, yes. It yeah. into a nice, nice sizable pendant as well. Absolutely. And the thing, you know, earrings, just strip earrings. Cut oh, you know, yeah. cut in cut in half if it, you know, and just because you've got, you know, lots of anchor points there and then just a, you know, jump rings. And you've got that really lovely, you know, it looks a bit like filigree, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Like a lot of work has gone into this. Yes, yeah. And so if a you manipulate piercing, yeah. it I'm just fascinated by how you've manipulated it to create different effects. Even when you've done your wire work, even around yes, it, you kind of yeah. look, at, look at how many people are coming. Look at all of these. Look at everybody coming. This is I think, wonderful. I think because, yeah, jewellery makers know, um, that, that, you know, you can see the potential, can't you, in yeah. these, you know, and, and how easy easy it is to work with but uh, you know and then the, again this sounds boring maybe if you're not a jewelry maker but the fact that you've got the ends that you know that makes such a difference because of, you know I talked about like the problem solving bit that can be it's a bit like this is a really really lovely design I know I have a bracelet but then how do I attach it how do I actually make yeah. it into that bracelet whereas because you've got loads of those with it 
you know immediately it's a little bit of glue and you sometimes yeah, might have to like uh, open them up a little bit to slide them in or just trim that bit down but that's on there in seconds it's the fun part of it but you said <coughs> about creating earrings how nice so imagine so you've got the two tops of the earrings as well oh what's yeah this? i wired them onto hair clips and they are brilliant then you can decorate to your heart's content oh lovely it's mr janet oh, saying yeah. that yeah brilliant idea oh that's nice and they had yeah fit yeah fit really well into they? a nice hair clip and i tell you what if you put your hair up if you put your hair up and you've used it over the top nice, yeah oh that's a nice idea yeah. i love that idea so say if you you put your hair up um and then you wanted to decorate like a bun and then what you could do you know, what what are, you, you sometimes can put those like um things through your hair like a little oh the um like a pin yes, basically yes a pin yes, that could yes. go round and then it all kind of comes to oh there's a, I think that I think that's what it is. is Do you know that would work very well with? I wonder if it's still in my bag. It, some of the tools that we had on Tom, you know, the uh, the wire twister tool. So that type of that type of thing that you talk. So <gasps> yes, yes, yeah. Yes, so yes. that would work very well if you if you were watching on what day was it? Tuesday, Tom. Maybe if you got the wire twister and we did some wire twisting. Um, so you'd almost like make yourself a. Uh, stick like a the pin. pin to go through yeah that would work really well going across there yeah at, yeah that would look really pretty it's just it's i think that's what you get with jewelry maker is the fact that you're you're paying for choice you're paying for that, that the basics of your creativity and then like you say go for it until your heart's content that's that is brilliant because don't don't forget that is that's silver plated so even if you i don't know made depending on the size but made eight rings so really you know work. that's a cut them bargain. in half and then you've got a really nice that's an absolute bargain because yeah with the caps as well i like the earring design what you said you pop that onto the top you cut that down you don't have to use even a half yeah. you could use a quarter yeah drop that down decorate like you said till your heart's content love that um and you've got multiple earrings and then you've still got the rest the of the rest of it design. to play with yeah so even though so in some of your designs yes you're using one up but it doesn't mean you're limited to that and i think that's quite no nice. yeah absolutely yeah i think definitely. for that price that's really good to have and you you know like to have in your collection where you go right i don't have to make something big there but that's there for me when i want to go mm. it's for that one of those inspiration days where you're like i want to do something a bit different are you really Oh, you're going to love this. This will be, it's sell out Saturday. That's what it's going to be. He's going even lower for you, so jewelry makers, if you're watching and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I want that. Just like Tina in Greater London, Carol in Northamptonshire, Debbie, Denise, you bought two, uh, Mandy um, in Northamptonshire, Jacqueline in Essex. Uh, you've, you've already gone there and gone, yep, yeah, I'm having those, as has Lorraine, Pauline, Wendy, Jean, uh, Gerda. Oh, where's Saltburn by the sea? Oh. Where's that, Gerda? Malik, you bought yours. Sheila, you bought yours. Mary and Jerry in Lincolnshire Makers. Linda, you're buying yours. It, so many of you are getting these in your collection. We do have the rose gold and the gold. So what you could do is obviously you can get all three, then you can mix and match yeah, the colours. Yeah, because they do look nice, don't they, they together? They do. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look Isn't at that, these. Yeah. Look at these two together, actually. And then you could make a bigger bracelet. Mm. So, oh, yep. you could interlock, you could mix weave all your together, metals, yeah. weave them to get, like, okay, I've got the wrong design, I'm sorry. Um, which one have you got? That one? The end one? Yep, that one there. Oh, this That's would nice, be nice. Isn't it? Nice big bracelet. Weave them together, as you've just said, Claire. <gasps> oh, these are gorgeous. $12.99. That was so good. So, so good. And bookmarks as well, if you're a, you know, if you're a oh, reader. Yeah. It's a posh bookmark. It is. That's a very posh, but you know, we're posh out here. That's, a, that's, you know. Yeah, very posh. <laughs> <laughs> so many of you are coming in now. The phone lines have gone a little bit bonkers uh, now. If you've got these into your basket, make sure you get these. How many have we down to, sorry? Oh, 200 sold. So, sorry, forgive me. We had started off with 200. S ha forgive me, I've lost my maths here. 60 left, right, 60 are available. 
Um, the phone lines are going bonkers on our screens. There's so many of you getting these in your... I think the thing is, a lot of you will go, I can see potential in this. You're watching, you're like, oh, I could do this. And when you start going, I can do this, and that's not a mega price point. No, um, not at all. To pay for, to go, I'm going to get creative. And that's a real bargain for when you go, I can do all of this. I think, you know, I think that's not actually, you know, if you're looking at, at, at pieces that people have made by hand as well, you know, that, for, for one of them, even if you just put, I don't know, glued the ends on um, and had, and I've just put a tiny yeah. bit of cord on that, um, you know, there's nothing, there's no, you know, pennies of cord, if that, but that's a really nice, Really nice bracelet, isn't it? That's gorgeous. Look at that, though, as well, like the, the shine that you're getting there. But the can luster. you see how good it is? Because that, so that you've got a curve there, and then I've also gone round just with some you have, nylon. You? Yeah, just to give it a slight, because because you've got quite a lot of metal there to work with, which is really nice. I think it gives a more luxurious shape, yes, though, by yeah. you finishing that just off having with a that curve. a bit of a curve, and it's Ooh. only a slight curve. Yeah. So it's not just the curve around, but it's kind no, of yeah. like. I think it's concave. I think it is, yes. Because concave is like a cave there. that you go into, I yeah. always imagine it. Yeah, if it looks it cool, wrong, doesn't it? Nice. It's nice gold. Oh, yes, that is. Oh, look at this. Are we going to do this one now? Actually, that looks lovely. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. That looks really, really, really nice. nice. Nice and shiny. My recommendation, of course, right, go for what you prefer. But actually, working the metals together, they, look, they do complement one I, another. I like mixing metals. I think it's a good... A good look and I also think when you do that you, you know you don't have to use gemstones with it I think it's a, yeah. it's an impressive look I really uh, can I try that on if you yes, don't mind of you sorry can, it's yeah. one of those pieces yeah. you're like oh that's inviting that. I've only got little wrists um but yes ah I see yeah oh that's lovely isn't it and then you manipulate it I could oh I'll, I'll leave that well I can leave it open can you do that sorry? yeah thank you look go. at this there we go so you've got a lovely bracelet if you want to wear it as a bracelet you've gone for like the slider there so you can change it and manipulate it but you kind of manipulate it as well to suit your size obviously claire's created but this with the, her size that's in mind, the good but. that's the good thing when you're making jewelry and that's i think that is probably one of the things that we talk about most on workshops is how when you can make jewelry you can make it because we're all different shapes and sizes mm. aren't we you know you make it to suit you yes you know, Personally. length, width, anything like that, and it's it, that's what that's what I think is it. You know, it's a great thing with jewelry making. Can we look at this again? Because what you've done here is quite different, and I know we'll go on to it in a few moments' time. But I think this is really important because if you do have any spare stones, mm. um, larger gemstones, and you think actually I've wanted a setting for that for a while, or you've bought a gemstone, you go, but I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to fit it. Today could be the day where you go, actually, this is going to work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and what I always say, in the same way, I mean, people that watch regularly are probably dreadfully bored of me saying it about gallery wire, and this is what, you know, essentially this is, but in, so in your base metal, you know, you know it's gonna be neat because it's it's machine, you know, it's been, it's been machine made, but then you are manipulating out the same, you know, the same, say we t take these as prongs almost. Yes. You know, so I've opened out every single one of these, but it could be that you just maybe have, I don't know, your 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine, you know, Ooh, you do yes. it like that. So you've got different options there, yeah. but you know that they're gonna, they're all the same size because they've been made really neatly and it's uniform. And that's what you're looking for really, isn't it? You want something, Absolutely. you know, neat and secure. Is it, you've created your own prongs within the design i wouldn't uh, personally yeah, i'd never yeah. seen that before so that, yeah. that's really cool and so if you've got that a larger stone you've got to match the price brilliant that's brilliant because you've got the gold but it, uh, i can imagine yeah but gold is isn't it gold is really you've got whenever you look at gold you would you, it's that that richness you can't get away from the fact that if you see something that is gold you associate it we have the stands the gold the, the legs on the stands they were gold you associate it with wealth yeah so you know whatever you put with gold clearly it um you know it looks expensive but i i just i think the fact that you've got the fact that you've manipulated this in such a way to do that and that yeah in some designs you've literally stitched gemstones like this design here you've stitched gemstones within the design as well so if you missed out on this but th this is this is a to i mean that gives a totally see you've got the gold in the backdrop but what you're showing off here is these crosses internally yeah which is good isn't it but and i also i really like 
when you're working with that and you know set sizes so if you are stitching into something you know exactly which hole and distance to to go into do you know what i mean because it's there yes, for you yeah it's there for you it's super neat you go into the same one every single time mm -hmm. um but yet, you know, when you when you look at say the like the next one along, okay. where it's nothing this, ab this about one. gemstones, it's just that is just that the the, the piece of the um, the decorative strip and some wire work. Again, you you know exactly where to put that wire because it's uniform. Yes. But it's you know that that detail speaks for itself, doesn't it? Can I say that like this is one of my favourite ones? Instantly, you like that one? Yeah, I love that one. And the reason I really like that one is, but you can do that with all of them because you've got your different wires. Um, the weight of it instantly because yeah. of the wire yeah. you yeah. pick up the weight yeah um but i really like it because it adds adds a little bit more to the filigree kind yes. of effects yes. on there yeah. it just adds that uh, another dimension to it and so this one i mean it is it, it's it's really really beautiful um I, but you can do this i love even here i love the way you wire work where you you do you. your spaces but certainly if you've so got the neat. wire earlier on in the week you could do that so we did we did sort of bare copper and rose gold didn't we tom at, earlier on in the week so oh, okay yeah we could you know we could do the same with oh that's nice this I'm one i'm just wearing all of your jewelry <laughs> i love the richness of this one though that, the that rose, rose gold, gold we're yeah. on to we're on to the rose gold one now aren't we you really, don't see really rose like gold it. as much really like it yeah Oh, here we go. Sorry. There we go. There's the rose gold one as well. So here's your rose gold. Love the floral design here. So what you're getting here, if you're just tuning in and you're just thinking, oh my gosh, I love these, you're getting the four designs, but this is the rose gold auction, the four designs. And then what you get is the end caps for those just to make your life so simple. Love this. How pretty is this? And then the mixing of the metals works beautifully when you see them working together. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, this one here, I keep picking up the wrong ones, but you can see the, the fact that here you've got the same metal, the same design, so you can wear them, you can make the design bigger, smaller. Honestly, that's incredible. Look at that wire work there. So Thank you've you. actually got, a, a, it's not simple what you're getting, but the platform almost looks simple because you've created this kind you've of You've got that lovely point. base for it to go on, haven't yeah. you? But yeah, definitely. So many of you are coming in to get these and securing these into your um, collections. They're gorgeous. Get each colour so you can make a bigger mm. design. You can mix your metals. Go for individual colours. Go for your favourite colours. The option is up to you. But I think with this is the fact that don't be thinking, I'm just limited here. You can create earrings. I love the fact that you said you could cut it in half or cut it in a quarter. Ha use the um, end cap to the, as the top of the earring. You can then put your stones there, bezel set a necklace. You've got the bracelet. You've got so much. Look how many. Look how many people. Yeah, are lovely. These. Yeah. Uh, can we demonstrate now? Is that have we got? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. Good to go. Right. Brilliant. So um, these work very well. So if you've got your uh, uh, forming pliers they work very very well if you haven't you can still work with um, if you, I don't know if you've got like a bangle mandrel or something like that you could work so straightforward if you just wanted to go let's just start and what we'll do so, I'm so you're go, creating that shape aren't you yes yeah so don't forget and you do get some instructions as well with with these of how you can start to work and what is lovely about these is that they are so nicely finished that there's not really a back and a front to them so, which is yeah. quite nice. So if you do sort of like mess up a bit and maybe you think, oh, well, I'm gonna do this and that and the, and you, maybe you think you've done it the wrong way. They are both, it's, it's a nice finish on, on both sides. So you can see how that very, very quickly, just by doing that, or if you were gonna um, maybe hammer it with your, if you've got a bangle mandrel, that straight away then gives you. Oh, you've that's got, lovely. It's really, really nice, isn't it? So if you were working with, um, so this is the same one. So if we look at the, so we've taken it from that flat. So if I just get the, uh, great if this you've one got here. A stone. Great if you've got a stone and you can, yeah, it's perfect. smaller or bigger, it works Yeah, well. yeah, absolutely. So you see, so you've taken it from that, the flat, and then you've started to give it that curve. So if we look at it, you can see, so what we've got here, we've got details of, we've got a section, we've got a, a sort of the side section here 
and we've got the side section there. So we know if we're going to set the stone, we've got something that's going to go at the front and the back, and then we've also got that middle section there. So what we want to do is we want to take out, and what's really nice is, you know how you were saying when you put the gemstones in, it was that little cross that you saw. Mm -hmm. So when you start to take out of this and you've got sort of that positive negative space, oh, yeah. these bits really, really start to stand out. Because it's a lovely design. You like don't this. see it, do you? But actually that's a really, it's, it looks like it's a different, different design. So what I'm going to start to do is just work my way. So I know that this is going to go around. And if it was, if your stone was bigger, you could probably do, use wire work at the top. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely and then if it was could. smaller, yeah. you'd cut it down. Cut it down, yeah, okay. yeah. But I mean, this is a this is a pretty big. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah absolutely. There, so. so what I'm going to do, if you're thinking about, so if you're wanting to support the stone, you're looking at something that's going to support it at the back and stop it from falling out at, at the front. So how we manipulate this again? So this is where you know your your pliers are going to come into it. So what I'm going to start to do. And it's about where you support it. So the only bit that I want to move is almost like that, it's almost like a little cloud shape here. So we've got one here and one here. So I'm going to start to just take my pliers and just move that in. And I do it a little bit at a time so you can see. So that it looks like it's removed, but it's actually coming out there now. And that, what that does is like create, so it gives us that. It's got a platform for it to yes, sit on. Yes, yeah. You've created the setting. Absolutely, which is such a, yeah. I always think when, when I first, I, I always said when we got the original gallery wire um, designs in, I felt like it completely changed how I made jewellery because setting stones can, you know, stones are so beautiful, you want them to be set properly. You don't want to make something and then think, oh, is it going to drop out? Is it going to, you know, it, gallery wire like this, it gives you, I think, just such confidence. It, it's, I don't know, it's, it, I feel like it gave me a lot more confidence with my jewellery mm. making because you want things to look neat and, and yeah, even. Yeah, cool. Um, so by working and manipulating shapes like this, it just it, it will do it will do it for you. It's just when you see that though, you don't actually put the two and two together. So if you're just tuning in, by the way, um, we've got three different colours that you can go for on these. You've got the silver, you've got the uh, gold, and you've got the rose gold. And with each of the packs, you get these end caps. Um, so you can obviously, like, I think that would be quite nice as well if you created the bracelets, but you alternated some of the colours as well. Mm. So you had the gold, you know, you could have gold, silver, and then gold. So if you've got the gold and the silver, you can, ha you, you know, you can do what, you can mix them. Like, that would look quite cool, wouldn't it, as a bracelet? Yes, but, yeah. So we've got a choice of bracelets, but what Claire's doing is setting a gemstone with these as well so that i mean it's just a totally totally different look i mean there is so much scope for what you can create with these it's not limited i think that's the thing it is isn't it it's sort of there's lots and lots of possibilities with it which is really good you know there's not many things that you can keep as a flat it looks good or we can start yeah. to change the shape of it so you can see there so all i've done i've gone in so it's that action. So going in and pushing, pushing it almost till it gives way. Now support it around each. If we talk, think about these little clouds, you see I'm supporting it pretty close to where it is. And then I am just pushing, pushing that out. So it is giving you a different, all cabochon, loads of cabochons, unless it's, you know, I guess, totally calibrated stone. There are going to be slight variations, aren't mm. there, of the, of the depth of it. So this is where you could either push out a little bit or in some cases what, you know, what you can do as well, so if you look at, if we look at all of this, so I've got uh, a flat edge here, then I've got, I've, I've kept that, I haven't turned that bit out yet, it's this part that I've turned out. If it was a particularly deep stone and that ledge, I needed it to be a little bit more, if you can see the difference, you can turn out all of that section. So if you look at the I difference, I hope, hope you can sort of see, can you see how I've taken You've got more of a strip here, whereas this one, it looks like a flatter piece of wire You've because taken the strip away, I've you? pushed it out further. So if it's sort of, you can see it how it is there. So you're still seeing that, that flat area. Whereas if I take this and I'm holding it, depending on the depth of my cabochon, I can push it out even further. So if, we, if I do sort of that one, which I've pushed out sort of as far as it will go compared to this one. So you have got, a little bit of, of leeway there mm. of, of you can play around with the the depths of it so you can see so you carry on and do that on both sides 
So on this one, because it's quite a chunky. Uh, I love it. I cab. love the co colour combo as Looks well. Looks good, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? So I've got now, you know, I'm holding that there. It's not coming out of the, I've got a nice, sort of the prongs that are going in at, from the front and that nice bit at the back. So what we've got now is what we need to do is, I'm not going to use the ends on this. So you could use the ends if you wanted to uh, and maybe glue it in. If, and that's absolutely fine if that's what you want to do. If you're, I don't know, a real sort of purist about things and you don't like using glue and if you're for just wire work, this is where you would look at it and think, again, perfect because I've got this, the positive negative spaces, which to me then are, I could put a couple of jump rings in there, couldn't mm -hmm. I? Because then that binds it. Or we then use a bit of, um, so if I use some, so this is a, a 0.4 wire. It's a bit fiddly at first because you're having to hold um, hold the two yeah. together. Could you put it in a clamp or anything like you that? Could you do, could do, um, but I, I think I would to. probably just prefer to just hold it for the moment because then I can turn it at different yeah. angles whenever, uh, without having to sort of like take it in and out. So I'm just going to use, and, and what I would say is at first, maybe use a, a, just a little bit of scrap just to get it so it does, it doesn't come undone. So I'm going to hold here a little tail. But that is the lovely thing. I think all wire workers will know, you know, you're looking for areas that you can then uh, bind, anchor in, join uh, with it still being neat. So I'm just, again, like using this like a, uh, a needle and thread. There you are. So I'm putting a bit of a curve in there. So I know it's going to come through holding it. So Claire, someone made me do something on there the other day. My hands. Did they? I've never seen them wobble so much. <laughs> literally. Like as if you had a lot of coffee. Yes, yeah, or, I was yeah. like that. And it was the most, it was literally threading a thread, pin, like a pin through something. But that's how it is. And, uh, you know, when, when I see, um, I've done it for a long time now, but I see lovely ladies on the on the workshops and they would say, you were so nervous when you first, and I was, was as terrified. Yeah. That I, and, you know, that it's on your hands and you do feel like you're, you know, well, you are shaking, aren't you? You just, sometimes well, you, you can't help it. Oh, by the way, um, we've got the pliers. I don't know if you um, if you miss the auction. Mark brought some pliers in, designed by himself. They're longer length pliers, so great for if you've got larger hands, but then like Elle said, she went, I haven't got large hands and they're more comfortable than the other pliers I've got. Um, for um, And he brought them in for gents, but larger hands. So it's a longer handled plier, so you can use it so it doesn't hurt any pressure points. If you're doing projects and they're gonna take a long time, then they're ideal. You get five in a pack, there's last of, we literally got last of stock. Um, so if you want to get those, you get five. Um, you get your flat nose chain, round, bent nose for chain mail, and your cutters. They're a lovely well. feel to them, yeah. You really like yeah, them, Yeah, really you? nice, really nice. And you right. like the fact that there was three flat pieces? Yes, yeah. So, um, you know, what you don't want to do is you don't you don't want to get into bad habits, which is if you're opening and closing jump rings to use a pair of chain nose and a pair mm. of um, round nose, which is easily done because that's often what toolkits have in them. It's easy, uh, but, isn't it, sometimes? Yes, yeah, yeah. So all I've done there, so I've, I've used that. So I said to a scrap, but mm. it's actually gone together quite well. So, and I've got enough there. So. When you're working with wire work, always sort of leave yourself as many as you can sort of comfortably deal with of these tails here. So you can see, and I can just, I can still go in and manipulate these a little bit more once the stone is in. But that Not now, that. you're just going to stitch. So if, I don't know if you can see, so I've got a little, little bit there. So that 0.4 uh, wire, so it stitches the two together but because it's, again, machine finished. So it just looks very, very super neat. And that is... Doesn't that there. look amazing? It's like a nice sun, doesn't it? You could also have in, um, you know, the weave that we did earlier with that, um, the loops and the nine o'clock hour. You could do yes. a long length of that and pop that all the way around. That would be a nice, but Claire, nice fit this, in there. This to me, like, if you were going to buy this as a finished item, you don't get jewelry that often was so decorative to yes, buy. No, no, you don't. You know, yeah. and the fact that yes, it's kind of been like printed to the point where the design is perfectly symmetric. It's obviously done on like a CNC or something like that. But you've got then the design that's perfect. See, the design is symmetrically created all the way around. But so it gives you that idea of detail, but then you've got that kind of bespoke handmade finish that makes it yeah, look so... Yeah, which is your spin on yes. it, isn't it? Which makes it, whatever you do to it, might All be something different, different to me. And then, so you've got that section there, and then, you know, there are loads and loads of um, I love what different demos of, of, of so wire work bales. 
but you've got, so you do, do your wire work bale in exactly the same way, but you're going to add in that wire, but you stitch it into all of those, you know, the areas there. It's so really say easy to do. How stunning this looks because you can't like, that to me is just, you've got the symmetry, but then you've created that. I, I think that is absolutely like stunning because look at that weaving across. But it looks like it's integral to the, the piece, isn't it? And doesn't that's because it? you anchor in uh, into, the, into the base, into the bezel, bezel wires. That is a fantastic piece of jewellery. That really Thank is. Thank you. That, 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 that design there, I love that wire work. The fact that it leads down, you've got enough of that symmetry in the designs so that people go, oh, you know, is that is that handmade? Is mm. it not? Yeah, yeah. But then you've got that, that feel to it where it goes, no, no, it's, you've got that natural organic handmade finish so it's not down to yeah. like the microns in terms of being so precise. That's stunning. And that's one idea, one idea. One what? Exactly, one thing you can do with it. You know, that it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant project. So good. Did you say we have something left or, or are we going to do a little star by? Are you sure we can do that? We've got time. Okay, so um, Claire, thank you so no, much for thank this you. creation. Thank you. And you, you've got a choice on colours, all of these. Absolutely love that one. I want to take that one home. I know I'm not allowed, but I do. Um, love those. We have got one more auction for you, which is a Keshi Pearl. Tom is going to do a fantastic, fantastic star by deal for us today on stunning Keshi Pearls. Uh, so one more auction uh, left to go. Oh, last okay where okay. have you got these from oh there? my word so you are <gasps> a bit naughty mr mister so basically um tom's just said he had some messages come in about oh Keshi my Pearl. gosh <gasps> how amazing are they they're oh, they're, I've got Kit Envy, Project Envy. Is that Project Su Envy? Yeah, Susie. What are you allowed oh to my see, gosh. Ashay or not? I think it's Project. Project Envy. What do you see when you see those? Do you know, I, just uh, the colours, 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 colours. Look, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. And <gasps> look, and look, look what you get. Look at us, we're all like, oh. So, look, and you get the drop. Um, and it's drilled at the top. Look at this, oh, it's amazing. So by Susie um, Menham. So she's so forgive me because I'm fairly new here. Um, this is Susie's creation. Oh, I know that. I okay. know this. So this is a, this is a, a project that she would have made up, and I think I've worked with something quite similar to this because I remember this is an amazing clasp. This is absolutely incredible. So that is a lovely clasp. So it's a feature at the front. But if you look how clever that is, you've got the two loops either side. Yes. So you would you do your pearl knotting either front. side oh, yes. and then you've got the one um, at the bottom there with the peg that the one that you've got goes into so that oh. sits at the front of the necklace this is a beautiful beautiful so that's project the class, but that's also the feature yes. on the clasp <gasps> yeah and so easy to wear because yeah. you're putting on oh my god yeah okay this is I beautiful absolutely beautiful oh just looking at one of the keshi pearls is just look at this just oh, look gosh. at the co colors of this it's like a waterfall of, oh my god the metallic finish on these pearls. Oh my gosh. Look at the way wow. it drapes down. Look at the colours. Look at the size of it as well. It's huge. Beautiful. And that's just one. So this is kind of the largest yeah. of Look them. Look at these. You There's snuck that one rainbows. in there, didn't you? You snuck yeah. that one in. Beautiful. Oh, goodness me. You are, you are. When you look at the Keshi pearls and what you mm. can, yes, ah, I see. Okay, so we've got some of the instructions now of uh, some yeah. of the design. Yeah, lovely. Just look at these. Peacock fresh water Keshi pearls. Can I just get some of the um, the details of the pearls up just to sort of look at? Um, oh wow, oh, look at that. Gosh. I could watch that all day. <gasps> So the site, okay, here we go. 12 by 15 mil Keshi pearls. Um, right, okay, so you've got the, the 15 will be the largest one, of course, and then the smaller ones will be around the 12. Okay, that, that, that's, so yes. 
Wow, look at these. Can I just hold these up? I think that's the thing with pearls. You have to, it is, it's every single it, color. It really is, yeah, yeah. I love how you said you got um, Kit Envy. Kit Envy, yeah. Yeah. Is that, is, that, is that a thing here? It's a massive thing, is yeah. It, is right. it? Ooh, what have you got? Such a nice. Wow. Yeah. Stunning are these. I mean, Lovely. it's just... You, you, uh, so many of you are going, oh my gosh. Love you, Claire. You are drooling. They are so beautiful. That's Margot. <laughs> they are Margot. They absolutely are. They are. She is drooling. She was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, we've only got six of these available. This will be like fastest fingers first for this. Um, it's because we had messages in um, that Neri said, oh, I'm just going to try and just really quickly see what I can make. Look at that. I love this. So the, basically the idea here is you've got the statement here, really clever clasp. So the clasp acts as the focal point to hold the necklace together. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the drop. Look at just the size beautiful. of that pearl. Something so stern. Oh goodness! Okay, I think we might have a bit of a sellout beautiful, deal here. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the phone lines. Right, they are going. Okay, they are going to sell out. So let's have a little oh. sneak peek as to what's happening tonight. Look at this. We're literally watching you draw over these. I I'll love it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you draw away. You draw away, Claire. Uh, okay, so um, tomorrow you have got in the eight o'clock hour at ninety-five hook ear pins as the early bird deal. Uh, then at nine a.m., kiss the dragon Ooh, with Alison. Alison, that sounds very exciting. Yeah. Um, at ten o'clock, you have got type A black jade carvings with Dave. Um, 11, you've got your Cotan selection. Okay, so that will link on after the 10. Um, and then, ooh, this sounds a bit of excitement. At midday, Black Panther with Peridot eyes. Ooh, with Alison. Alison. I've got some Project ooh. Envy there as well. Wow. Ooh, ooh. It's a real thing. Look, can I just say, there's so many of you that have this in your basket, but I think there's one chance left. I will say, well, there, let me just count. So, um, You've got Julie, Maker, Sharon, uh, Maker, Jay, Kathy, Look Maker, from Zoe, Maker there, Julie, <gasps> Pika. Right, okay, you've got, I think there's nine people there checking out for the last one. So unless, until you check that one out and then that will be a sellout auction. That's incredible. Isn't it stunning? Yeah. I think though the thing that is- That was a beauty, absolute. Look at that. Here at Jewelry Maker, you know your stuff. You know when you're onto a good deal. Um, right, thank you so much for today. Thank you. Claire. I've had a lovely morning. Oh, it's been thank so you. Much thank fun. you. So, thank you for today, and we will see you all very soon.